My god, that intro hangs on long. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Cyber... Wait a minute. Cyber Trucker Alpha. Just making sure I wasn't muted. Welcome in, everybody. Hey, Seraphiel, the time has come. I knew you were going to discombob... I knew it was going to be a discombobulate. Right when you're getting off break. Ah, oh, damn. Welcome in, Yoga Pants. Welcome in, Raim... Raimya? Raimya? Welcome in. I'll, I'll, I'll pronounce it right one of these days. I'm not going to say welcome into the bot. The stream elements, you don't get it. You're, you're not welcome here. Last time. Last time we made a shitload of headway in Hotel Dusk. I think we're near the end. I think I think now it's like getting to the end game, but I think we still got about like six or so hours left. I'm not sure. We got, we got some time left. A lot of reveals, a lot of... I'm sure a lot of monologues. It's going to be a hell of a time. For those of you who don't know, I'm a cop looking for old cop partner. Not a cop anymore. Bad shit going down. Uh, everybody being weirdly related to each other going into this place. It's, 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 it's good. It's real good. I suggest you watch the VODs if you haven't yet, or just like, just, just to catch up with the story. I'll try and keep you guys up though. This is kind of a, it's more visual novel than I remember. I thought it was a, uh, I really thought this was more of a puzzle game than what it was, but damn. I guess because I was just so engrossed in the story back then. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. How you guys doing? How you guys enjoying your weekend so far? It's Saturday night. Oh, baby. This was, this was a long week. I'm kind of glad it's coming to an end. Even though I've been enjoying this game. This, this has been a, uh... This has been, this has been a good time. Like, this has been pretty much my, uh, my little vacation. Anyway, moving on, moving on, moving on. Oh, God. That's who I want to see, right? Right off the bat. Right when the game starts, I want to see this guy. Ugh. Worst character of the game. This is Summer. He calls himself Martin Summer because that's his real name. He, uh, he's a plagiarist. He, uh, fucking, he had, like... He had a bunch of friends, but he had one guy who was that guy's only friend. <laughs> where where he was that guy's only friend. Steals his masterpiece of a book. Uh, rolls off the success, and he stole his pen that his mother gave him. Just a real bastard. I'm going to have to talk to him, too. Hey, asshole, how you doing? Got a minute? Yes, of course. Oh, he's so smug, too. He's, he's real pretentious. Got something I wanted to talk to you about. What a coincidence. You see, I was hoping to run into you. There's something I had hoped to discuss with you as well. Of course there is. Of course there is. And they still make you spend time with the guy. Like, hey, whatever, you know? But I believe my news can wait until later. If you're so inclined, Mr. Hyde, please begin. Oh boy, what should I jump his ass about? Probably Alan. Alan was the friend that he stole from. I don't really need to talk about plagiarism. We both know what he did. Tell me about Alan. Well, it's about your buddy, Alan. Alan, did you say? You sure got no you sure you got no idea where he's at. Alan's missing. I don't know who Alan is yet, besides a very fucking unfortunate bastard. <laughs> but we're gonna find out. Quite sure. No clues or leads or anything like that, huh? No, nothing of the sort. But it's not like you went out of your way to look for the guy. And what may I ask do you mean by that? Alan Wake. Yeah, it's Alan Wake. It was Alan Wake all along. Actually, it could be. I think it was Alan something. I don't remember his last name. And what, may I ask, do you mean by that? Common sense. It's better for you if he's out of the picture. Mr. Hyde. I will be checking out of this hotel on the morrow. I will then proceed to the offices of a local newspaper and tell them my story. I believe they will enjoy the tale of the famous author and his fall from grace. You see, I, I don't believe you. I don't believe him. You see, I plan to use the media to search for Alan. Huh. Didn't see that one coming. Woo! Hey, Zammer, how you doing? Welcome in. Also, let's throw some shoutouts out. Yoga. If you haven't if you haven't seen you know, I eat yoga pants here, go do it. 
he is currently trophy hunting his ass off. He is 100% in games. I'm beyond 100% in games sometimes. Just a real, a real, like, he, he, he kicks its ass. He's got a lot of things to say, too. He's probably one of the most, uh, one of the most interesting, like, I don't know, like when he fills the air, it, it's it's not with with nonsense like me. He 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 actually like talks about things. It's awesome. I mean, I do too, kind of. But he's he's great at it. Go check him out. Listen, Summer. I stumbled on your secret by accident. I didn't have plans to tell anyone about it. You didn't have plans. Yeah, but well, I was talking to someone and it slipped. It slipped. Had it coming. Hey, Kratos, welcome in. You just got in. We're just talking to Martin Summers. Nobody important, really. Greetings and good health. Wonderful Saturday. Well, thank you, Kratos. I hope you're enjoying your Saturday. I see. Well, then, it is unfortunate. It is fortunate that I'm planning on telling my tale to the public. If I may ask, to whom did you reveal my secret? Ooh, here's another one. Better lie to him. Ah, fuck it. I'm gonna tell him the truth. The old lady in room 212 names Helen Parker. Helen Parker. She's the one who had the pen engraved for Alan. Mr. Hyde. I gave the pen back to her. Hmm? Here you go. One gin and tonic. Oh, yeah. Also, Louis terrible at everything but tending a bar. He is a great bartender. Good, just chilling this day. Very nice. 10 p.m. I'm usually in bed by now. Well, don't let me stop you. You don't have to watch watch my stream. If you if you gotta get some sleep, get you some sleep. It won't it won't it won't bother me one bit. But yeah, it is. It is. Uh, it's 9 p.m. for me. I'm uh, I'm I'm firmly in Central Time. Love it. It's weird because I know somebody who's like literally hundreds if not thousands of miles north of me who's also central time and it's just it's just it's just weird to me how how horizontal time zones are i always i always imagine it in a grid for some reason i don't know why i really should have gotten a little restaurant new well damn yeah i kind of feel that i don't feel that now but i felt that earlier like there, there was one stream where i was just oh but you guys never noticed. Maybe, maybe a little bit. It was late in the stream. It's no big deal. Looks like you're having yourselves a good time over here. Yeah, we sure are. Eh? No, nothing? Yeah, well, I'll just, uh, go over here then. Louis leaves. Alright, what are you wanting to talk about? Summer, I want to get this done as quickly as possible. You said there was something else you wanted to talk about? What is it? Quite right. I was so surprised by your admission, I completely forgot my own topic. Actually, it's about the woman we met earlier in this very establishment. Who, Iris? Yes, that's her. I must say she bears a striking resemblance to the actress Cecily Lee. Cecily Lee? Cecily Lee is on the nudie mag! Oh, it's probably her. Jesus, Crotus, you got the wild card. You got the... You got the rare Rick Roll Rot wild card. Congratulations. I made it to the stream. You sure did, Ryan. Welcome back. We made it to the end of vacation. We watched vacation on the Discord. If you haven't hit the Discord yet, go ahead and click it. It's that top link right there. You could probably follow those other two, but only if you want, like, my oldest VODs, which I haven't transferred over yet. And, uh... I don't even use Twitter, really. I'll maybe retweet one or two video game things. Someone got the Spanish Inquisition last night? Oh, and I missed it! I love... That's my favorite secret wildcard. Because nobody expects it. If you felt a sense of deja vu upon meeting Iris, you now know why. There's quite a striking photo of her doppelganger on this month's issue of Vavoom. You would know, wouldn't you, you pervert? Who is Cecily Lee? 
What kind of actress is this Cecily Lee? My good man, are you truly unfamiliar with her? I don't get out much. She is an up-and-coming thespian who garnered quite a bit of recent popularity. She got her start on one of those tawdry daytime soap operas. Her performance received wild praise from critics and fans alike. I believe she's scheduled to make her debut on the silver screen next year. Few people know that she was a model before she took up the craft of acting. She's not as young as the other new starlets, but she has a certain something. Yeah, that's quite the intro, Summer. You steal her biography? <laughs> Fucking ragged. Please, Mr. Hyde, I'm merely reciting the information I've heard. You gotta try this poll! Hey, Sheik, how you doing? You know what I want? I want to paint the ceiling button poll on Pook's channel. Yep, we'll try it again. Point reward for painting the his ceiling. I don't know which ceiling, so I'm just going to say his ceiling. Pook's 105, for those who don't know, I'll shout him out too, is a very good friend of mine. Also a hell of a good streamer on his own. He's been playing, uh, in fact, he had just, he's just beaten Bayonetta. I don't know what he's working on that block McRib. I'm not going to block McRib. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to block Riv. He's, he's, he's one of my best mods. I'm not doing it. His kitchen ceiling. Okay. Well, there, there we go. I just, I just forgot a word. That's it. But definitely follow him and oh it may have overblocked click view all and you'll see the current poll as well i put about 10 minutes i put i think i gave it the longest time limit go ahead and vote yes or no if you know pooks you know exactly what he's talking about and i do not appreciate your attempts at jocularity at my expense the question sir is why would cecily lee be staying in this hotel on her own it does arouse one's curiosity, does it not? You're such a fucking creep, Summer. All right, enough chatter, I gotta blow. Truly? Well, I shall remain a while longer and savor the proffered spirits. Yeah, you savor those spirits, you... I hate that guy. Oh, I hope he, I hope he gets his ass beat sometime in this game. Louis! What? Uh, nothing. Enjoy your, enjoy your, uh... Enjoy tending bar. We're leaving. Wait, did I get the, uh... I think I have... Se yeah, I think I've already looked at this. Oh, we got more... I think there's... Let me take a look at something real fast. If it'll let me. It will. Let's look at these matchbooks, because there's, like, more than one. There's some matches. What's this? Now, we already solved this, but I think there might be more than one. I seem to remember something like that. Line up the remaining matches to make two squares. Okay. All right, so we got to take away how many? Okay, six. Got it. We got to... Okay, so we got to take away... Wait a minute. No, that wasn't it. Well, don't just give up, game. Let me do it again. Okay, there's some match. So there is a different one. What's this? Let's do a match puzzle. Let's, let's, why not? Set aside six of the matches. And then line up the remaining matches to make two squares. It's good he let Matt win the last poll. I was on Luke Force's stream and tried to get him to do this. Pook's broken and stopped it. He stopped it? Well, he's not here now. Yeah, vote yes or no. Vote yes. You don't have to, but do it. I don't think he's going to... Uh, honestly, we both know he's not going to do it. What if we... Oh, I think that's too many. I think that's too much. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. 
Take away those middle ones gives us three rectangles. We need two squares, right? Is that it? Damn. Shit. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I'm curious. This is this is actually getting me. I don't know if this has anything to do with anything. But I want to do it. It's asking me if I can. It's fun to try. That's true. It is. I'm telling you, squat claps. The squat claps are the key. I feel like I want to take out the middle ones. All right, all right, all right. Thank, thank Alpha. You got three left. It's like not enough. Let's see if we can do that. Well, now I just made a number. That's not going to help at all. Let's see. Magic 8 Ball says, You died. That's not gonna work. Thank you for the Duke roll. Welcome in, Huratron. We're trying to figure out a, a fucking match puzzle from hell. We need to remove six of these and then arrange the rest to make uh, two squares. Maybe this is it. Damn it. It doesn't matter how they look when I take them away. I just need to take the right ones away. And I just don't know. I just have no idea. I don't even know if this is like an option or if it's if something useful will happen. You already got a solution? I think you already saw- Oh, throw it at me. I'm gonna- I'm gonna vote. I just voted. Okay, okay, Curtis, which ones? I'm leaving this into your hands. That tense silence. It gets so quiet with these puzzles. The squares do not... No, they definitely don't need to be the same size. I was thinking that too. Oh. Maybe if I do this. Hmm... No, no, no. No, if I... Well, oh, I'm an idiot. I think I got it. I think I got it. I didn't even have to move the remainder. That's what, that's what was throwing me off. There we go. That's all I needed. I just needed that, that line of thinking. Thanks, Kratos. Easy peasy. It kind of wasn't. It was kind of throwing me off. Will it give me a different one if I do this again? Give me a second, I'm curious. I'm so curious. People are trickling in. No, you just gave me, you just, you put, you put the right idea in my head. All I needed was that little hint. Wait, line it up and make two squares. Oh, okay. What? Okay, this is the same one. I'm good. Yeah, we already got it. Okay, cool. So I guess it changes per chapter. We'll check it again later. Let's get on out of here. Okay, there's the kid. Is there anybody else around? Nope. I guess we're talking to the kid. Hey, kid. It's been a while. She should be all better or something. Threshold! I'm through running! You're through running? Well, welcome back, Threshold. How you doing? Let's see. Hey, squirt. Hi, mister. What are you doing here? Dad's gone. What, again? Are you looking for him? Uh-huh. Well, he's not in the bar. The bar? It's a place for adults. It's called the Seven Stars Bar. It's through that door at the end of the hall. You see the sign with the big star on it? Star? Oh, I remember. I saw that before. It was all pretty and stuff. Yeah, it was pretty and stuff. It was kind of like the star on top of a Christmas tree. Yeah, I suppose. Did you get any Christmas presents this year? Oh, yeah. Yeah, tons. Yeah, I got a lot. Tons. I had to chop down a redwood tree so they could all fit under it. 
Wow. Nice, huh? He's just he's just selling it. How about you? You get anything? Uh yeah, I guess that figures. But at least you got to decorate the tree, right? My dad's a jerk. Oh, damn, he didn't even get a tree? Get a tree for your kid. Jeez. How's the pole looking? It's almost done. It's tied at one. <laughs> you can vote, too. She was... <laughs> no! No, no, no. Is she what? No, he's not. He's a jerk, but he's not that much of a jerk. Can't argue with that. That's a jerk, huh? So why is he a jerk? We didn't have anything for Christmas. No presents, no cookies, not even a stupid tree. I vote for painting the ceiling. All right, that's going to count for you. I, vo I voted for you. <laughs> so that's two yeses and one no. We'll, we'll, we'll put it like that. That's so. Hey, kid. Worry about your old... Don't worry about your old man. I'll be back soon. I don't know how to. Don't worry about it. It's no big deal. I think you gotta click the top of the poll if if you're not on TV. Oh, there you go. There it is. I think you just did it. If you didn't do it, somebody else did. It's 3-1. Sorry, Pooks. Oh, God, it got even. Damn it. Seraphiel strikes again. He was waiting for it to even out. Balance is all things should be. If I didn't vote, I voted that tie-in. Go wait in your room. Melissa sighs and heads out the door. And progress has been made. 1020, baby. I think it checkpoints every time it does that, whether you save or not. Also, how many, uh... I'm still, I'm still curious about the, uh, the vending machine thing. Damn it, Sheik. No politics in the no politics in the chat. That's a that's a rule. All is right in the universe. That was a good one though. Huh? Oh, Mr. Hyde. Good evening. Oh god, not Rosa. It's all it's a, it's my favorite characters. No, I know, I know. I I got you. He's still cleaning. Oh, yes, everyone else gets to take a break, but not Rosa. Oh, no. Yeah, you're good, man. You're good. But this is it. Once I'm done here, I'm finished for the day. Melissa, come through here. Melissa. Yeah, she just went up to the second floor. Why? Why are you asking? Looks like the kid actually went back to her room. Yeah, last time she didn't go back to her room, she got locked in another room like an idiot. But the poor thing looked as sad as she could be. Did something happen? What happened? She misses her, she misses her mom. That's really what, what's up. Her mom ran out on her. Oh, I shouldn't have told her that! Is that so? Yep. Poor child. All families have their grief, but... Losing a mother, that's too much to ask of any child. Okay, I think I'm... Uh, okay, I guess I don't have any questions for her. Alright, I gotta get going. Wait, Mr. Hyde, wait just one second, please. There's something that's been bothering you. Drink water? I do, thank you, Sheik. I've been drinking water specifically pretty, pretty much lately. It's about Melissa. You see, she asked me if the hotel had a Christmas tree. Well, I told her that we did, but Christmas has already come and gone. Who doesn't keep their Christmas tree up for at least two months after Christmas? I don't get it. I explained how Dunning always takes down the decorations on the 26th. That's awful. Dunning's horrible. What a horrible person. And, well, she just looked so sad it near broke my heart it did. Hey, Kroll, welcome in. That's, uh... That's sad, all right. Do you have any idea why she would be asking about a tree? She didn't get one. It's because she didn't have one at home. No presents, either. Oh, how sad, that poor thing. What an awful father that Kevin Woodward is. Yeah, he's kind of a dick. Well, it's no wonder she wanted to see a tree. Yeah. What a shame. 
The tree and decorations are in the storage room on the first floor. What a shame. See you around. On, be hey, on behalf of Twitch, I'm honored to announce that Cyber Trucker Elf is the sexiest man alive ever. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, it looks so weird when it's not dimmer. There we go. It's a little too dim. That works. Thank you, Cosmic, for spreading the truth again. So it'll be here. Oh, shit. Do I got to talk to her again? Got a minute? What is it? Oh, okay. It, she's blocking the door. She doesn't want me to go there yet. I guess I got to go upstairs then. Maybe I do. Oh, I haven't really looked in this hall. Maybe there's a maybe there's a sticker up here. Can't be. My wife gave me that. Oh, yep, there was that whole time. Did I already? Did I already? Did I already look at this? Let me see what we have. Plus thirty-four. If I have a plus thirty-four already, let's see. Oh, I do. Yeah, it's exactly the same. Damn. I have six of these stickers here, and I need seven. And I don't know where the seventh is. Can't be cosmic. If you, oh, oh, damn. Looks like I got a competitor. Sorry, Sheik, we're gonna have to fight this out. I'll see you in the ring. But she does wear glasses. <laughs> nah, nah. I'm gonna take your wife's word for it. It's all good. Let's <laughs> go on in. No, it's okay. I'm 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 out of shape. I'm out of practice. You got it. You you could probably beat my ass. Honestly, I don't know. It's been a while. God, when is the last time I've been in a real fight? It was a ways back. Like a long time ago. Damn. I was I, I think I was still a teenager and everything. Let's see. But that's me. I don't even know what we were fighting about. But yeah, legit fight. No charges or nothing. It was just it was just a, a an honorable duel. It wasn't honorable. It was kind of dirty if I remember right. Let's see. Okay, I, I just want to find that last sticker, honestly. That's really just what I want to do right now. Because we're, we're getting close to the end of the game. Shit's about to pop off big time. Okay, okay. So we've already found the one in the hallway. And we found the one in this hallway. Yep, it's right there on that wall. There's no way I would have missed that. But let's double check. You win, I'd rather buy you a beer. Because no matter who wins, we're both going to hurt like hell. It's just, a, just drink a beer and say fuck it. Hey, that's what we did. <laughs> I don't think we drank a beer, but it was kind of that situation. We both wanted one. I don't know who'd win. I, 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 I'm not even thinking about who'd win. An honorable duel to the death between gentlemen and warriors. Yeah, yeah, you know. Neither one of us walked out alive. Okay, let's, uh, okay, we've already been to the restaurant. We've already got that one. Is there, uh, yeah, there was, oh, have I even checked the central hallway? Let's check the central hallway real fast. Not there. Yeah, there's the, uh... Oh, shit! It's on the thing. I can see it. I can see it. It's right here. There's a sticker on that. I always looked at the, the other side. We have them all, then. Wait. Is there a minus 40 anywhere? There isn't. This is the one! Now we just gotta... Now we just gotta put all these together. Okay, we got all seven. Now, let's assume I have some money. A vending machine. The bachelor's best friend. Need coins, huh? Let's see if I can just put my cash in here. I'm not gonna get anywhere using this right now. I literally need a quarter. I literally need one quarter. Is there any way I can get change? I'm- th th this vending machine is fascinating me. Oh yeah, can I like turn on the TV too? I don't think I have. There's a TV at the end of the counter. It's probably too late to turn on the TV now. There's a power switch and a channel selector. Is this 
Classic Broken? What a wonderful hotel this is. What did it say? Note stuck to the side of the TV. Seven and nine. It should be up on right now. Oh, no, it's not because the bar's open. Whatever the T, whatever secrets the TV held, I missed. Oh, well, we're going upstairs. I'm going to need to find a quarter. Next quarter I find, we're going, we're going straight to that vending machine. I could use a free bill. I ain't meant to that. No, I resign. You win. <laughs> no, it's fine. We're both, everybody here is just as sexy as me. Everybody. That, no exceptions. At all. I could use a free beer, beer as well. Ain't that the truth? It's been a while since I had a nice cold one. It's it's kind of that season too, man. It's just yeah, I don't know. It's it's got to be all this all this brown decor or something. Okay, so nothing going on in my room. I love how this is the worst room in the hotel. Like every uh, everybody else's room is better so far. Maybe I should knock on the kid's door. Maybe it's want me to say say hi to the. I am fuckily with a cat. Nah. Yep, we did have to talk to the kid. Mr. Hyde. Your dad back? Not yet. I'll tell him to come to your room if I see him. Just hang in there, okay? Okay. Nice work, Woodward. You're a hell of a father. We gotta find dad, huh? That's what we're doing. Okay. Let's go. I'm gonna check the roof again. Now that I know what I'm looking for. No! Sheik! No! Noah Epstein talk! No! Literally so many Discord were having- Really? Really? Even- even beyond the, uh... Even the vacation movie? No, Pokes, you don't have to delete it! <laughs> you didn't have to delete it! <laughs> How you doing, Pokes? Welcome in. You already got your shout out for the day. Ah, go ahead and shout you out again. Just so you know, and everybody knows it, um, the vote was the vote won. The vote won. You got to paint your ceiling now. There's a point reward for it. Let's see. Okay, let's uh hell. Let's let's oh, let's look at our notes. Let's look at our characters. That's right. If I have any if I have any questions, it'll tell me. <laughs> no, no, I'm telling the truth. It's not a lie. It's not a lie. I have no questions for anyone. Oh no. I don't need to save either. Oh, there's a summary button. I didn't see that. Let's see what the summary says. Hold up. Really? Oh, that's cool. It's a little previously thing. That's not going to help me, though. I'm on chapter seven. I finally got a win. <laughs> no, I didn't tie or anything. Seraphiel's vote don't count. <laughs> His vote counts. His, your vote counts, Seraphiel. That was a joke. Uh, back to the restaurant. I need to look around. I need to find the dad. That's what we're doing. We're fi we're looking for the dad. He's either in the bar or the restaurant. Probably in the bar. I could ask Louie. He'll know. Need a drink? Not now. He doesn't know. He didn't know shit. Going on down. I'm not allowed to use any political references. No, it's just it's just the rule. It's just the rule. It's not just you. It wasn't a win, it was 2-2. Two, two. Shh. Shh. No, it wasn't. It wasn't 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, no religion or politics. That is a big deal. Unless it's Christmas related. We did, we, uh, it's just that we got enough political streamers. I never wanted to be one of those. Okay, he's not at the bar. He's in the kitchen, maybe? He didn't have to delete his post, though, folks. Jeez. I mean, the Epstein joke was pretty funny. Well, it was kind of horrible, but, you know. 
Oh, fuck that guy. I don't even think that's a political state. That's just... You mean Pooks' birthday? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, it's not... That's not, that's not an event. Let's see. Where the hell is he? He's sneaking around. I'm gonna have to go to different rooms, aren't I? We gotta find this kid's dad. Let's see where the bastard is. Nope. I'm just gonna knock him around, you know? I love how I'm just wandering around this hotel. Just, just every room. Just every single room. He's not gonna be in the laundry or the pantry. Can I talk to her now? Maybe that's it. Got a minute? What is it? Um, show or something? What do we have? Adhesive remover. Lobby newspaper. Duplicate? Nope, I don't need any of this. Shit, what do I do then? Luke's poll said yes to painting. Did it really? It's like spam, but it wasn't. Man, just cracked open a can lunch and pork at my desk like a true. It's like spam, but it wasn't spam. Actually, I would say it was better than spam. I'm okay with spam. I don't hate spam. Huh. We could try. Oh, God. He's probably in Lily's room. Let me check something. Let me check something real fast. Where is Iris staying? Room 216. I'm going to knock on 216, see what happens. We're gonna give we're gonna give 216 a quick look real fast. Luke, welcome in. How was your stream, my man? Unless you're still streaming, then how is your stream? Did you uh did you get that new Colossus? Did that new Colossus come in? Knock on it. He's in there. He's in there with Iris. Doesn't look like anyone's here. Damn it. He's not with Iris. Oh, God. Um, where else could he be? Guess this room's empty. Oh, no. We really need to find it. We really need to find this bastard. I can't beat him up if I can't find him. Let's try 219 one more time and knock on the door. See what, see what happens. Fuck it, we're kidnapping the child. Okay, she's back out. Mr. Hyde. Your dad back? Not yet. I'll tell him to come to your room if I see him. Just hang in there. Okay. Damn it. Destroy the child. Nice work, Woodward. You're a hell of a father. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta get her dad and bring it back. The child's already destroyed. We're trying to undestroy the child. No one seems to be in. Just gonna have to look around. Watch him actually be in one of those side rooms. Nothing's not doing me any good. Nobody's in. Shit. We'll go door to door here, but then I'm checking the side rooms. Actually, I could just check a guide. <laughs> yep, no one's here or they're ignoring me. Great. I don't think he's in the linens. I don't think he's in the utility closet either. My homie Pooks, my homie Luke, my homie Seraphiel. Yeah, let's just let's just take a look. Let's see, we're in chapter seven. Um, let's see. Uh-huh. Rosal asked why it's yeah, because her mom left. I already said did all that. Oh, I'm supposed to go straight to the where Rosa said. Why would it lead me one way but not another? Okay, so we're going to the right hallway. Apparently, we're going to find that Christmas tree and then bring Melissa to it. She would mentioned that. I think it was in one of the storage rooms in the right hallway. Okay, we're on track. I was on the wrong track. I really thought I was just trying to find the dead. Main office, Dunning's room. Here, nothing. I'm not even looking at the end of the hall. I should have known there was nothing there. Rosa's room storage. Here we go. 
There should be a tree in here. I didn't set up a poll. You missed a lot of newts exploding and Hitler vomiting. Damn. I forgot to mention about the mead. Gonna be making a third batch sometime. Oh, shit. Christmas tree. Here we go. Third batch sometime. I'm gonna back sweeten with mulling spices. Often called Christmas spices because of their fragrance. That's what's used in ciders. Ooh, baby. Oh, that's gonna be great. Okay, we got a bunch of boxes. He did say Christmas tree to himself. The tree must be behind these boxes somewhere. Can't believe I'm actually looking for a Christmas tree. I'm going soft. Oh boy, here we go. I can already see it. Uh, yep, there it is. Here it is, just pick it up. I'll let Rosa deal with this <laughs> fucking mess. Look at this mess! Got it. Easiest puzzle of all time. Easiest slide puzzle I have ever done. That's the tree box. He's so happy. Who's there? Yeah, she was gonna get out. Oh, I thought you did and I won. <laughs> For everyone in the U.S. that's interested, you can make your own mead if you're of legal drinking age and you don't exceed 100 gallons a year. Really? You can't exceed 100 gallons a year? Which shouldn't be a problem because it's hard to do on your own. Yeah! Basically, you can't start your own liquor business. Next game I'm playing, it's Ikaruga. Oh, you're gonna like it. You're gonna like it. If you like that one, um... What was it called? Like... Drainus? If you like Drainus, you'll like Ikaruga. It's a good one. It's a good one. Federal law. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure, uh... I'm sure that one... Dreadus was so good. It's really good. If those were matchsticks, you would have been there for a while. I would have been. I would have... Nah, you'd have helped me out. Hey, Square, what are you doing here? Rosa came to my room and told me to get down here. She said I could see a Christmas tree if I went to the storage room. She said you'd be here, too. And she told me I could decorate the tree. How did she know? So can I, huh? Rosa saw right through me. This hotel's turning me into a real sap. Hey, mister. Let's decorate the tree together. Come on, huh? Sure, kid. Why not? Save it a kid's Christmas. All right, we got to decorate a tree. Um, let's, uh, oh, God, we got to hang him on the right things. Oh, shit. No, 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 I want the candy cane. Ah, we can put the ball here. There we go. We just got to put the yellows on, on the yellows and the reds on the reds, I guess. Could be wrong. There we go. Okay, we got another blue. There it is. This is, okay, these puzzles are not that hard. I think, uh, I'm pretty sure that, uh, I'm pretty sure that, uh... Oh, it didn't- uh, Glass Rose didn't have any puzzles at all outside of the sliding Tangram puzzles. And those were not that difficult, they were just kinda cool. Oh, man, I was- I was gonna put a fucking... There we go. Should do it. Better put the star on top. Beautiful, perfect art. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought for years the whole reason for decorating with candy canes was that so you could pull one off to occasionally snack on. Absolutely. My balls are hanging. I would hope so. It'd be weird if they were floating. Yay, it's a Christmas tree for me! Oh, that's so cute. Poor kid. Well, Squirt, it's three days late, but here you go. Merry Christmas, kid. No. Oh. Merry Christmas, Mr. Hyde. Just make it a kid's day. Who's there? Mila. Oh, did you come to see my tree? It's pretty, isn't it? It's the best tree ever. 
Yay tree, yay tree. Mr. Hide Me decorated it together. What are you doing here? Oh God, everybody's coming in. Who else is gonna waltz in here? Louis, get back to the bar. You've abandoned your post, soldier. That'd be me, except I don't waltz. Mompo, maybe, but Louis, what do you want? Easy, man. No need to go junkyard dog on me. I should. You were following the, the Mila, weren't you? you? You sicko. Rosa told me what she was up to. Said you was going to have a Christmas shindig or something. When I heard Melissa and Mila were going to be here, I knew I had to swing by. Can't have a party without Louie, brother. Am I right? So, Mila. So, Mila, did Rosa tell you to come here, too? What's, what's the deal with Rosa? Figures. Come on, let's have ourselves a good time. Time to party like it's 1990. Do whatever you want. Just stop trying to make me have fun. Me, though. That, that, that resonated. Dan doesn't even celebrate Christmas. <laughs> well, no, like, Danny, Danny Sexbang? No, he, he'd celebrate Christmas. He wasn't, he wasn't practicing. So he, uh, I, I think he's told story, stories about celebrating Christmas. How does this compare to Deadly Premonition? It's, oh, it's like, ap it's apples and oranges. They're very different games. Deadly Premonition, in my opinion, has a better, darker story, but... There is this complex story going on that I'd argue wraps up even better, in my opinion. So far, at least so far, it's really, it's really hitting me. Like, it's kind of doing this calm before the storm, like, stuff before, like, the real revelations hit. I like having everyone here. It's really fun. Good times, huh? Uh-huh. It's the... Ugh. Getting sleepy. She's asleep. She just fell asleep. Hey! I don't like a light. Hey, Louie. Yeah. Melissa fell asleep. Take her back to her room. <laughs> Just fucking tells him. Doesn't even ask. Uh, night. Oh, had to stop it. Oh, no, you're fine, Sheik. Thanks for coming in, as always. Oh, don't, 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 don't ever be sorry coming in here, man. Thank you for coming by. Have a great night. Huh, me? Yeah, no, Danny Sexping, like, he is Jewish, but... I think he's talked about um, celebrating both Christmas and Hanukkah or something like that. Like he, he and his, he and his folks never really, they they weren't really that strict about it. Why do I got to do it? I think I remember reading about or hearing about that. I think he's talked about that before. I want to chat with Mila, man. You know, flash her a bit of the Denono charm. No, you're not flashing Mila ever. I am a cop, kind of. Louie, the kid's asleep. Take her back to her room before she catches cold. You work here, remember? Like I could forget. Yeah, right, I'm going. Melissa, hey, come on, let's get you back to your room, huh? Louie picks up Melissa and carries her out of the room. No worries, Pops. Just making sure everyone follows the same rules. Yeah, it's all it's all pooks. I didn't delete I didn't delete nothing. I'm just saying that now. Pooks. Books hit mod mode. <laughs> How you feeling? Fever gone? Good. So, what did you do for Christmas? Who'd you spend it with? I opened my notebook and handed it to Mila. Mila writes something in my notebook. Hmm? Take a look. I have no one. That's not creepy. I have no one. Creepy. By yourself, huh? Where was your father? Here you go. I hand Mila my notebook again. Mila writes something. This shouldn't work, but it seems to. Let's see. I have to go to the menu every time. Where is dad now? 
How the hell should I know? He's gone? What, you don't know where he's at? What does your father do? What's his job? Who is your daddy? And what does he do? I feel that. Oh, yeah. Can you tell me where he lives? We're learning about Mila, finally. Just write it down for me. I give Mila my notebook again. <laughs> you don't have to do this every time. Mila hesitates and then writes something down. Hand it over. The suspense. There's too damn much suspense in this game, I swear to God. Santa Monica Gallery May. A gallery. Art gallery. Gallery May in Santa Monica. Monica. Manica. Your father owns an art gallery? It all goes back to that art theft. All of it. Huh? Oh, it's you. Oh, look at that. What a lovely tree. I bet Melissa was happy. Yeah, her and Louie both. That's nice. Something good came from your snooping after all. Damn. Come on, Mila. I think it's time to go. Ooh, she's thick. <laughs> yes, Amber, she's pretty thick. Good night, Mr. Hyde. I'll be taking Mila back to my room now. Oh, and you can go ahead and leave the tree up. It's just too nice to take down. Yeah, you got it. Rosa leaves, taking Mila with her. I'm taking the tree down. Little, little tree in the corner. I still need to find... I still need a quarter, though. I wonder if they're, like, I don't know. I wonder if I'll just end up with one. Or if I never do. There's no telling. Huh? Is that door open? What, Dunning's room? No one's coming to the door. Maybe I should have called first. We're in Dunning's room. Oh, shit. Oh, this could be a terrible idea. Dunning will kick your, kick your ass out on a moment's notice. Must be Dunning's room. Oh, why am I snooping around in here? This is a bad idea. This is a bad plan. Why is it open? Let's look around. Maybe he's got a quarter laying around. It's a pop art calendar. Huh. Dunning struck me as more of a landscape guy. It's the latest in video decks. Dunning's got more money than I thought. Thank you for the stupid poop, Stoop. You say, yeah, we're stupid and pooping. Here, I'll turn the, turn the music down. You morons will love this. Oh, yeah, that's down. That's as down as it gets. Assholes like fireworks. Who needs a fireplace in L.A.? Who needs a fireplace in L.A.? Honest to God, good question. That's right, Nighty Night, you sweet piece of shit. It's a picture of Dunning. Camera sure ain't kind to him. Boom time, baby. That's a photo of a couple of guys who are up to no good. assholes are everywhere. Trying to make some trouble in this neighborhood. Who hi ho, this fucker's gonna blow. Okay, here we go, here we go. Anytime, anywhere, any place. It's a half-empty bottle of booze. Of course, I like to say it's half full. Take names. It's an empty glass. Saddest thing I've seen all day. The tablecloth looks like the stars and stripes. Rock yeah, it roll. sure does. Fuckers rock and roll. Sports page. Okay, yeah, I am definitely doing some bad shit here. We're just looking around. See what we can find. It's a picture. Buddy, home. Hey, daddy's here. Come on. It's a picture of Melissa. There's a framed photo on the shelf. Send me the bill, it's a picture of a young girl. Over here, fuck face. Huh. Wonder who's in this photo. It's not Melissa. It looks like her though. No. The office is about to get severely fucked up. Ah. Hide. What in the hell are you doing in here? Anytime, anywhere. In this lobby? Don't get smart with me, pal. This is my own room. He's gonna kick my ass and take my name! My mistake. Sorry to barge in. If you're sorry, then haul yourself out of here. Give me a Thank you, Ryan. Oh, wait, right, 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 right. 
Um, what is this place? Blow, blow some shit up. Thanks for the shades off, Ryan. If you're sorry, then haul yourself out of here. Now, buddy, move it. What the fuck was I doing again? Yeah, fucking shit up. Yeah, I need to get out of here. That picture of the young girl in Dunning's room. Who could it be? Okay, cool. Well, we didn't get kicked out at least. Damn. Like, I am so used to game overing like nobody's business. Goddamn dark breath coming, motherfuckers. You fucking ass. Let me uh let me look some up. Let me see if the quarter's like optional to find. You fucking amateurs. I own your fucking soul, you Wait a minute. fucking commie bitch. Yes. Uh, I, I, I know I'm cheating, but fucking shit eating pig. Time to move. I I'm so I'm so curious. Vending machine. Doom on you, assholes. Wait, my show is. God damn, I could use a fucking drink. Oh no. Oh no. Wait. I've I'm gonna tell you guys this right now. There was only one opportunity to get change in this game, and that was back way back in chapter four. <laughs> So uh we ain't getting that we ain't getting it guys. We ain't we ain't getting that prize. Damn. Oh, how would I have how could I have known that? How could I have known that? Maybe I could knock on the door and ask for change. Who is it? It's Kyle Hyde. Oh, that sucks. Mr. Hyde, what you want? Got a minute? Wait, maybe if I show him the cash, maybe he'll then give me some money. Can I, can, can you break this one? That all the cash you have? Good thing I keep prices reasonable around you. No! I need change! Thank you for the stream. Finished some sandwiches thinking they would help me stay awake, but the opposite happened and I'm falling into a food coma. Hey, I, I always eat before... If I can't sleep, I always eat something before I sleep. I mean, that's just how you do it. You have a great night, Crudis. Have, a, have an awesome rest of your weekend. I'll see you on Tuesday, most likely. Oh, no. Yep, it's over. No change for Alpha. Who's the kid in the frame picture you got in your room? What? Why the hell are you asking me that? Just curious. Curious. You got a funny idea, curious, pal. First you go into my room and now this. Hey, you ain't. You ain't investigating me or anything, are you? You think I'm guilty of something? You don't act like a regular guest. And I had enough of your shenanigans I knew I shouldn't have asked him. I don't need headaches like you in my place. Pack your things and get out. Can I please have quarters, though? Yeah. Yeah, I knew I knew not to ask. I knew not to ask. Oh, we found all seven of them, too. That stinks. He doesn't have any quarters in his wad of bills. Always bring quarters. Always bring quarters. That's the moral of the story. And don't ask questions. Don't ask any questions in a game about asking questions. Okay. Actually, I wanted to, like, explore this room a little more anyway. While we're here... Nah, it doesn't look like we can. Can we go into his bathroom? I gotta investigate the bathroom at least. A locked door. Interesting. Okay, now I think I can load. Let's load up. Cause I'm pretty sure I I saved like right after getting kicked out. Yeah, like two minutes ago. Load complete, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Main office? Nah. Rose's room? I just I just love this. Yeah, you literally only have the one opportunity to get quarters. Somebody's in the lobby. It's the be it's the dad. Oh, this prick. That's Melissa's old man. Everybody in this hotel is horrible. 
Except maybe for uh, the old one-eyed lady. She was fine. And even she did some bad shit. Got a minute? Oh, hey there. Looky here. It's Mr. Hyde. It's a lovely night, isn't it? <laughs> he's drunk. He's, he's fucked up. Great. I see you're in a good mood. That's not... It's not true. I'm just... <laughs> Drunk as a skunk is what he is. Been to the bar, huh? I have. Yes, sir. Your daughter was looking for you. You're a liar, Mr. Hyde. A liar. I'm a liar. That's right. My little girl, she hates me. She never looked for me. That's why I know you're lying. <laughs> she was looking for you. Go to your room and ask her if you can make it that far. Mind your business. What do you know? Nothing. That's what. Get out of my life. Leave me alone. He's such a fucking jerk. Kevin turns and stumbles his way toward the front desk. What the hell's eating him? Also, could you break this, this stack of ones? I just need one quarter. You can keep the other three quarters. Hey, Woodward. He ignored me. Woody. Got a minute? Don't want... I don't want company. Leave me alone. Just just leave me alone. Blurp. Let's, 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 let's ask about that belch. You're really plowed, Doc. You okay? What's wrong with you? It's nothing. I don't drink much. No, I don't... I don't feel so good. Who were you drinking with? He was drinking alone. I, I wouldn't see anybody spending time with this guy. What difference does that make? It's none of your business. Have it your way then. I don't want company. Leave me alone. Great. This guy's awesome. What if I can like smack some money on the bar? Yeah, what if I just smack this money down and then let's see if that works. It shouldn't, but what if it does? Damn it. Damn it. Now nah, that ain't going to work. What are you thinking, Alpha? Okay, back out. No, well, he's not. He ain't, he ain't going to say anything else. Here we go. Wonder who Kevin was throwing him back with. Yeah, he's wanting me to ask again. I'll ask again. That's fine. Hey, buddy. I don't want company. Leave me alone. Or not. Okay. I mean, I could just ask Louie. Let's go to Louie. Louie will know. Turns out everybody was just enjoying free drinks while Louie was, like, hanging out in the storage room with a bunch of Virtual strangers. That sounds about right. Or it just could be her. It's Iris. Thanks for coming in. The drinks were delicious. I was pleasantly surprised. Good to hear, I think. Anyway, I'm glad. I hope you come back. I will. See you later. Hey. God damn it. Stop sneaking around, Hyde. You're going to give me a heart attack. If you weren't mooning over the dame. You'd have heard me come in. Ah, Mr. Hyde, as tactful as ever I see. If you'll excuse me. Iris turns and totters out of the bar. Somebody's schmoozing with the actress. No, I don't need the scotch. I don't need the scotch. I need the scotch. Looks like you were having a good time. Don't be getting the wrong idea, brother. I was just making sure the lady enjoyed herself. Part of the job. Whatever you say, Louie. You may want to pick your tongue off the floor, though. Give it a rest already. You want a drink or what? Not now. Yeah, I hear you. You've had enough tonight anyway. Knowing when to stop shows you appreciate a good drink. Can't abuse the stuff, right? Forget that. You'll end up like the dynamic duo I had in earlier. Slosh to the gills. 
Maybe I should ask. I mean, I can ask Louie. He's not going to kick me out. There's a framed photo of a little girl in Dunning's room. You know who it is? Picture of a kid? No clue, man. Dunning ain't never invited me in for tea and cookies, you dig? Okay, he doesn't know. I don't like that going away. Who's a dynamic duo, Louie? Well, better have just left. That babe Iris was tossing him back with Melissa's pops. Kevin and Iris were drinking together. Yeah, and more than a little. Got back from putting Melissa to bed, and here they are. Planted at the counter like a couple of regulars. Looks like they was talking about something serious, too. Then they both pounded back a roll of drink, drink or d a roll of dwinks. They pounded back a row of drinks, got fried to the tonsils. Been there. Melissa's pops ain't much of a drinker. Thought he might repaint the bar, you know? Lucky for me, he got up and stumbled out of here. Naira stuck around and had a couple more. She wasn't as bad off as I thought. Hurts to say it, man, but she wasn't here to chat me up. She was just killing time. What were they talking about? So, what were they talking about? Who knows, man? Weather, sports, whatever rich, fancy people chat about. You're telling me you didn't overhear anything? Well, I guess I did hear something. Melissa's pop said something about a Gallery May in Santa Monica. Gallery May? Like what the kid, like, like what, uh, Mila said. What do you say about this gallery? Sorry, brother. All I heard was the name. Guy was slurring like a prize fighter, huh? Gallery May in Santa Monica. Does all this tie into where Mila's father works? What's up, Hyde? You thinking deep again? You could say that. Well, come on, man. Don't leave me hanging. What is it? I learned some things about Mila's old man. You did? How? More snooping? I asked Mila some questions. Oh, shit. It has been quiet for you guys this whole time. There you go. We got music back. My bad, guys. I asked Mila some questions and had her write the answers in my notebook. Damn, why didn't I think of that? Mila's old man's named Robert Evans. Owns the gallery May in Santa Monica. I was using my imagination. Well, you gotta... So is everyone else. Welcome in, everybody. Whoa. There ain't two of them, no? Doubt it. Yo, Hyde, you thinking what I'm thinking? Depresses me, but yeah, I guess I am. Strange things from strange sources, huh? I better have a chat with your drunken friends. Okay, we're going in. Thank you, Mile. Welcome in, Mile! Let's throw out a shout-out to Mile Hyrule. What you been up to lately? Yeah, let's go on out. We got to talk to the drunk people. Oh my god. No, we're not. We're hopping in the Ferrari. Here we go, he says. And sure enough. You got any? Oh, random. Just fully random? Okay, cool. Let's, uh, you know, I want to stick with, uh, no, let's make it random. Let's make it proper random. Uh, let's see. What is it? No, 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 no. Settings. Game engine. Okay, world it is. Gonna have to redo everything. Just relaxing, got home from work. Hype! Do what you want. Yeah, nah, you said random, I'm going random. Here we go, baby. You've got a long day tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Alright, we're still going for ending D, though. It's just gonna be a little different. It might be a little easier. I feel like... I feel like the, uh... US version... ...of OutRun is a little easier than the Japanese version. I could be the only person, though. It might be the... It, this may be the hard one. Here we 
go. Here we go. Woo! Okay. Oh, I don't want to crash right off the bat. We're going to take a left and then all rights, just like last time. It'll be different maps, though. It'll be a different game. Oh, shit. Oh, I missed that corner. Checkpoint. Let's see. Okay, going in, going in. I want to, I want to super. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. I didn't, I didn't finalize that crash. Nice. I was expected to stop completely. I, I actually recovered from that. It is different. Oh, muscle memory is going crazy. It knows I'm playing OutRun, but the road's a little different. It's freaking it out. There we go. Yeah, just just move aside. Just move aside. I own this road, not you. There you go. Oh shit. Ah! Not this time, fucker. Ooh, it almost got God, it's being real aggressive. Or I'm just being bad. There we go. Check. It's good. Yeah, I hear you. Here we go, baby. Man, that was a terrible second round. Even though I didn't crash, it was still... I don't know, there's something off about it. Felt like it was kicking my ass a little. It, it was, it was, it was hitting me with a lot of jabs. Those jabs add up. Yep, here we go. Man, I am just not on my A game. We could make it. Maybe, maybe, maybe US is harder. I'm thinking world might actually be tougher. Or I'm just really unlucky. These cars seem to be, like, in bad places. And they don't seem to be letting up, either. Like, I don't know. RNG does... Oh, God, I'm actually gonna lose. There's no way I'm gonna beat this. Wow, I have never had a stage 3 loss. We're doing that again. Oh, wait, no! We made it! We are not making it to stage five unless we just fucking play our asses off. I'm gonna have to fucking drive like I've never driven before. I don't even know if I can make it. Okay, okay, come on. The thing is, I can't really slow down, and I've already, I've already fucked that up. So many cars! There are cars all over this road. Fucking truck. Fucking trucks! No way. No way am I gonna make it. Man, I did my best, too. Whoa! Whoa, it's still going! Oh, shit! Guys, oh, fuck. Let's see where this takes us. Oh, it's the fucking... It is, it's the same exact end road. Just drive careful. You're, you're on a one lane now, Alpha. Oh, fuck. Yes! Woo! Fuck! Oh, I can't believe I didn't hit anything. Holy fucking shit. We're at the end. We're at the end. One! Come on, Davey! Yes! 
zero point seven seconds. Oh my god. I can't believe it. Let's see what this ending is. Holy shit. I'll catch up with Chad. I just need to. Thanks for the <laughs> She came into the <laughs> Good job, girlfriend. Holy fuck. That is I it will never be cut that close again. I swear. That's insane. Still no PB, man. That first one. That ending B was just something else. Oh god, think, think. I didn't expect to actually fucking win. I was screwed. I didn't even think I'd make it to the end of three. Oh my goodness. Let's catch up with Chad. Fuck him up. I, go I love making tamales. I've begun cooking the pork roast for tamales. It's gonna be a long day tomorrow. Ooh, baby. Oh, see, I, I could barely see Chad, honestly. Like, I didn't change the- I didn't move the window. We got a party of 65 people tomorrow. Jesus. That's awesome. Bread makers are amazing. They are. They're fantastic. Holy fuck, GG, right? Only one more ending? Yeah, I'm down to- uh, yeah, I'm down to ending E. Well, that's- that's like each game, but I think they're all the same endings. I know, I got good. I just got good. It's just how it works. Thank you for the redeem mile. Holy shit. We may have to switch to- we may have to find another game to play. We may have to f hop in other cars. It it's probably gonna happen. Here we go. Oh wait, let me uh... There we go. I think I'll start with Iris. Okay, we gotta start talking to these two, huh? Well, they're both in their rooms, and I know where Iris is. Let's go. Speed runs when? Oh, Luke, I don't- I don't do speed runs. I tried... I tried speedrunning. I got, like, fourth fastest in Spelunker for the NES. I don't know if that... that record's been topped. I don't really care, either. It's just... it just wasn't for me. It just wasn't my thing. I was like, yeah, that's cool and all, but, eh. Some people dedicate their lives to it. No, I'm fine with that. If they if that's how they want to play, that's that that is the way to play. I got other games to play though. I don't want to get like that good at a game, I guess. Iris, you in here? Yep. Can I help you? Something I wanted to ask you. Fine. Do you know anybody runs it? I wonder what the speedrun record for Hotel Dusk is. Let me look this up real fast. You know there is one. You know... I I'm, ty I'm typing it in. Hotel Dusk, baby. Oh, yep. There it is. There it is. I see the name. There is one. Paperclip. Okay, there's paperclip percent. Where you get your paperclip for the first time. The number one spot is 13 minutes exactly. 13 minutes, zero seconds. But what's interesting is there's no... There's no video available. Second place is 21 minutes exactly. Any percent is 4 hours, 18 minutes. That's actually pretty impressive. That, that is a lot of not reading anything. You know anybody runs a gallery down Santa Monica? That's a rather odd question, isn't it? Am I number seven? It, 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 oh, I'm in seventh place now? I don't care. I don't care. I used to be fourth. I guess p more people started playing it after that. Yeah, I'm on there. I don't, I don't care. I'll be in the top ten. It, it's just not my thing. It's just not for me, guys. It really isn't. I guess they found out. You know what I did? I found out that using the, uh, using the fucking speed up potion will literally help your time, and nobody had used that before. Everybody would avoid it for good reason. And I figured out, wait a minute, as long as I just, because, and the reason why nobody would used the speed up potion is because it really just fucked up how, how the character moved, and it was way easier to die. 
Hey, Avil. How am I doing? I'm doing great. Just playing, uh, playing the rest of Hotel Dusk. We're, I'm thinking of finishing it tonight. 22 for Gunstar Heroes still. Hey, that's nice. Not bad. Not bad. Hey, that's higher than me. It's not my thing, though. I'm, I'm never speedrunning again. Sorry, guys. It's just, it's just not how I like playing games. I like, I like, I like sinking my teeth in them, you know? Like, 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 it's, it's like, I don't know. Like, like, it's like liking a, a hot dog and joining hot dog eating contests. I'll, I'll just take, I'll just take the food, you know? I'll take my time with it. I have a record on a game called Heaven Dust. Heaven Dust. It's, it's not really how I do things. Heaven Dust. It sounds familiar. Oh, it's a survival game. It's a very recent survival game. I've never heard of this. It sounded familiar, but it looks like absolutely nothing I've seen. Oh, it's a nice little zombie shooter. I, I like it. I like how it looks. It, it really is. I'm definitely feeling that. You were talking about a gallery at the bar. While you were drinking with Kevin Woodward, remember? Guy from room 219? I remember my actions quite well, thank you. I didn't black out or anything. And what business is a and what business is this of yours? Just curious. Do you want me to believe that you've suddenly become a patron of the arts? Yeah, that's me. I'm a big fan of apple paintings and armless statues. Huh. Huh. Hmm. Hmm, she said. If you must know, I merely mentioned a gallery where an associate of mine works. Mr. Woodward then told me, with no prompting from me, that he knew of it. Actually, I... I'm glad you're here. I need to speak with you about something. I believe it or not, I don't have anyone else to turn to for help. No, I believe it. Just come in, will you? Yeah, sure. Okay, your room looks a little worse than mine. Finally, I don't have the worst room in the house. I guess my wish came true. <laughs> So, where's the fire, Iris? When I returned to my room, it felt odd. Then I saw it, and it is odd. Hey. Odder than you? Ha ha ha! What's odd? Speedrunning takes enjoyment out of the game. You spend less time enjoying the game and more time just trying to complete it. I feel like... I don't feel like that's every game. It's why Ocarina of Time isn't, as fun, isn't fun for me anymore. I, I feel ya. I think some games are way less fun when you try to speedrun them. I think other games can actually be more fun. I had more fun with Spelunker trying to speedrun it than I did just playing it naturally, casually. I really liked trying to figure out how to do it faster. And I think it's because it was so tightly programmed. It was very well programmed. It, it was, it's, there are like virtually no glitches or, you know, workarounds that you can use to make it faster. The way his head tilts is kind of weird. Yeah, it kind of is. It's kind of trippy. It is rotoscope, so it's it's a real randomizer that adds light back in. Oh, no. I, I don't even like randomizers. The way I see it, if I stop enjoying it, if I play a game so much I stop enjoying it, there are literally thousands of other games I should play. Like, I, I, it's just my cue to play a new game. That's just how I see it. Like... Adding a randomizer, I'm still playing the same game. I'm still telling the same story. There, there's so much more. So much more. What's odd? What's odd, Iris? My suitcase has been moved. Subtle. But it's definitely been moved. And you're sure about this? Yes, I'm positive. Someone's been in here. Whoever it was must have waited until I was out and then broke in. Anything stolen? Was anything taken? Yes. You contact the front desk? I hear Dunning has experience with this kind of thing. Not yet. I mean, I should, but... There will be so many questions, and I hate questions. Besides, no one ever tries to catch a thief unless lots of money is stolen. So they didn't take your money. That's right. So what did they take? I can't say. Then I can't help. You would consider helping me. 
Depends on how cooperative you are. What's that grin? I lost a small envelope. Wonder what was in it. What about the gallery? So, what's the name of this gallery you know? Let me guess. Gallery May. Yep. Wait a second. What's the owner's name? No, I already know the owner's name. How do you know it? How do you know about the place? A friend of mine works there. Interesting. That's all. That's all. She's not telling me nothing. They took her rosé. That's got to be what it is. I don't know. I, I, I think she belted. I think she's knocked back enough rosé for one night. So what's in the small envelope? A small letter? I can't tell you. I was sworn to secrecy, Mr. Hyde. You must believe me. I made a promise to the person who gave it to me. Junkyard, hey, Junkyard Dave, welcome in. Dude, yes, this is low-key one of my favorite games. Such a sleeper and underrated. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's not my first, it's not the first time I played it, but I have forgotten about it so much because last time I played it, it was around 2009. So it's been, it's been over a decade and man, I'm just seeing all those just seeing all those threads come together again, it's just, mm, it's, it's, it's fantastic. It really is. Yeah, that's better. How have you been, Junkyard? I love this game. I, I'm, I'm falling in love with it all over again. I remember liking it back then, and I remember being satisfied by it, but I, but the, the, why I was satisfied was blank. It, it just wasn't there. So I figured it was around that time. And two, it's comfy season. Halloween's over. I figured November, perfect time for this game. A lot of, lot of earth tones, color-wise, too. I felt like it fit. Who gave you the envelope? So somebody gave you the envelope, right? Anything else you can tell me? Was there anything written on it? I can't say. Then I can't help. Okay, good luck, lady. I'm out of here. Why must you be such a crass, insensitive lout? Fine, fine, I'll tell you. Just give me a moment. I'm impatient. Who gave it to you? It was Grace. The hell's Grace? <laughs> what I love about it is how well localized it is. I love the dialogue in this game. You'll find her name written on the back of the envelope. Been pretty good. You, sadly, I think this company either made this game or this game and one other and went bankrupt. They did go bankrupt. It's Ching. And I have played one of Ching's other titles. I started off, the first Sing game that I that I did play was uh, Glass Rose. And I know all their other games. I love Sing. Sing is one of my favorite uh, adventure game developers. Like... I know about Trace. I think I've actually played another Code 2 Memories way back, also known as Trace Memory if you're in Europe. I've always wanted to play its sequel, which I hear got some kind of localization. I think in England don't, or in PAL regions only, but that's no big deal. There was Hotel Dusk, Last Window, which was their last game, the sequel to this that wrapped it all up. I want to play that real bad. And, uh,. Little King Story. Also, again, we need to play again sometime because I hear that's good. I couldn't finish again. There was one puzzle I could never get past. Shit, I believe it. Some of these puzzles can, like, just blind. They can be, like, the easiest puzzles in the world. And then there's a puzzle that'll hit that'll just fucking floor you. It's, it, it, they're funny like that. Sister in law bought last window for me while she worked at Lionhead in England. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's a great one to have. Did you? I, I take it you played it. How is it? I know the writing is different because it was localized by a different team. So the writing's a little more like like the dialogue is it doesn't quite have that punch that this one has. It's amazing. Oh man. Can't wait. Can't wait. I've got it ready to go. Just I, I figured I'll play some a little more action packed later. And then, and then come back to Last Window at some point. You'll find her name written on the back, er, her name written on the back of the envelope. Who's Grace? Who is Grace? You gonna tell me who Grace is? She's a friend. And what kind of friend? She's a friend, Mr. Hyde. What about that is so difficult for you to comprehend? You may live your life all alone under a 
rock somewhere, but I... Oh, why am I talking to you about this? It's none of your business. It's none of my business. All right, lady, whatever you say. Nothing, nothing Kyle has done has been his business. All right, I'm off. I'll drop in if I find anything. Thank you. Helping me is more kindness than I expected. Don't get used to it. I ain't doing this for you. But then... I'm just curious about what got stolen, that's all. You don't say. Oh, but I do. Got a hunch about your mystery envelope and whatever's inside it. I think it's gonna shine a light on some shadows I've been following around. Mr. Hyde, what on earth are you talking about? See ya. Remember liking a lot? I forgot a lot of it again, too. Probably played it over a decade. Yeah, same thing. It's it's not a forgettable story, but after so many years, I mean, things start to fade out, you know? A little envelope. Something that would fit inside a little envelope. A pen. A, a, a necklace. Oh, God. I was just about to talk to you. What are you doing here? Ah, uh, nothing. Goodbye. Kevin leaves. Wonder if he was hoping to see Iris. Either way, he's up to something. Guess it's time to put the good old doctor to the coals. Well, he'll be in 219. Let's save. I don't want to get kicked out of the building just because... Just because I fucked up. Played Hotel Dusk at the story really stayed with me. Last window, I guess not as much. I played a little bit of Last Window. I don't know if I ever finished it, though. So I guess it didn't stick with me either if I did. Another game by members it called Chase. Unsolved mysteries, unsolved cases, investigation, distant memories. The art's very similar. Wasn't that a 3DS game? That was after Sing Dissolve, if I remember right. I remember reading an Adventure Gamers uh, review of it. And I talked about this last stream where the, the author was just really uncomfortable with what a jerk the main character was that it put him off. I didn't really take that seriously. I just thought it was funny because, you know, that's what this director does. He just makes these, like, jerk protagonists that you that, that still have a certain... They still have a certain, like, charm to... I guess they're like, kind of like how House is written, where they're unlikable protagonists that you can't help but like, if that makes sense. Doesn't appear every anyone's in. Barge in. Door's locked, so she's not in his room. Could he be on the roof? He might be on the roof getting air. He was pretty drunk. Grab it. Open it up. He is definitely not up here. I'm kind of looking at the map. I'm looking for a blue circle. It ain't happening. Blue circles ain't happening, guys. Hey, Robo Jams, how you doing? Somebody shout out Angry Robo Jams. Welcome in. What you been playing? Here, I'll shout you out. Go check him out if you haven't. He's uh, he usually plays Binding of Isaac, but you'll see him play in other games too. Everybody shouting him out. Everybody shouting Robo out. <laughs> Thanks, Freedom. <laughs> okay, I guess he went downstairs. Let's go downstairs. Also, check out Luke Force. Damn. Well, you did tell us to. I did. You guys, you guys jumped at it. Thank you. <laughs> You did not have to jump at it. You 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 don't have to say anything. If I say it, you don't. I I don't. It don't matter. I am an impatient man. Check out orgy. Shout out orgy. There's an orgy somewhere. If Kyle was written by House, there would be three commercial breaks where he doesn't know what to do before solving the crime before the end. That's true. That's true. That's true. It's Christmas. It's not Christmas. It's lupus. And somebody's gonna have lupus. You got a minute? Go away. But you know what I mean. Just that, just that asshole protag that you can't help but just like. 
I'm very curious about that game. The, their 3DS game. That'll be a lot harder to stream, though. I might not stream that one. What are you doing here? Go away. I just... I just want to be by myself. I got questions for you. Go away! Florida Keep Batman you. has joined the convoy for 11 months running. Oh my Keep god. Keep your seedling inside for the winter. And if you are growing it in fall, keep it inside until spring. Uh, yeah. Good to know. Good to know. Thank you. Thank you for the gardening advice, Florida Batman. How you doing, man? Go check out Florida Batman. Oh, shit. I can't. I can't. I can't do the hard. Click the name. Click the follow button. You guys know how it used to be. Also, thank you for the 6,000 paper clips for Make Me Play Earthworm Jim. Damn. I do have a challenge up. It's 21% already. It's, it's, it's making me play Earthworm Jim for the Sega Genesis. One of my favorite Sega Genesis games, if not my absolute favorite. And one that I've never finished. I still haven't beaten it. And one of these days, I'm gonna. And you could make it that day. Thank you, Luke, for the 4,000 total points. Holy shit. I think it was Lupus one time. I think that might have been Lupus. When he was, like, debating with himself whether it was Lupus or not, and it turned out he was wrong or something. Oh, yeah. Florida Batman cheered 100 bits. Cybert 40 feet Steven. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. You know what? You know what? Steven's getting kind of I'm gonna. I'm going to feed Steven, too. I was just about to do that. Let's see. Where's Steven? Just take one bite. Just take one bite. Just one bite. No more. No more. Yeah, I don't want you eating too many carrots. He's, you can already see, like, across the fucking planet. I'm not in any condition to speak right now. I saw you hanging around two six, uh, room 216. Are you looking for Iris? It's none of your business who I, who I see. Easy, Doc. You two had business? It's dead, dead time. Were you looking for Iris? Heard you two tossed a few back in the bar. And? And if I were? Is there a law against me drinking with Iris? What the hell's going on between you two? What are you plotting? What were you and Iris chatting about? You two been friends long? Why? Why are you asking me these things? I don't... You have no right. It doesn't matter who my friends are, who I talk to. You don't have a right to hound me like this. I don't have to tell you anything. Don't be a mean drunk, Doc. Just talk to me. Enough. Enough. I'm out of patience. I'm tired of your questions. Tired of you. Close your head. You're a loser, Doc! I got reasons for asking. Never, never click the option with the exclamation point. Because it's usually wrong. I ain't asking these questions for my health, all right? Then why are you asking them? Why are you... I'm looking for someone. Look at you. <laughs> I don't believe it. That's right. There's a young girl staying here who's looking for her father. Are you talking about Melissa? How, how dare you? No, different kid. So I need to ask you about Gallery May in Santa Monica. Seems the girl's father owns the joint. Really? You know the place, right? Gallery May? Steven's like a horse. He is. He's a workhorse. I yes. How? How? Well, my... My wife used to work there. Okay, that's good news. We're done. We're done here. I'm going back to my room. Not yet, Doc. I got more questions. I'm just- I'm just fucking grilling him in the lobby. Mr. Hyde, what- what do you want? Yes, I know Gallery May. My wife used to work there before she- She used to work there. Iris is just- We just met. We had drinks. That's why my- my head hurts. Tamale meat simmering in a brine for the rest of the night, and I got beans cooking for if I run out. Very nice. Awesome. She mentioned the gallery. I was surprised. That's all. No mystery. There's no mystery here. I don't know the owner. Never met him. You playing straight with me, Doc? <sighs> Enough. Please, Mr. Hyde. My head hurts, and I'm tired. I'm... I'm... I'm tired, I'm sleepy, and I'm bored with this conversation. And I know nothing. Nothing, huh? 
You're hiding something, spill it. How- how dare you? We're done, done talking. My problems are mine, got it? Mine! Not yours! They're not yours. Not my business, huh? Look, you- you were kind to my daughter and- And I think you- Maybe you mean well, but that's enough, I have limits. I'm not going to unfold my life to a, a stranger. Alright, point made. Let's step back a sec. We've both been around the block, right? Got a few scars to show for it? I got no interest in digging into your private life. But I'm interested in digging into your private life. And that's something the key I- that something is the key I need to find what I'm looking for. What you're looking for? What is that? It's got nothing to do with you. But you answer my questions, I'll tell you what you want to know. Okay, talk about Iris. Let's talk about Iris. I bet you're lovers! I believe you just met. This is the first time you met her? That's right. I, I never met her before tonight. But she, she said she knew Grace and... Who's Grace? Melissa's mother, my, my wife. Iris mentioned Gallery May in the bar. It surprised me. But then, then she told me she knew Grace. Oh, tamales are delicious. I love a good tamale. I didn't, I, I didn't know what to say. What else does she know? Does she know your wife left you? I, I don't know. Why didn't you ask her? Maybe she knows where your wife is now. No, I, I'm tired of talking to strangers about how my wife left me. I have some pride, some, but... No, who am I kidding? It's all my fault. She left because of me. Interesting. Why'd she leave? Dad, um, I... Okay, he ain't talking. Talk about Gallery May. I got a hunch about this Gallery May. No, he wouldn't have worked there. He never worked there. He was a surgeon. He never worked there. So when did she start at the gallery? No, I, I didn't, but she was... She was there seven years ago. It's a long time. Wife was working at the gallery when we... When we got married. Then Melissa was born and she took a few years off. It was important. She thought spending time together was important. But she missed the gallery. She wanted to use her training. So... So when Melissa turned two, Grace found work at an art museum. Things were still all right between the two of you. Yes. Th they were. Thank God I got that right. Damn, that would have ended- That would have ended the conversation game over. It happens so much in this game. You can die so many times in this game. Talk about Grace. I bet I know what went wrong between you and the wife. Ooh, this is a tough one. It had to be him. It had to be him. It was you, right, Doc? Yes, it was. It was all my fault, thank God. Oh, God, the pressure. It is like clipping fucking wires on a bomb. How was it your fault? What did you do? Well, uh... Uh... uh <laughs> feeling low? <laughs> he just starts barfing like projectile vomiting everywhere. My head's gonna explode. Yeah, I'll bet. You better get to your room before you make Rosa's life a living hell. Can you make it? Cause I ain't carrying you. You're right, it's... It's just like you said. I'm right? Hey, hold up. 
What is it? You're pathetic, you know that? I give you a load of crap about how you raise your kid, and you don't get mad. No woman likes a coward, pal. I bet that's why your wife left you high and dry. Oh, yeah? Uh, yeah? I bet she'd been planning to dump you for a long time. You know she left a message on the back of one of Melissa's puzzles, right? The one she gave her as a gift? She left a goodbye message on the back. She... she did what? You didn't know. Where's your head at, Doc? Of course I never knew. I... that was the problem. I never knew anything. Man, he, he fires him. This has more fucking, like, tactical nukes than, than fucking, than the, the fucking DEFCON game. You want to hear my story, Mr. Hyde? I'll tell you everything. Tell you what. You want to talk? I'll stand here till I get bored. Two years ago, I... Bored. Heading out. Bye, guys. I lost a patient in the operating room. I did what I could, but... The family, they... They sued me for malpractice, and... They won, huh? Oh, yes, they won. The court made me pay. It was so much money, and my insurance wouldn't... I didn't have it. I couldn't get that much. It was just so much. I was drowning. I didn't know what to do. And Grace, she kept working at the museum while while I waited. When they gave me the verdict, I, I asked for a divorce. It was my mistake. My... I didn't want Grace to pay for that. But Grace refused. She, she said no. She told me no. This won't beat us, she said. I won't lose my family, she said. She was going to... She told me she was going to raise the money. And she did. She, I don't know where it came from, but she did it. How? She made me promise not to ask. Said it was a, a price we pray, paid to stay together. Said we'd be together forever. She was wrong. Wrong. I loved her. From that day, I just... I loved her so damn much. She was everything. But you know what? I didn't trust her. How crazy is that? But I mean... Where did she get the money? It was a lot of money. So I asked her, and asked her, and asked her. But she wouldn't tell me. So we fought, and we just fought about everything. Everything. Then one day she... She... She left. Yes. I tried to find her. I've been everywhere, and tried, and I, I don't know. I don't know. So why'd you come here? Matches. I found a matchbook from this hotel. It was in, in her purse. So I came here. I thought I could find a clue or, you know, a clue. Just one little clue. But I failed. I failed and I didn't find a damn thing. So you're right, Mr. Hyde. I don't know anything. I'm a loser. I'm pathetic. That's one word for it. I know. But I think you're gonna pull out of this. Kevin's a stalker bitch now. <laughs> Kevin. You've got a chance. I, I do? Comes a day in every man's life when he realizes he's a fool. But you got someone who needs you no matter what. Lousy drunk that you are. You know what I'm saying, Doc? I... You can pull your ass out of the gutter for that person, am I right? Mr. Hyde, Melissa loves you more than anything. Your family, hell, the only family she's got left. So that's what happened to Melissa's mom, huh? Wonder how Grace scored all that cash. Probably working for Niall. Everything's connected to Niall in this game. Why did she come up to Hotel Dusk, and how are Iris and Grace connected? Take a deep breath, Hyde. Get your ducks in a row here.
Recap time. You're just in time for recap time. I went down to the Seven Stars Bar at 10 to meet up with Louie. While I was enjoying some good scotch, Summer barged in. I told him that Helen was Alan's mother and then split before he talked more. After leaving the bar, I ran into... Rosa. No, it wasn't Rosa. She wasn't in the hallway at the time, was she not? I thought she was. Well, that was my fault. Yeah, I love the pop quizzes, Avil. You, you got no idea. I could have sworn it was Rosa I ran into. I guess it had to be. Oh, it was. It was Melissa. I was thinking of the outer hall, not the not the bar hall. That's right. Melissa was roaming the hallway outside the bar. She was looking for her old man, Kevin. And she didn't look happy. Cool, 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 cool. I told Melissa it was late and she should go back to her room. But something about how sad she looked stayed with me. After talking with Rosa, I decided to get the hotel Christmas tree out of storage. Figured a tree with all the trimmings might pick the kids' spirits up. The room where I found the tree was... Good. Sto storage. You, you just said... You just said storage. You just said storage. That's right, I drug the tree out of a box of the storage room. Then I decorated it for Melissa. Hadn't done anything like that in years. Made me look like a sap, but it actually wasn't a half bad time. Melissa came to the storage room to see the Christmas tree. She looked pretty happy to celebrate Christmas, even if it was just three days late. A couple other people heard about the tree and came down to join us. First was Mila, and then... Uh, Louie. Louie showed up. Dunning showed up. That's right. Who else would crash a party but Louie? Guy's got a nose for bright lights and dames. Damn, Riv! Welcome in, Riv! The lights of the tree pushed back the shadows of the storage room for a bit. After Melissa fell asleep, Louie took her back to her room. How you been? How was, uh, did you, did you do D&D tonight? Thank you for shouting out, Riv. <laughs> Mila and I were left in the storage room, so I got out my notebook. That's when I learned that Mila's father owned his own business. The name of it was... Hey there. Oh, Seven Stars, obviously. Gallery May. They only said it 15 times. That's right, Mila wrote the name down in my notebook. Mila's father owns an art gallery in Santa Monica. It's called Gallery May. Louis told me that Iris and Kevin were drinking together. He said they were talking about Gallery May. That's when I decided to ask the two of them some questions. But when I went to 216 to see Iris, I learned something else. A mystery man broke into Iris' room and nicked something from her. The thief made off with a small envelope with a small letter in it. A fountain pen. A paper clip. That's right, whoever it was took a small envelope. At least that's what Iris said. What was in the envelope? Just another question for the pile. Evening wasn't a total bust, though. Kevin tied one on, and I waved the fumes away long enough to grill him. He told me Melissa's mom, Grace, worked at a place called Gallery May. He also told me about some malpractice suit he lost a few years back, but I need to know how Grace raised the money to pay the thing off. As I listened to Kevin spill his guts, an idea started to swirl in my brain. There's a connection here. Bradley disappears with Osterzone's angel painting. Doc's missing wife works at an art gallery. My old man used to say, where there's stink, there's flies. You hear me coming, Bradley? Hotel Dusk's got the key to this whole mess, and I'm gonna find it tonight. I believe him. I fully believe him. We're finishing this tonight. Canceled because I didn't have the mental capacity for it tonight. Played Phasma with Bug Fuchs and Woe instead. Very nice. Very nice. I hear you. Sometimes, sometimes, I feel you. Sometimes you just can't. It's just on the spot shit. How, how did Phasma go, guys?
Chapter 8 11 to 12 a.m. I only have one hour left. There are three chapters left. There's eight, nine, and ten. Once that's done, the, the game is over. We're near, we're this close to the end. 11 o'clock. Time to show Louie how a real man bowls. But first, I got some real business to take care of. Someone took an envelope from Iris. And I want to know who and why. Uh, nah, fuck that. We're going straight to the bar and bowling. Bowling mini game, baby. I don't even know if there is one. Ah, shit. The phone. Again. Yeah, apparently bowling is a thing in this game. I forgot all about it. Is Seraphiel in this? Oh, I'm busy cooking. Phone's ringing. Stop ringing. Is it best girl? It is. Hey, Rachel. Hey, sweetie, she says. I hope Ed's paying you for the graveyard shift. I just do this for kicks, hon. But hey, Ed told me that you're onto something. Did you find a clue about your friend Bradley? Think so. Ed's been talking about you all night. Told me all about why he thinks you won't stop looking for Bradley. Ed talks a lot. I think it explains a lot. I don't need explaining. Right, and I don't need a better job. You're just one big puzzle after another, Kyle. But I guess that's what makes you so darn charming. Rachel, listen, do you think... Oh, sorry, handsome, Ed needs you. Wow, Ed's actually on the phone. Hide! What's the good word? I'm shaking trees, but the acorns aren't dropping. No direct ties to Bradley yet, but if I, I did, but I did find one thing. Yeah. Did some candle only runs. Very nice. I don't think we got any of the ghosts wrong tonight, or did we? No wrong ghosts, no wipes. Damn good night. Hell. How many games? It's a name. I need you to run it for me. Go. See what you can dig up on a gallery may in Santa Monica. And get me the skinny on the owner, too. Guy named Robert Evans. Gallery May. Robert Evans. Got it. Thanks. You got fingers in a lot of pies, Ed. I know you can find something. Both names keep popping up in strange places. And at least one person here is hot to find this Evans character. Played for quite too many. Played for quite some time. They've been playing since we were watching the movie, at least. From 5 p.m. to now. Damn. Damn. It's what, six hours? Shit. No losses in six hours? That's that's fucking wild. Good job, guys. You get that means you just, that, what that means is you're you're playing rookie difficulty at this point. You gotta bump that you gotta bump that up. Got on at four. We did some tabletop to start. Very nice. And at least one person here is hot to find this Evans character. There's something here, Ed, I know it. And I'll do what I can on my end. But give me the details. What are you fishing for? I met a young girl here. She's wearing the same bracelet that Bradley used to have. The girl's name's Mila. Mila. Hide, are you saying? No, it's not his sister. Mila says the bracelet is from her father, Robert Evans. I think she's looking for the guy. It's the same guy that owns the gallery. Yeah, same guy. Right. Give me an hour or so, let me talk to my people. I'll give you a buzz when I track something down. Thanks. Thanks, boss. Good old Ed. All right, let's get out of here. I guess we're bowling. We can crank it up on one notch next time if you want. Yeah, absolutely. You guys have mastered the previous... Yeah, you you guys are a difficulty level up now. Gotta keep that challenge fresh. Sounds like that came from one of the rooms at the end of the hall. I guess the end of that hall? Yeah. Let's see which one it is. Left or right, guys. Check the utilities first. Let's go. Nothing. Damn, I got it wrong. Don't look. Don't look. Look away, guys. Oh, 
guess it wasn't one of the rooms at the end of the hall. What should be the the roof? The ultimate room at the end of the hall. I doubt it. Say again, say again, freedom. Lect. Lect. What's a lect? Oh, left. <laughs> I get it. I get what you're saying. No, I think it's left. Okay, we'll just we'll just start knocking on doors. Hell with. Yeah, it's lift. Oh, left. Got it. Understood. Understood. I get what you're saying. Maybe it was across the hall. Maybe I gotta talk to Iris? I'm not sure. He just said door at the end of the hall closed. Maybe it's the end of my hall. Maybe it's the end of this little hallway until it hits the stairs. 218 I think is vacant. 213 is not. Let's try it. I was looking for Louie, but he was like, oh, I heard a door close at the end of the hall. So I guess I'm supposed to be looking at, for one of those. I wasn't yawning. I guess I'm going to Louie's. I'm not worried about it. Let's see what happens when we go to Louie. We're going to Louie's. We're going to Louie's. We're going to see what's going on with this bowling alley. Alright. Oh, shit. No, no, no. Don't look at the scotch. Don't look at the scotch. Don't look at the scotch, you... Drunk bastard. Talk to Louie. Here he is, the man of the hour, the cop of the heart of gold, Kyle Hyde. So, you want to put a fiver on this first game or what? Something come up, Louie? Oh, something came up, Louie. Give me a few. Oh, man, I was ready to roll. Just make it quick, huh? Damn. Damn. I tried knocking on Iris's. But it didn't do anything. I could try just barging in. Yeah, he's not wanting me to do that until I get this done. Just walk on in. Chad stride trespass into another... I mean, I've done everything else wrong in this hotel. Locked. What if it's 217? I like how I can just come and go as I please in here. But this ain't where I'm supposed to be. Yeah, what in 218? Nobody seems to be in. Yep. It just said somebody closed a door at the end of the hall. That's all it said. There are like four ends to this hall. Oh, right hallway, maybe? See if anybody's over here. Locked and won't open. Yeah, yeah, it's not gonna open. Not the utility closet. Not 220 unless I just walk in. We'll find it. Or we'll know, but... Ah, shit. Oh, no. Game, don't tell me. Nugget's not doing any good. No one's in. It really didn't tell me much of the way of what fucking room it could be. <laughs> oh, man. Hmm. The only thing I can... Okay, I don't think any of the doors are doing anything. I'm, 
I'm leaving. I'm gonna look around. I'm just gonna start moving places. Okay, no, restaurant. Maybe the restaurant? Well, that's where the bar is. I'll try the restaurant, too. Let me look around. Oh, okay, there's Kevin. Let's see what Kevin has to say. You sober yet? Oh, it's... it's you. You forget what room you're in? No. No, I was just... Just trying to clear my head. I'm going back now. Cool. Kevin nods and slowly wanders down the hall. Well, that, that was something. Yeah, I don't think... I don't think... Yeah, I've already... I've already screwed the pooch on this change. We're not... We're not getting that... The secret item. We already found all the stickers, dude. We already found the solution. Okay. Let's see if that did anything. Maybe it was 219. Nope. Guess not. Hey, Night Shadow. How's it going, my man? Now, there are two doors at the end of the hall here. Maybe I should explore these. Not a whole lot, just ordering parts for Monday. Nice, nice. Any any new games you're working on? Night Shadow, uh, he maintains and repairs arcade cabinets. It's really cool. Rebuilds them, basically. Linen cart, empty as can be. Louis slack it again. It's plastic garbage, this ain't it. This ain't nothing. We got linens and more linens. Nah. Oh, should I take something from here? There's a locker on the wall. It's unlocked. I've already used... Wait a minute. There's a toolbox on a shelf in the locker. Can I take this? Look at me. It's a screwdriver. Can I take these back now that I, uh... I just realized. I bet I'll be happy I found this before all said and done. Can I take these back now that they've been investigated? I'm gonna take them all. I'm taking them all. Now that- now that Dunning's not looking for them anymore, I think they're safe. Never know when you might need one of these. Turned a hobby into a career. Plus, I'm also a retro historian and retro game. Yeah, isn't that awesome? He sure is. Let's see here. Open up. Knock, knock. Let's try this one. These are the only rooms at the end of the hall. I don't know. Look around. Look at everything. I don't trust this. There's something in the garbage can. Okay. There's a tape in the garbage can. A fucked up tape. Wonder who threw this away. All right, here we go. There's some brown paper in here. A discarded envelope. Oh, it's the envelope! It's addressed to Iris. This must be it. Okay, so Iris threw something away in here. Someone tossed away some bits of paper. What about this one? I got no use for garbage. Best to leave it be. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Holy shit. Okay. That's gotta be it. I, I think... Should I look at this? Let's look at him. That was it? Okay, cool. Nice. Envelope that was in the garbage to Iris from Grace. Yep, that was it. Cassette tape I found in the garbage. So she ripped it up and tossed it. Oh, I bet I could... I got an idea. I can wrap this up in my room. I got a pencil. Let's save first. I don't want to break it or anything. Like, so many weird surprises could end this game. And I don't like surprises. Here we go. Unless they're like, you know, birthday surprises or something. You know, like cash prizes. Those are, those are, those are fun surprises. 
Not 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 those. Briefcase. I always check that I always check the cardboard boxes. They're, they're both empty and on my bed right now. I take a pencil out of my suitcase. Now check the cassette tape. Ah shit. Have any of the puzzles given you a hard time? Uh They're just the real puzzle. I think the only one that gave me a hard enough time to look it up, besides knowing where to go, was uh, the chalk puzzle on the pen where you had to put the chalk on the pen to find out what name was on it. That was hard because I didn't really know what it was going for. I thought it was, I thought it was doing something else completely. Well, I got the pencil. And sure enough, I can pick it up. Maybe I should go to room 217 and uh, do the do the old detective thing with the with the pencil on the paper that was written on. I, I I'm sure it has to do with the tape. I need a tape recorder for that though. Mm. Yeah. Check that. Dresser. I wonder if I can do this. This is what I wanted the pencil for, for before. Not gonna go anywhere right now. Yep. What's this? Hotel envelope. Bookmark in the box puzzle can be a pain. No, that one didn't bother me. Sewing Melissa's doll. That was actually really easy for me too. Both of those were easy. No, the one that gave me the hardest time. It only gave me that hard a time because of an em because of how the emulator works. And luckily, there's a way to save. Um, basically, I can hold like watch this. Like hands up, yeah. There is a way to basically bookmark a finger position on this on the touchscreen, and uh, use a second finger because you need like three fingers for the light switch puzzle and I was pretty sure we were hard locked until I found a way to do it because Des, Des, Des Moom is just fucking amazing alright maybe we should just go to Louie like it's a, it turned into an entirely different puzzle just because of what I was playing it on and I'd forgotten about that puzzle when I played it the first time. You know, it was no big deal the first time. It was just kind of cool the first time. Kyle Hyde, when he's not solving crimes, he's playing Santa to the ladies. Ready to take a licking from the street punk? I'm going to roll strikes till dawn. Almost. But first, you have to help me out. I need a cassette player. Really? Well, I got a deck. It's in my room. Man, I tell you, that old thing is in serious demand tonight. Hey, Louie. Somebody else wanted it? You picked up an oatmeal cream pie, a bag of cheddar checks mix, and a bag of... You absolute madman. What an animal. Jeez, Lukes. Jeez, Luke. Who else wanted your cassette deck? Dunning man... Dunning man came through a little bit ago wanting to borrow the thing. Dunning. Yeah, I expected Iris. Don't ask me, man. Said he wanted some music. Probably country, right? What you gonna listen to, Hyde? It ain't disco, yeah? Tell me it ain't disco. He strikes me as a guy who likes disco. I don't know. Trip, man. Sounds pretty suspicious. I'll know when I hear it. Tell you what, man. Things just sitting in my pad. Go ahead and use it, but don't take it out of there. Thanks. I'll swing by a bit later. Oh, but, uh, hey, don't try to rewind anything. No, oh, and you can't fast forward, neither. Buttons are all busted up. Got it. So I gotta rewind it with the pencil and wind it back up. That's cool. Your little stunt got me killed. What? What happened? <laughs> okay, I think he's behind the kitchen. Pretty sure he's behind the kitchen. The, the, the slow down kitchen. Here we go. Do 
Door's locked, of course. I forgot what that door went to. Here we go. Oh, I don't think we've seen what that door goes to. I went to their Discord chat while they were playing Phasmo and said boo. Ha! How on earth did that get... How, how on earth did that get him killed? And where's that tape deck? It's right there. It's right there in front of the screen. Come on, man. It's right there. First... One of the first things you see. I wanted to reply to you, so I went to my monitor with Discord to unmute, but you dipped out. At that moment, a hunt started, and I couldn't get back into the game. <laughs> That's some good shit. All right, we're really figuring this out fast. I like it. Okay, here we go, here we go. Who's this? Everyone here loves old newspaper clippings and dames in bikinis. Who doesn't? Who doesn't love a dame, in, a, a dame in a bikini? Honestly. Okay, cassette tape use. Tapes unwound. This is no good. So how do I fix it? Use the pencil. Oh, cool. He put it down so I could use the pencil on it. Smart. Okay. Oh, God. It's kind of a pain in the ass, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, come on. You were doing so good. Be the ball. Oh, my God. It's not doing it. I don't want to do it. No, why did it stop? Here's something. What? I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Oh, come on. Move. Oh, there it goes. It's so finicky, guys. It's so finicky. Why is it getting so weird? There we go. There we go. You got to do it like this very specific way, and it's just not having it sometimes. There we go. Oh, this is going to take all night. There we go. Come on, pencil. No, don't. No, no, do not go up. We're almost there. We're almost there. Come on. Come on. I'm putting on some music. Something hard. We go. Seven years later. Oh man, it's brutal. This is this is the final boss of this game. Come on. <laughs> Maybe I should blow on it. Finally. Come on. Just a little more of that. Oh. You I am. I am. I may not look like it, but I am, like, rub rolling it, and it's just not handling it. Like, I'm not really sure what to do. Oh, man, it just kind of does it what it wants. That should be just the easiest thing in the world. I'm just missing. Actually, I'm catching it a little bit. This might take seven years. I gotta look this up. Or something like, why isn't this pen rolling right? Uh, I'm looking it up. I'm looking it up. I don't know. Uh, pencil. Cassette not turning. There we go. Uh, trouble with... Nope, I'm not finding anything. Wait, hotel dusk. Come on, baby. I ain't worried about it. Let's just let's just keep turning it. Do I need two? Oh shit! There it there it went. 
Sometimes it just fucking rolls. There we go. There we go. No, no, no. Yes, yes. I think I found it. Come on, one more. One more. Oh my God. Mm. Any advice? Oh, here we go. Yes, come on, baby. Oh yes, the tedious to test everyone that can set with the pencil. It's so much easier in real life. I am not this stupid. <laughs> It's like it doesn't want to... It's right there. It's off the ground. Are we gonna make it? Are we gonna make it? I'm on an emulator, guys. You gotta bear with. No! No! Oh, stop going backwards. Oh, this is jammed, though. Worst... Funnel boss ever, right? Worst final boss ever, even better. Well, I, I mean, I could, it kind of made sense. There we go. I think I got it. I think I got it. And then it just kind of stops. There it is. We got it. Yes. Oh, God. I, I just had to find that right, perfect little sweet spot on the pencil. It wasn't responding to anything else. Bingo. Oh, my God. That was way too hard. That was way harder than it should have been. That was dumb. Kids today wouldn't even know how to do this. The way he's looking at it makes me think he's trying to do this with the power of telekinesis. That's what I felt like, Luke. Oh, my God. We did it. Now I can hear this thing. Watch me have it backwards and I gotta do it again the other way. Yeah, I can only listen to this once, apparently. Do do doodle do. -do, 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 -do. Stick it on in there, baby. Come on. I think side A is okay. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's going to eat the tape. What? It's playing music? Oh, and I can't fast forward it either. Huh? What's this? A cassette tape? What? What do you mean? What's this? A cassette tape? What are you talking about? Of course it's a cassette. You put it in, Kyle! What do you mean, what's this, a cassette tape? Okay, now that that's run out. Now, now that it's run out, maybe I can flip to uh, side B. What? It won't... Okay, there we go. Weird! It wouldn't click it right away. The controls are getting less responsive. Now, this shouldn't work. What you're asking is impossible. Can't work any faster than I already am. You heard me. This is last one. Uh, I got the painting supplies, but he doesn't get it. I know, but... Okay, here we go. Sure, it's a butterfly. What? Last one, huh? I wonder what that means. Who's there? Yo, Hyde. Louie. You get that tape working? What's on it, man? Not sure. Here, take a listen. See what you think. I played the cassette tape for Louie. Oh, man. Not cool, Hyde. That thing is a total freakout. Did you hear how those two cats were talking all quiet and staticky? Sounded like, I don't know, like somebody bugged the room or something, you dig? That's my guess, too. Oh, yeah, is this a butterfly? Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you're talking about. Where'd you get this thing, anyway? Trash can in the utility closet. Shrimp. Who tossed it? Same person who stole an envelope from Iris's room. Okay, man, now you totally lost me. 
Who stole what from who now? Fill me in, man. Use small words, right? I'm not the brightest bulb in the lamp. I'll tell you everything later, Louie. I have to find Iris first. Yeah, okay, man, if you say so. We're going to Iris! We gotta haul ass. Oh, thank God that's over. Time to make Iris sing like a canary. Wow, we're already near the end of chapter eight already. It is speeding up. She lives right across from me, if I remember right. Every, all the animations of this are so good. Words are hard. They can be. Sounds so good. I love this track. I love this soundtrack. I'm really liking everything about this game. It's it's exactly what it should be. It has very few flaws for what it is. I think the only thing I'd do is maybe add a little bit more of a dialogue skip. Not not for when you're playing the game for the first time, but for later on. It would really help that speedrun world record too. Open up. We gotta talk. Don't you have a cave to go home to? Yeah, that's why I'm staying in a hotel. Play nice. I found your stuff. Oh! You really found it. I can't believe I just now noticed that- Oh, really? Yeah, I made it really subtle so you could- So you- So it wouldn't be distracting. I made it really dark. Hand it over, please. In a second. I got some questions first. Why'd you have the tape? What I love about this is how realistic it is. And what I mean by that is, uh, like, I feel like everything's coming together a little too well, but that's fine because it's really well told. But like, this is this game is like the opposite of Danganronpa. You know how it's just over the top and like wacky and very anime, very, like not, not complaining about it, but it's just very like, typical of a Japanese VN. And this is not. This is something completely different. It's very grounded, but at the same time, the tension is just as hard, if not more so. Like, I have gotten more game overs playing Hotel Dust than I have playing Danganronpa. I'm, I'm saying it right now. Losing in Danganronpa is not easy. Losing in this is shockingly simple. It is so easy to do on a whim, out of nowhere. It really is, Knight. It is a fantastic device. What's a dame like you doing with something like this? I'm sure I have no idea what you're talking about. This is from a bugged room. The guys on the other end mean business. What? You listen to it? Yeah. I was curious about what got taken from you. I figured it was something interesting. But I never imagined it would be something like this. Alright, see ya. I can't believe you found my tape. I... I can't believe it. I guess we're done here. I guess I'm done with her. Alright, see ya. I can't believe you found my tape. <laughs> oh! Oh, right, I have to give it back to her. Right. I see what she's saying. Yeah, here it is. Is this what was in your mystery envelope? Where did you find it? Trash can. Utility closet. Really? Yep. Later. Shed some light on this for me. Fine. Come in. Save it again. Oh, wait. No, I'm not. Never mind. What do you want to know? Give me the skinny on this tape. Hey, Knight, thank you for the 2,000 points for the Make Me Play Earthworm Gym Challenge. What are we at now? We are at 23%. We are almost at 25%. Literally three days in. 200, I thought 200,000 was going to be a lot. I really did. Holy shit, guys. 46,000 raised already. Oh, my God. Another, another 2,000 points. And never mind. 24%. Literally 1,500 points away from 50. Amazing. 50,000. Hey, Ramia, thank you for the Sanic. The tape. 
is none of your concern. Come on, step it up. 25%. Jesus Christ. Thank you, Gigian, for the 2,000 points. Is he gone? <laughs> Thanks for the remaining 150. He didn't have to do that. Thank you, Ramia. Oh, man. What are we up to now? 50,633. 50, and apparently I can contribute, too. No, I can't. Never mind. I've been told I smell bad. Nah, you don't stink. Hey, nice. Very, very nice emo. Tragic, tragic, tragic knows what's up. That tape is none of your concern. Just give it back. Oh god, I'm drowning. You want the tape? I want answers. Who are the voices on the tape? I have no idea. No idea? You really do think I'm an idiot, don't you? I never- I've- I have yet to drown. You guys play drowning? I- I- I haven't drowned yet. Where does a princess like you get something like this? I told you. Grace sent it to me. She asked me to bring it here. That's all. Hold it. She asked you to bring it here. Why bring it here? Why'd you bring it here? Because I was told to. Should have known. Grace gave you the tape. What was the plan? She told me to wait. I'm not dead! Wild card. I am not dead, Toasty Roll. Great reaction to the bubble. How have I not noticed these little touches? I don't know. You got rid of retro? I got rid of retro? I did not. I did not. I'm still in the retro category. I am not dead, Toasty Roll. I'm not. She told me to wait for her to contact me again. If I didn't hear from her by Christmas, I was to bring the tape to this hotel. Wait. Going retro? It's not there. What are you talking about? No, it's there. Going retro? At night, I don't know what... What do you mean? It don't matter, it don't matter. No sounds? Should be. The horror. Did you hear that? Are you guys not hearing the sounds? It's gone? Why? Hold up. Oh, he needs some milk. I'm hearing him fine. Here, let me uh let me look at it. It may be let me look at the advanced audio properties real fast. Oh, Go Really Retro is not there right now. I swap them out now. Yeah, no go for retro. Yep. How how are the sounds sounded, though? You guys hearing them? Just make it sure. Just make it sure. Yeah, no go on retro. Yeah, Go Really Retro is gone right now. I just have Hop in the Ferrari for today. No weather boy. I'm uh, I'm going to swap. I'm going to alternate them. Just to, just to keep the game flow going a little better. Okay, it is working then. Um, if I talk over it, it'll it'll duck the sound, so it won't be as loud. I may have to raise that ducking though. Let me see if I can do that. Hold up, hold up. Let me let me let me do that real fast. He starts to come and then he pulls out. Actually, what I could do. Properties. Yeah, it's right there. Filters. What would that be though? Would the threshold be? Hmm. What if I change the threshold to my? It's at minus twenty-five. I'm gonna put it at minus nineteen. See if that does anything. And we'll just kind of mess with it. Is Hello Mario working? Oh man, if it's not, I don't think it is. I think something about it broke, but I can run it right now. I can run it manually. Thank you for the Hello Mario riff. Let me uh, let me do that real fast. I don't know. It's it's so weird what it des what decides to work on this. Yeah. Hello Mario. There you go. We got it now for sure. 
All right, back to it. You and Grace were close, huh? That's right. Who's he? So you must know all about her, right? About her family? That's why you were boozing it up with her husband, Kevin Woodward? Her... her husband? Well... You didn't know? Guess you didn't know. Are you sure? Boy coloring. That man is Gracie's <laughs> husband? How's that? A little better? That man is Gracie's husband? Then that little girl... That girl in the restaurant is... Yeah, that's her kid. Oh. Now I understand why she had that doll with her. What about the doll? When did you last see Grace? Where is she now? Talk, damn it. Where's Grace? Where's you she gone? Where's Grace? Where is she? Her. You stupid, insensitive fool. I don't know, all right? I don't know, voodoo doll. <laughs> yeah, right? The way Melissa is, yeah, it's some kind of voodoo doll. And you're the one who should be telling me what's going on. Wait, I don't... I'm the one who knows her, you idiot. I'm the one who's searching for her. I have to find her. There's something I have to ask. Well, I didn't know that. Jeez. I'm saving again. I'm being a big... Oh, rest in peace, Gene Wilder, for sure. Where rest in peace. Found... Shit. First up, you all know about Kevin Conroy. That was the voice of my childhood, personally. Like, I grew up on Batman TAS. But also, but what I have been hearing a lot of is rest in peace, Gallagher. Gallagher died the same day. The Sledgematic guy. He, he, he had a big sledgehammer. He'd smash watermelons live on stage. It was awesome. Gallagher's passed on. Yeah. I hadn't heard about Gallagher in a long time, so that was just a shock to my system. Yeah, big rest in peace to Gallagher. I loved Gallagher growing up. I watched, I, I like, I watched all as many of his shows as I could. I think I know why Grace asked you to do this. And why she wanted the tape brought here. The tape is insurance. I don't think Grace is here. The tape is insurance. She needs to give it to someone. No, she needs to give someone the. She needs it to give someone the strong arm. I guessed right, huh? I don't know what the tape is for. I'm thinking that she. I'm thinking that Grace worked for Niall in exchange to clear up her husband's debt. That's that's definitely what's going on. Gene Wilder and the guy that voiced Batman icons from. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Gene Wilder was one of my favorite actors. Yeah, he died not too long ago. If, if I remember right. When did... Yeah, he died about six years ago, but still, it's... Not, not too, not too far back. He was great. I love Gene Wilder. He... He basically introduced me to the idea of subtle sarcasm. <laughs> like, his, his, his role as Willy Wonka was fucking fantastic. He was the, the most, like, snide motherfucker alive. It was so good. Oh yeah, Young Frankenstein was amazing too. He was more goofy in that, but just that, I don't know. It just that, he was great. Oh yeah, way better than Depp, come on. Depp's best performance was uh, probably the Herd Trial. Dr. Strangelove, was Wilder in Strangelove? I think he was, I just. Oh, no, he wasn't. No, Peter Sellers was, though. That's who I was thinking of. Oh, no. And God knows she tried. She tried to act. And when Grace sent me the tape, my dog got stung by a bee. When Grace sent me... <laughs> my, my dog got stung. My, my dog stepped, by a, stepped on a bee. Really, that was the moment I knew that she was right about everything. When Grace sent me the... Pardon me. When Grace sent me the tape, she gave me a message. If I didn't hear from her by Christmas, I was to come to this pathetic hotel. And I had to bring the tape with me. I'm supposed to hand it over to a certain man. A certain man. <laughs> Hello, Mario. 
Amber Heard, yeah. Yeah, who who poops in who poops in a man's bed? Who poops in anybody's bed? Who poops in a bed? Who literally shits the bed? Oh, wrong guy. Yeah, no, it's okay. Peter Sellers was kind of the uh He was a little bit before Gene. Yeah, no poop. No poop allowed. Poops is wrong. It, it didn't look good. I, I hate the fact that I saw it. Melissa's doll caught your eye, huh? What's going on there? You wanted to steal it, you recognize. You've seen that doll before tonight, right? After all, Grace is the one who made it. I didn't... I didn't know she made it. That explains why it looks so much like our dolls. Okay. You had that doll? I'm thinking this is Grace's sister. You have one of those dolls, too? I've seen that doll before. Maybe not that exact one, but... It looks just like the dolls Grace and I used to have when we were kids. I wonder if I show her the magazine. Now I'm just being silly. Wait, let me save real fast. I want to see something. I want to see if, if anything happens when I show her this magazine. Because she's on the cover of it. She's Cecily Lee. She looks like Cecily Lee. She's Cecily Lee. A mega pint? A mega pint? Oh, yeah, that's the thing. The only. <laughs> Amber's lawyers were the funniest. <laughs> they were fucking. I don't know who she hired, but they were. I swear they threw that case. They couldn't stand her and threw the case. They were so stupid. <laughs> I can't believe that there is somewhere in LA well a defense a, an baby attorney. Baby 0809 underscore is now following. Welcome That's in, collab. baby 0809. There is somewhere in LA, and, and, and Amber Heard hired him, a fucking a fucking lawyer who has never picked up an alcoholic beverage in his life. I could not believe that happened. That was amazing to me. That was absolutely amazing. Let's look at this. Uh, let's show her the. Let's see where is it. Oh no, I don't have it. Did I put it away? Oh, wait, no. No, Men's Magazine, there it is. There she is, there's Ces- Here's Iris. Are you implying something, Mr. Hyde? Don't look so- in Why she look kind of intrigued? <laughs> Let's talk about Grace. How's it going, baby? How you doing? A big glass of wine is a mega fight, apparently, right? The one lawyer- The same lawyer who objected to his own- Question. <laughs> that Fraser emote. That is a, that that is a great one. What's that? Andy so Andy Social Network has such amazing emotes. I love his emotes. Please shut up. All right, wild card. I'll get back to it. Well, he's probably a full blown alcoholic now. Ain't into that. Damn. He learned. He he's been drinking some mega pints. That trial was hilarious. That was the funniest damn trial ever. Like, it actually, like, the OJ trial was just sad, really. It was just so fucked up. But, I don't know, the Herd Depp trial was probably the funniest trial I have ever seen live. I figured it out. I think I know why you're looking for Grace. It's because she vanished, obviously. It's about Kevin. No, it's not about Kevin. It's because she vanished. You're trying to track her down. Yes. Yeah. She was, she's been pretty clear on that. Hello, Mario. And I thought she was married and happy, you know? I refuse to believe that she just vanished for no reason. Woodward got hit with a big lawsuit back in 77. He was about to lose everything. Grace raised a whole bunch of dough and pulled his ass out of the fire. But how? Good question. If you find out, tell Kevin, will you? Apparently, Grace refused to tell him where she got the cash. Guy couldn't take it. They fought about the cash and he stopped trusting her. Then she decides to skip town. Oh, Grace. This isn't some tape Grace picked up at a yard sale. What's the story? What does it mean? I don't know. Kevin got sued for a king's ransom. Where'd Grace get the money to pay that off? I don't know, okay? I don't have any idea. She knows. She 100% knows. Did you really have to crap in the beds? Did you really have to crap in the bed, Scott? 
so much fun to watch live on TV. Oh, it was Apple. It was, it was fantastic. I love the judge throwing out the kick. Yeah. Dusk jams. Oh, man. Hey, Nate. Welcome, man. Shout out to Nate Graves. Welcome in, Nate. Who gets the tape? Where did Grace get the money? Yeah, I want to. I want to. I want to keep this line of questioning. How did Grace pull together that much scratch? I have no idea. I figured she didn't. Who gets the tape? I don't know. Nice plan. Very nice plan. I asked her, Grace. I mean, I asked her who she meant, but she just told me to give it to the man who painted the angel. I hoped that I'd understand when he when I got there, but I don't. The angel, huh? So here I am, a girl with no plan, trapped in the worst hotel in the world. It is a pretty shitty hotel, I'll give you that. A great little bar, though. Very comfy. I'm lost, Mr. Hyde. I have no idea who this man is or how to find him. I guess we're past the point of hiding secrets. Another another perfect boss fight right here. They're they're not the hardest. They can throw you little curveballs and that'll cost you the whole game. But mostly as long as you just use your use your brain, it's very logical and don't pick any options with exclamation points and you'll get by. You'll get by just fine. I doubt you're the kind of man I can conceal much from anyway. Is it about the tape? No. It's about Grace. Well, about Grace and me, actually. Dude fired his lawyers and defended himself. Daryl Brooks trials. Ooh, did he? I don't know the details, Captain, but I do remember seeing, like, pictures of a bald... Uh, basically, a guy who was, like, carrying a bunch of boxes and peeking over them. Is that Daryl Brooks? Because, yeah, he was definitely defending himself, if I remember right. Yeah, I'm sure it was a total shit show. He got slapped with every char 72 charges. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. When I was a kid traveling with my dad for work, you could stay in the worst budget hotels imaginable. Oh Mario. yeah, absolutely. One of the hotels we stayed at had cockroaches. I believe it. I believe it. Those things will sneak in. It doesn't matter how good the hotel is. They're sneaky little bastards. You can take care- you, you can nip them in the bud, but... I mean, they- they can- It's the ones that stay, you know, if you see like one or two cockroaches, kill it. Because that's probably the only one. But once they start breeding, oh, baby, it's- it ain't good. It ain't good. Fumigate the whole building. I've seen it before. It's- it's crazy. It's- it's a fucking war. It's a war zone. It can, but it can't survive raid. What's the story? Does that mean raid? is more powerful than a tactical nuke. I'm her little sister. I knew she was her sister. No kidding. Hello, Mario. She's four years older than I am. Didn't see that coming. I 100% saw this coming. Our mother was a kind, beautiful woman, but she was weak. Terrified of being alone, easily manipulated, terribly sad. I'm sure you know the type. She fell in love so easily and always with the wrong kind of man. Hello, Mario. They used her. Hi, Luigi. Mario. Speaking of the wrong kind of man, they used her and hurt her and left her. And then she would just find another one. We lived on the run, running away from the last bad man toward the next. And every time we moved, we got a new father. In truth, Grace and I are only half-sisters. I don't even remember her father. But it didn't matter. Growing up, we were inseparable. When you're always the new kid, you hang on to what you have. Yeah, I'm not really... Like, there. you're either a sibling or you're not. I don't really... I don't really buy the concept of the half-sibling, if Shotgun. that makes sense. Like, you're either... You're either all kin or not kin. The way I see it. We were best friends. But then my mother died and Grace and I were separated. I thought I would die as well. Your mom died young. Yes, in a plane crash. Do you remember that Las Vegas plane crash in 1960? She was on it. I was nine years old and far too young to understand. She was just gone. Hello, Mario. The, hi, Luigi. The man she was with at the time was a pathetic snake. The airline gave Grace and me a large sum of money and he took it all. 
What a bastard. Once that was done, he stashed us into separate orphanages and vanished. Whoa, what a fucker. So many bastards in this game. Grace and I, we lost contact. You want to hook up your Famicom and play Zelda? Hell yeah. Can you imagine kids playing this game and trying to figure out what the 70s and 60s? Oh yeah, right, Shadow? I mean, they got Wikipedia. They can find that shit out. Actually, I noticed it has... Especially Kyle. Kyle looks so 90s. He is such a 90s guy to be living in the 70s. Like, look at that little chin beard. Like, I don't know. It's pretty, pretty... Pretty surprising. I don't know. Everybody looks kind of... Except for her. She looks like she's straight out of the late 60s. I feel like they were going for, like, a Audrey Hepburn thing with Iris. It's like if Shaggy grew up to be a detective. He, he really is, yeah. This is 100% is what he'd look like. Kyle living in the future? I'm feeling it. I'm feeling that. I was eventually adopted, but I didn't care much for my new parents. At 15, I ran away and spent five years in a blur of hotels and highways. When I was 20, I found work at some rundown diner in Santa Monica. And one day, Grace walked back into my life. It's funny, I knew her right away, but she... She didn't know me at first. I guess those five years changed me more than I thought. Anyway, after a few moments, she recognized me and we were reunited. Kyle had the original bicep tribal tattoo, right? He did. It's in there. It's, it is under all that members-only jacket. Some of the things he says took a powder. Yeah. Yeah, he's very, he's very hard-boiled. She was so beautiful, Mr. Hyde. Just beautiful. She'd gone to college and made something of herself. She was working as a curator called a place called Gallery May. And she was engaged to a doctor. We promised to meet a- yeah, yeah, I know. We promised to meet up later, but instead I quit and fled Santa Monica. I heard Grace was looking for me, but I never tried to contact her. Wait a minute. Go for the bit. My bad. Click at the corner of the screen. Why's that? Because I was ashamed, Mr. Hyde. She was radiant, and I was pathetic. I didn't want her to see me like that, and so I ran away, again. I decided to follow my dream of becoming an actress. I jumped from city to city, taking any role that was thrown my way. And in that fashion, time just passed. But two years ago, Grace tracked me down. I had just been featured in some small-time magazine photo shoot. Yeah, I know the one. Grace saw it and tracked me down through the agency. I was shocked by what she had become. The girl from Santa Monica was gone. Her eyes, Mr. Hyde, her eyes were so sad. She waited until we were alone and then broke down. She told me she needed money, begged me to help her. And did you? Mr. Hyde, I could have sold my entire life and not come close to what she needed. And she wouldn't even tell me what it was for. What it was for. I told her no, I had no choice. I, I couldn't dream of getting that kind of money. She was sobbing, Mr. Hyde, sobbing and apologizing and... She told me she was sorry for asking the impossible. And that she didn't really care about the money, she just wanted to see me. She said it gave her the courage to do what must be done. For her family. It was like we were little girls all over again. Oh shit. How so? We were still so young. We moved from place to place, and I spent all my time in the car sobbing. Mom was too caught up with her men to do more than scold me. But Grace was my savior. She used to put my favorite doll between her arms. And then she would hold me and talk to me until I calmed down. I thought back to that after she left the agency. So they, they, they got on great. After a few seconds, I decided to chase her down. But then I ran out of the hut. When I ran out the door, she was gone. The envelope arrived about a year and a half after that. It contained a letter and that cassette tape. I don't have the letter, but I read it again and again and remember every word. Iris, my family desperately needed money. And I did a terrible thing. If you don't hear from me by Christmas, I need you to do something for me. 
Take this tape to Hotel Dusk. The letter went on to tell me to give the tape to the man who painted the angel. The man who painted the angel. So here I am. What a fantastic Christmas this is turning out to be. Anyway, that's all I know, Mr. Hyde. The tape is a mystery. The letter is a mystery. I was scared when that tape went missing. But I guess it doesn't matter. None of it tells me how to find this man who paints angels. I hoped that coming here would clear everything up, but it didn't. I'm clueless, Mr. Hyde. Clueless and frustrated and just plain tired of it all. Kevin's been looking for Grace for a long time. Whoa, didn't mean to do that. And Melissa's getting pretty desperate, too. Guess we can add you to the mix. I just want to see her again. I want to know that she's all right. Don't worry. We still got hope. We know just the guy... We know the guy who made the angel painting is here. Who? What? And I'm going to look for him. What are you talking about, Kyle? If I find him, I bet I'll find Grace, too. Mr. Hyde. Maybe that'll make your Christmas a little bit better. I'll be around. Grab me if you think of anything else. Who could it be? And here's your tape back. Mr. Hyde. Who could it be? I guess we're gonna find out. Last Time Lord! Oh my god! With a huge raid! You gotta just- they'll, they'll get it out of their system. That was from- that was from Dream to Reality. Last Time Lord has joined the convoy for 11 months running. And 11 Cyber months! Grin. Welcome in, everybody. You're wrong, Walter. You're just an asshole. Thank you for the raid. Big shout out to Last Time Lord. Thank you so much for the raid. Holy shit. I'm Cyber Trucker Alpha. I play old games. Right now I'm playing, uh, it's basically a visual novel. I'm playing Hotel Dusk for the DS. Great game. Oh, thank you for shouting out Last Time Lord. Here's a little, here's a little primer on what this game is. I'm a detective, former detective. Um, going to this hotel that seems to be connected with every damn case I've been on from what it feels like. It's fantastic. And we're actually in recap mode, so you'll at least get a, the, the rundown on chapter 8 of 10. <laughs> Welcome in, guys. Oh, you're gonna love it here. He's right. Night Shadow is absolutely right. How you been, man? What you been playing? New NES Game Jam games. Ooh, later Windows. Oh, very nice. Any good Game Jam games? Aha, uh -huh, take on me. The game, pretty much. It's all rotoscoped. It looks fantastic. Grace knew a man who paints angels. Some I stuff. Any, any specific recommendations? I haven't looked at the new NES games, but there was a new NES Game Jam recently. I didn't know that. Hotel Dusk and the Angel Painting have to be connected. Maybe I can figure it out. And maybe that'll tell me why Bradley came here in the first place. Hello, Mario. Hi, Luigi. Somebody redeemed, uh... Hello, Mario. That'll, that'll pop in from time to time. Holy crap. The night's not over yet? Oh, it will be. I'm saving. You can game... It doesn't look like it, but this game will game over your ass for the smallest little things. It's crazy. Uh, yeah. I played this game called We Are Angels for Win95. Strange, but fun. Guess it's from a show with actor Bud Spencer that everyone knows, but I've never heard of Bud Spencer. That sounds really familiar. Bud Spencer. Oh my god. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I know what you're talking about. It was a weird French game, right? I think Macaw played it about half a year ago. I think I know what you're talking about. It, wasn't it like a... Wasn't it like one of those, like, Prince of Persia clones where you, you walked very deliberately? It was a side-scroller. Garbage Pail Kids? German, I think. Yeah, something like that. I think it's a... He's Italian, but I think the game was German. There's a Garbage Pail Kids NES game coming out soon. Supposedly it was never released from the pet. Wow. Being released on cart and digitally. Garbage Pail Kids. I've been hearing a lot of buzz about the bar Garbage Pail Kids lately. Not sure what's going on with it, but I'm curious. All right, I guess I'm going downstairs. Let's go downstairs. But yeah, basically what's going on is, uh... 
we're looking for whoever painted a painting that got stolen three years ago partially by my former partner at the LAP or at the NYPD is what it's looking like it's doing this is a it's a very complex crazy ass story a lot of characters that all kind of tie together even though they probably shouldn't because they they all seem to come here randomly but they're all connected it's it's crazy oh shit that's right i gotta talk to louie we got a bowl we got a bowl with louie we're bowling with louie first basically the game is shaggy growing up to be a real detective without scooby yep pretty much all grown up and kind of a hard ass anytime i think i found something the dude's played oh man yeah i don't even i can't even I, i'm not even gonna try man i know exactly what you mean louis not here louis gone i just wanted to go bowling i want to know how bowling worked in this bar where should i go then my room i guess my room Louis is very shaggy. He's definitely more like Shaggy. But he is the spitting image of Danny Sexbang. Like, it is it is freaky how much like Danny Sexbang he looks. Who keeps signing out of AIM? Somebody signing out of AIM? Oh, is it the doors? God, I haven't... Yeah, the door sound. I was thinking that just as soon as you said signing out of AIM, I was like, wait a minute. Banana Joe. I need to watch a Bud Spencer. I need to watch Bud Spencer. Okay, I can't make any calls. It just left me hanging. It does... Th this game will do that to you. It'll just kind of leave you hanging to wander around this little hotel. Maybe talk to Iris again? Nope. Iris is done talking. Go to the roof, maybe? The roof is such a big map that there's no way I'm not going to use it. No way something isn't going to happen on this roof. I feel like this is where the climax of the game is going to be. And we're only two... Hello, Mario. Hi, Luigi. Hello, Mario. Hello, Mario. Hello. It's a point redemption. It's a big one. Okay. Nobody's here yet. Oh, yeah, something's gonna go down. Look at that big climactic sign. Yeah, it's gonna happen. It's not now. I wonder if Dan's played this. I wonder that too, Nate. He loves adventure games. He does love his adventure games. And he would have had a DS because he's on the road a lot. And I feel like, yeah, I feel like he might have. He's like a big... A very, yeah, big, burly, brute force version of Chuck Norris. He's like Steven Seagal, but cool. He doesn't actually know martial arts, but he's hilarious when he, when he, when he does them. And kind of badass, honestly. He was in a Dario Argento movie? I believe it. I mean, he is a, uh, yeah, I believe that. Am I gonna have to shake? Hello, Mario. Am I gonna have to shake him down? Hello, Mario. Where the hell do I go? Hello, Mario. I could go anywhere. Hello, Mario. Hello. Hi, Luigi. Okay, I don't want to mess with Rosa or Dunning. Dunning's the owner. I shouldn't even even be walking up and down this hall. Hello Mario. 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 Get it out of his system. Don't worry, guys. Don't get too spooked. Let's see. Left hallway, maybe. Maybe I have to go to Louis's room. Make him. Make him go bowling with me. Hey, Louis. It's Kyle. Let's go bowling. Here it is. Gotta get some sleep. You get some sleep, man. Thank you for the raid. Thank you for the sub. Go check out last time, Lord. If you haven't, you do not know what you're missing. One of the first streamers I saw. Louie, it's me. Thank God we got it. Doors open. Come on in. All right. We did have to hunt down Louie. I don't know why he was still at... What was it still at the bar? 
Yo, hi, did you figure stuff out and bust heads and all that cop stuff? See, he is Danny Sexbank. Come on, man, hit me. What's the deal with the tape? The tape was sent to Iris by a woman named Grace. Grace? Yo, I should know this Grace or what? She's Iris' sister. Iris got a sister? Seriously? Oh, a woo, a woo. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a woo. Hello, Mario. Hello, Mario. You're a moron, Louie. There's more. Grace is Melissa's mom. Oh, huh. No joke. Nah, oh, wait, man. That means. Yeah, Grace is actually Kevin's missing wife. Well, I'll be damned. You're some kind of cop, Officer Hyde. Apparently, Kevin isn't much of a doctor, because he lost a big malpractice suit. Also, for those of you who don't know, since I'm here, I've got this massive, ridiculous soundboard. Ridiculous. It's huge. I don't know why it's grown that way out of proportion. Probably because of all the sound requests, honestly. Here's the new sounds. You sure can, Nate. Nate. Yeah, links are fine. Like, I, I'm, this is easy. Like, if they're bad, if, if a link is ever bad, I could just delete it. What do we got? Oh, fucking do it again. <laughs> Holy shit. It is. That, that's literally just Dan Avidan with a fedora. That's amazing. Hello, Mario. Hello, Mario. Honestly, though, Mario. I'm going to say Louie kind of has a beat. Like, that one's definitely a Dan lookalike, but Louie, I don't know, it's trippy. Hello, Mario. Especially considering this was before the whole NSP thing started. It's like a Nostradamus moment or something. But yeah, those those sounds are 100% free. Duke Roll has 800 one-liners, and I mean, it'll just randomly roll one of those whenever you hit Duke Roll. It's uncanny. It's freaking me out, honestly. I think somebody said it was, uh... What was it? I forgot who Kyle was, but somebody said something. Like, like, I never thought I'd see this guy interrogate Danny Sexbank. Not, no. I don't, I don't know. I can't remember. It's gone. Apparently Kevin isn't much of a doctor, because he lost a big malpractice suit. Grace got the money to pay the thing off, but Kevin doesn't know how. Nah, oh, trip, man. Sounds like some dirty money to me. You and me both, brother. About six months ago, Grace up and vanished. Hi, Luigi. Oh, God, here it comes. Give it a second. Give it a second. I've, I've heard this so many times. Mario. You done? You done, Luigi? I think he's done. That's the same time she sent the tape to Iris. Hello, Mario. Oh, no. You done, Luigi? Luigi! Hello, Mario. Thing came with a letter that told her to sit tight till Christmas. If there was no word by then, <laughs> Iris had to bring the thing here. So the cancelled Sonic game for Saturn is supposed to be called Sonic Extreme. Cancelled due to poor sales of the Saturn. Yeah. Maybe, you know what would have, uh prevented those poor sales if they just fucking released Sonic Extreme. It probably would have helped. Here, man, this hotel? She's supposed to give it to a man who paints the angels. Man who paints angels. That don't make no sense, man. I know. There it is. Yeah, there it is. Listen, I need you to take a buzz through the guest log from two years ago. Sure, man. Is there, like, a secret room somebody's, like, hiding out in? Is the angel painter just, like, some little golem guy who, like, sneaks around the hotel and his little, like, like, he's got, he lives between the walls painting angels? Sure, man. I'll do my sneaking around as soon as Dunning takes off. You want I should check if Grace Woodward stayed here, right? Smart boy, Louie. If only my mom could see her Louie now. But first, we gotta settle something like men. Men who roll. Finally, bowling, you're on. It was never finished, so you'd get it. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, finish it first. Sonic Radical was taken? I guess it was. I'm surprised the Saturn had poor sales. Yeah, so am I, Freedom. It... It's a really awesome system. I th well, what it was, Freedom, was its its price tag was ridiculous. And the PS1 came out, 
and it was like a hundred dollars cheaper and people went for the cheaper the cheaper one that didn't stop him from making bubsy 3d secret room you might be onto something that might be Psst. yo over here man yo over here man there we go where is he left right there you are hello there I just double, I got double rated onto a hotel dust stream. Yes, you did. Awesome brand. Welcome in. You sure did. Oh, hi. Hi, Nate. Sega Saturn came out with, it was 400. PS came out when it, it was 300. Yeah, with that extra 100, they could buy a game for the PlayStation. The fa the infamous 99.99 conference. Oh, that was a different thing. I don't know that one. I've never heard that. Saturn had some nice games, but the launch games didn't grab my attention. Yeah, it, it kind of came into its own later, but sadly it came into its own when it was a little too late. You want to do this here, Louie? What gets me is how many hidden gems are on the Sega CD. Time oh my god! My god. I, I, don't, I don't know how to pronounce that, so I'm going to pronounce it Saint 4. Welcome in! Thank you for the raid! Everybody, get 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 comfy. We're finishing Hotel Dusk. Spoilers abound. Just a fair warning. How's it going? Anyway. No, oh, man, this is way more fun this way. Come on, if you say so. Now let's get it on. Yeah, we got a we got a bowl. Oh my god, just bowling in the hallway. After you, my man. It's the best physics of all time. Not bad, Hyde. Now it's my turn. Watch this action. Nico, it's Roman. Let's go bowling. Let's go bowling. Also, the frame rate is just magnificent. Got him beat. Got you beat so far. Guess that's the way the ball rolls, huh? First game goes to you. Kissing all by yourself, handsome? Oh, you know what? No! I gutted it. I don't know how. Shut up! Don't laugh! No laughing! No, it's my turn. Watch this action. Oh, he's gonna... Yep. I'm back. I think I'm back. I think I'm back, guys. No, I didn't mean to do that. The, the fucking... Oh, my internet went out right then. And welcome in, guys. Oh, my God. That was not me. I promise. Holy shit. <laughs> that's what I get for faking out. That's what I get for the fake out. Guess that's the way the butt... Yeah, he got a strike. That's what I'm talking about. Second game goes to me. Uptime remains. Yes, it does. Three three minutes seventeen. Yep. Or three hours seventeen. I went straight as an arrow then. It's all buggy. Oh, I'm I'm not winning this. I'm not winning this bowling game. I did so good before. What? What did he What happened? Oh man. Total bummer, man. I did I, I legit yeah no. I know reboot. It's all good. No, I legit didn't mean to turn off the stream. Like I, I doors I, always open. I put it no, on stream ending no. as a joke. Oh, no! And no, my, my internet decided it Don't was time to go. It. Apparently. Total bummer, man. Oh no, 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 no. What what the hell's going No, he's like freaking out. Oh no! It's gonna have my head for that. He broke his. He broke Dunning's plant playing bo bowling in the hall. What have we here? This is. I 
I got an old key. Okay, this is weird. And a key? What's a key doing in old man Dunning's plant? Plumbers don't wear ties. Isn't that a porn game? I'm not playing that. If I'm thinking about what you're thinking of, then no, I don't even think I can. Yeah, it's sort of like an adult-oriented romantic comedy. Is it? Is it not porn? I always thought it was a porn game. It is a slideshow. <laughs> There's actually no nudity in the game. I might consider it then. I'll put it on the list. There's no F and V apparently. It's all slides. Uh, yeah. That's good to know. That's good to know, Knight. I'll put it on. I've been thinking of playing uh, Leisure Suit Larry, not Magna Cum Laude. Definitely not box office bust unless I'm like wanting to torture myself. But I definitely want to play like the first six, seven games. Oh, I I'm sure four is somewhere. I'm sure I'll find it. I don't know. Floppies are missing. What is going on out here? What are you up to now, huh? Answer me. Easy, Mama Sass. We're just having us a little chat. Don't Mama Sass me, Louis de No No. You were playing that ridiculous bowling game again, weren't you? Oh, man. What, you thought it was a secret? You talk about it to everyone you meet. I'm sure even Mr. Sn Smith knows by now. You should pray that he never catches you or it'll be your job. Oh, come on, Rosa. Why you gotta be Captain Hardass all the time? Your fun is of no concern of... Uh, is no concern of mine, Louis de no, no But if you want a game that has no nudity and no references to beat him and eat him. No, I'm not playing beat him and eat him. I'm not playing beat him and eat him. I know what that is. That's cold, Mama. Real cold. I don't have time for this. Mila is missing. Where is she? Have you seen her? Mila? You lost Mila? I did not lose her, Mr. Hyde. She left my room and hasn't come back. So you lost her. I checked the lobby and the restaurant already. Oh, this is terrible. You seem pretty worried. There's something I should know. Uh, what? Oh, no, nothing. Just, just trying to find her. Sure you are. I'm busy. I have to go. If you see Mila, tell her to go back to my room and wait. All right, good. I did not lose her. She just left, and I can't find her now. Rosa scuttles off down the hall. She's, she's always scuttling. Always scuttling. Huh, sounds like they had themselves a fight or something. Yeah? Something like that. Hey, man, we should help look for Mila. You know, just to be nice and all. I know where you're looking, Louie. And it's fine. You take the first floor. I'll take the second. Gotcha. And Louie? Yeah. Yeah? Keep this safe. What, the old key? See if you can find out what it goes to. And yes, sir, officer. I always get Louie to do my dirty work. Okay, I gotta go to the second floor, right? Why do I feel so fast? Yeah, let's get out of here. We gotta go up. I bet I could go the yeah. Let's go the uh, let's go to the right hallway and go up the stairs that way. That way we could check out the right hallway too. We'll just be right there. I think I have that sound, night. What about Philly Flasher? No, I'm not playing Philly Flasher. No Custer's Revenge either. That one's just in poor taste. Where did Mila go? Where would Mila go? Maybe the roof. Honestly, I'm thinking the roof. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was walking away from it. I know the roof is something important. Has to be. We're holding the past over his head. He pretty much has to. I did not lose her. The Philly flasher with those witch tits. Yeah. Someone's there. Ah, I knew she was on the roof. Let's go. It's. Oh. Don't keep her waiting, bro. Come on. Let's go. 
How'd you get this camera angle or your DS? It's not a real DS. It's fake hardware. I, uh... I did some things. It's, it's, it's Desmume and you can, uh, you can change it around. You can change the orientation and stuff. I got a lot more dynamic. If you want to see, like, a really dynamic DS emulator stream, check out my, uh, Nanashino game VODs. They are, it is crazy how much, how, how often you have to flip between book mode and regular mode in that game. Oh, man. It was, it was a trip setting that up, but I got it done. And I beat them both. Well, I don't really feel like I beat the second game. I may have to play that one again one of these days. Anyway, back to it. Mila. Oh, it's the only way. It's either that or getting a damn circuit board. Getting a circuit board they don't even make anymore for my DS. And no, nah, I wouldn't do that. There's, it, it was just too much. When I could just do this and play this, uh, playing the game, it works. It works. What's wrong? Just stargazing? It's cold, and that's not much of a coat. Rose is looking for you. Something happened between you two? Did Rosa say something to you? I hand my notebook to Mila. What you gonna say? Mila writes something in my notebook. I need to get my 3DS fixed. Circle pad has drift. Oof. Sorry to hear that, Muda. Schnoodle, welcome in. Mr. Fancy Pants over here. It was a big raid from, uh... It, 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 was, it was mostly a raid from, uh, last time, Lord. Still, welcome in. While they're here. How you doing, Schnoodle? Get in here. Check out Schnoodle. She's great. No question. Oh, right. I gotta read what she wrote. Who are you looking for? She didn't have the best handwriting, but she was writing on a 3DS. Or on a DS. That's one of the hardest things to write on. Who are you looking for? That's what Rosa said to you? So she knows you're looking for your father, huh? Guess you told her about that. No, apparently not. Wait, you didn't? I don't get it. Here, write down what she told you. You missed the movie night. It was vacation. Um, oh god, I forgot what a jerk Clark Griswold was in the first vacation. I mean, that was his whole character. I got it. And it was funny, but man, oh. He's just a horrible person. It's okay. I'm going to be watching Christmas Vacation around Christmas time. And honestly, that's my favorite vacation movie. Got over here just climbing into bed. Well, you've come to the right place. This is a comfy game. Very comfy game. I think the module the circle pad is connected to needs replacing, not just the pad itself. Oh, unless some dirt. Yeah, it could just be a little dirt. I mean, taking it a little air blower, even taking it apart if you're comfortable with that. There are a lot of tutorials on YouTube and stuff that help out. I always watch Christmas Vacation end of the year. I love it. I love well it. Well done. Time Zero G is now following. Buck Time up. Dog. Thank you for the follow. Very much appreciated. Welcome in. I hand my notebook to Mila. Now, we don't always play visual novels. We usually play... I, I play all kinds of old games. All kinds. I, I've got a huge... A huge lineup. I'm actually kind of torn between playing, like... Uh, Suikoden 2 next, or... Maybe even a boomer shooter. Maybe... Maybe... Maybe Heretic. Maybe even a newer one, like Dusk. I thought I, that could be pretty... I don't know. I hear good things about Dusk. Violent Night looks good. It does. It looks pretty entertaining. Yeah. That's what I heard, Luke. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'll be playing next, but, uh... Hell, I'll think of it come Tuesday. I'm on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. My schedule should be, uh... Should be on my About page. And it's also... Let's throw this out. Since I'm, since I'm shamelessly plugging anyway. My Discord will always tell you when I'm live. It'll always notify you when I go live. Twitter, I don't really use much. YouTube, just for my first VIA VODs. They're, they're not the best. 
days before Christmas, I've been considering it. I've been considering days before Christmas. For those of you who have the points, though, I do have a challenge. I've never finished Earthworm Jim. It's one of my favorite Sega games, and I've never finished it. And damn it, I want the drive to do it. And I find I have more drive to finish a game while I'm streaming. Well done. You guys can help me Muda out with that. Warrior is now following. Buckle up. Muda Warrior, thank you for the follow. You should be a guest NPC boss in our D&D. <laughs> hey, if you want to roll me, go right ahead. Hey, no, thanks. Seriously, sincere thanks. Yes, I know, Strudel. It does. Only a max 2,000 paper clips a stream. Mila writes something in my notebook. Oh, she did. I asked her something. What did she answer? Well, okay, yeah, I asked her. She said, I know your father. Oh, shit. Well done. Bird 700 is now following. Bird! Buckle up. Thank you for the follow. Rosa knew your father. She said that. How the hell does Rosa know Mila's old man? Wind's getting chilly. Rosa will murder me if you catch cold. Let's get you back to her room, okay? Come on, Mila, we gotta go. Damn, it's still 11.40. I already did the boss for this chapter, and it's still going. Oh, yep, we're both walking together. I love that. I love that little bit. It's nothing. It is absolutely nothing. It is just a blue circle next to my circle. But it's so, I don't know. It works. It's so effective. Earthworm Jim on Sega CD with the extra levels, but my CDX doesn't play discs anymore. Tried to fix it so far, but there's not much documentation for it. Oh, boy. That sounds rough. Let's see. Oh, yeah. We're going down to Rose's room. Yeah, I can imagine. The CDX... The Sega CDs doesn't really get the love it deserves. I feel like there are a lot of great games on the Sega CD. What you... Oh, follow age. Has it really been four months? Jeez. That's crazy. It's amazing how fucking fast time's been flying. Oh, we're not going to Louie's room. We're going to the other room. We're, we're, we're gonna keep Milo away from Louie. Louie's kind of creepy when it uh, around Mila. We don't we don't want that. I don't even know how Mila how old Mila is, but she doesn't look old enough. I feel like it's been longer than that, Stoodle. It feels like forever. It may have been more than that. I'm not sure. It could be a mess up there, but I remember it, it does feel longer. You're not wrong. I have like 50 of them. They range from decent to great. There are a bunch. Yeah, there are great ones. What I love about Sega CD are all the FMV games there are, where they're just like live action games. I love those stupid things. Tide. All right, we got her back to Rosa. Hey, Rosa. God, she's looking as chipper as ever. I found Mila. Mila, come in quickly, dear. Come on, come on. Where was she? Yeah, Mila looked thrilled to be there on the roof. What? Land's sakes, no wonder she's cold. Poor thing will catch her death. Mila, you just sit, and I'll make you some tea. And don't mind what I said earlier. You don't have a thing to worry about, dear. You got a second? What is it? I'm very busy. It won't take long. It's about Mila. Yes? Actually, I need to talk to both of you. No, all right. Go wait in the back room, okay? Good. I need to give Mila her tea first. Go wait in the back room, she says. Save it first. This is this is boss time. I, I, I'm smelling boss time. The way bosses work, these are like dialogue bosses. You say the wrong thing, game over. Done. I've gotten my ass kicked more times playing this than I have playing Shadow Warrior. That's not true. I got my ass kicked a lot playing Shadow Warrior. But, you know, I tried. Okay, I gotta go into the back room. Gotta hit the hay. Have a great night. You have a great night, Stoodle. Always good to see you. I'm surprised I don't have a VIP thing next to my name. You know what? So am I. Let me see if I can do something about that. Go 
because I have more room for those. How about now? Still boggles my mind how they never made a Castlevania game on it. I'm a pioneer! After how good- I'm an explorer! Yeah, Bloodlines was fantastic! It was so good! I loved Castlevania Bloodlines. That's another game I need to beat. I have never finished it, but I loved it growing up. I would game over every time, didn't care. I enjoyed it. I'd played it for the fucking music, honestly. Yeah, that Alex Jones clip's great. It's- it's so... Uh, it's hilarious. A Rondo port on Sega CD would have been- oh my god. Yeah, what was- what was that on? I think that was- yeah, Rondo was on, uh, Turbo Graphics, wasn't it? Something like that. How retro is this game? Hey, Keanu Wick. It's, uh, 2007, I think. Let me... Let's see. 2007. So, still old. It's old. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's- it's like 15 years old. Retro enough. Yeah, tur yeah. PC, CD. Oh, man. The game is old enough to disappoint its parents. That's a great way to put it. Oh, Rondo. Uh, just to see that opening cutscene, Sega CD. Oh, man. No, this is definitely not a PSP game. It's a retro-inspired video game, which is awesome. The game itself looks fascinating. It is, it is really good. It's good. To be as grounded and as realistic as it is, especially for a Japanese game, it is really, it really throws them at you. There's an old war worn brochure on the desk. I'm getting tired of seeing these things. Okay, I gotta investigate this little room, I guess. There we go. There's a picture of a family in the frame. Anything in particular? That's... There's no way that's Stallion. That's Rosa. Rosa was kind of foxy back then. Don't know who that kid is. Picture of a couple in the frame. Well, that's, uh, that's Rosa back when she married Bruce Wayne. Cool. Let's see what's on this. Anything s Hey, a colander. No, wait, that's a calendar. I feel like that was a localization typo that they took advantage of. We got another one. Here's a picture of Rosa with a man. Rosa with man. Let's see. We got anything else? Can we can we go now? Oh wait. I can look in the bathroom. Nice. Anything fun in the bathroom? I haven't seen a bathroom that made any difference in this game yet. But you can look at all of them. I could use a shave. Nothing in the sink. It's a freshly clean though. Great. Maybe I should just leave. I mean, I can leave. Oh, here she goes. Sorry, Mr. Hyde. Sorry for making you wait. Retro Ocha will probably have achievements for this game someday. I'm surprised they haven't yet. Uh, there's not a whole lot of achievements though, honestly. Just uh, make sure don't forget to get ask for change. Otherwise, you will lock yourself out of a uh, pretty long-term puzzle. That's not- it's not important for the ending, but it's just a little ex bonus scene, basically. They have achievements for Phantom Hourglass and other DS games already. I can't believe the DS is almost 20 years old. Isn't it crazy? It's such a good console. Except for the money in the toilet. Money in the- oh, well... The money in the toilet, yeah. There's that thing. I am loving Scorn. I really want to play Scorn. I need to. I'm glad that the reviews have gone up too, that people have finally accepted the game for what it is instead of what they expected it to be. I don't know what people, they were expecting it to spell everything out for you. They were expecting it to like be a fucking like dusk-like, uh, you know, doom clone boomer shooter. And I was like that, I expected, I, I did not expect either. I would have been disappointed if those, those applied. Those aren't that kind of game. It was exactly, it, it looks like exactly what the trailers were putting out. Very HR Geiger, exactly. HR Geiger, very HR Geiger. I was expecting cryptic puzzles and maybe some shooting. And from what it sounds like, that's exactly what it is. Can you take apart the sink and check the trap for hair or DNA? Nah, Muta, it's, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm not exactly a cop. I'm a door-to-door -door salesman who used to be a cop. I'm not that good. I'm not a forensics guy. 
I can, uh, with, with a lot of trial and error, I can wind up a, a cassette tape with a pencil. That was a puzzle. That was a weirdly hard puzzle. Oh, she drank some of my special honey tea and is feeling much better. Good. So, what did you want to talk to me about, hmm? Out with it. Hold on. I got a question about these pictures first. No, oh, Mr. Hyde, why were you looking at my pictures? I got a short attention span. So, who are these folks? Those are pictures of me, Mr. Hyde. Pictures of... The bride, too? Of course. Has she been married, like, three times? Oh, now what's that face for? Don't look so surprised, Mr. Hyde. I was one young once, you know. Oh, I know, it's just... Just what? Is a little awkward. How awkward you, Mr. Hyde. Out with it. I just thought she was a real good-looking dame. Oh, my. So, you marrying your one true love there, or what? Yes, I was. I thought I was the happiest girl in the world. Yeah, I'll bet. Of course, everybody says that. Yes, but I was serious. I couldn't have been any happier to marry that man. Rosa, you never cease to amaze. Your husband really that great? To me, he was. He was the best man I'd ever met. So what happened? Now I think he's on a boat somewhere. No kidding. Married a sailor, huh? I assume he's still a sailor. You assume? It's been quite some time since I've seen him, is all. Ah. Uh, I think the last time we saw each other was, oh, at least five years ago. That's a long time, Rosa. No, now I'm sure that was it. I remember now because it's when I started to work here. Because it takes all kinds. I doubt you really care about my husband, Mr. Hyde. I thought you had to ask me about Mila. Yeah, I do. Let me get on that. That, that was a Back weird, weird conversation. <laughs> I can only play a couple hours at a time because some of the puzzles take a couple hours to figure out. That's what I was hoping, Knight. I was open, challenging, fuck hand-holding puzzles. Avon Vendor with They're a gun. Write them down for God's sake. There is a flaw for this game. The bathrooms are boring. Yeah, I, I kind of like that. Yeah, except yeah. Okay, you're right. The the money in the in the toilet tank was the only bathroom related thing. And what's funny is I expected that whole time I was expected to dump the money back into uh into Angel's room and just just replant it. Well, your money's in the toilet tank, kid. Like. I, there were so many ways to solve that. I think that was the clumsiest puzzle in the game. It was also the most tense, so I, I didn't hate it. She killed her husband. Yeah, that's it. The face of a stone-cold killer right here. Well, out with it. You know what? How do you know about Mila? What? I don't understand the question, Mr. Hyde. When I ran into Mila- Oh, God, boss music! Her wheels were really turning. She was thinking about something you said. So what did you say to her? I'm sure I don't know. I haven't said anything to that girl. Wait a minute. Come on, Rosa, don't lie. Don't start lying to me now. I know you talked to her. And I know you asked who she's looking for. What? And just how would you presume to know about that, hmm? Mila told me. Oh, she told you. She told you. Miss Taki just up and told you, is that it? She wrote it down in my notebook. Oh. Yeah, oh. I guess it's silly for me to try and hide it then. How did you know she was looking for someone? It's because of that old brochure. Married four times, just saying. <laughs> yeah, right? And that's what it looked like. She was standing next to a lot of different looking individuals. You know something about her that the rest of us don't. And I need you to tell me. I don't know anything. It's not like I'm hiding something from you. Yes, you clearly are. Come on, Rosa. Rosa, come on now. I'm gonna stay nice to her. We've been through a lot tonight, right? Helped each other, had a few laughs. I'm not... I'm not hiding anything, Mr. Hyde. And I swear I don't know boo about that poor girl's father. Her father. 
Oh, darn my full mouth. Yeah, Rosa, she, she does have a big mouth. What are you hiding? Please, Mr. Hyde. I promise not to tell. Oh, it's on now. I feel like this is late game, boss. Saving, uh, save, save the game, save the game. I am scared of, I am, Rosa is the first person to game over my ass and it blindsided me. Because it does, she didn't game over you right I'm away. I'm save scum. Fuck it. I'm save scumming. Thank you, Luke. <laughs> oh no, save scum, this bitch, yeah, I'm save scumming. No, like, it wasn't right away. You pissed her off, and then you go downstairs, you think everything's fine, you start talking to the owner, and then the owner, Hey, Pan, how's it going? And then you go, the, the owner's waiting at the bottom of the stairs, and he gets pissed off and, and throws you out. And then you look back at that time when she just looked at you like you were the worst bastard of all time. It was beautiful. Good morning, Pan. How you doing? Shout out to Pan. What day is it? What planet am I on? Oh, God, you stayed up way too late. It is, uh... Oh, yeah, I'm the last person you should ask. You're, like, way... You're, you're in a way different time zone. No shout-out to Pan. Shut up. No. Shout not Pan. Go follow Pan. One Rosa interaction I love is right at the beginning. If you sidestep the front desk and try to go upstairs, you'll run into her. Oh, really? I miss that. I always, I always just go straight to the front desk. Okay, here we go. I want to hear what you have to say. What? Oh, no, no, no. Talk about the pamphlet. Talk it. Talk to me about the pamphlet. What do you know about pamphlets? What's going on with the brochure? You were talking about... Mila's... Yeah, Mila had a, had a hotel brochure. You mean the brochure Mila was carrying? Yes, that's right. She got a ride from that terrible angel boy in 213, remember? His real name was Demon. I'm not kidding. His real last name was David. He was using uh, Angel as an alias. Because subtlety. And I think it, I think she showed it to him, and that's why he came here. And as soon as I saw that brochure, I knew. What did you know? What did the pamphlet tell you? What did that brochure tell you? Well, see, I just figured that if she had that brochure with her... That she must be looking for someone who stayed here a long time ago. Makes sense, right? Sure it does. Anyway, that's what I thought when I saw it. I just made a per Yeah, what you what what you buy? What, what what you get, Night Shadow? Share it with the class. What about her father? You said you didn't know anything about him, right? You don't know squat. You do know something! Yeah, oh god, they're both exclamation points. So one thing about Hotel Dusk is that if there is a heavy question and there is an answer with an exclamation point, that is the wrong answer every time. But now there's two of them. We'll go with this one. So you do know something. Probably. Probably. What's that supposed to mean? That was the right answer. When you get a wrong answer, this little red wave kind of flows over them. And you're like, ah, oh, fuck, you fucked up. They usually look pretty upset. Can I get a chungus-sized coffee? A big chungus? Oh, boy. You need one of those 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 big coffee mugs that, that have, like, the little chart, like, that, where it's like, shh, almost, and then at the bottom it says, now you may speak. That's, oh, man. I, I've only seen one of them, and I wanted it. Because, God, it made sense. I did a naughty thing and bought Punch-Out, the arcade cab, and House of the Dead for my per Jesus Christ, man. Those you just casually just said the two best the the two best arcade caps of all time. Fucking fucking A, man. Good job. Good good on you. You've earned them. As much as you've been working, as hard as you've been working night, 16 hour days all the time, yeah, you've earned a reward. You have earned those caps. That's not that naughty. What's that supposed to mean? Well, it's just that if that girl is looking for her father, then yes, maybe I do remember something. She remembers something. Yeah, she remembers her dad. What do you remember about Mila's dad? 
Why am I a VIP? Is it a mistake? Nah. You're a VIP. I was gonna buy them for the shop. But I said, screw it, I want them. Why would it be a mistake, Dan? Come on. What did you remember? I can't tell you that. Come on, Rosa. I got an I got you an autograph. I fetched wine labels. Trust me for once. I don't know. I don't have a secret agenda, Rosa. I just want to know what Mila was doing here by herself. And what her father was up to. That's all. And why, huh? I want to set her free. And what does that mean? I know a little something about searching for people. I know it's hard. Not something... Not something a girl like her should have to face. When you find people that don't want to be found, you learn some hard truths. Mila knows that those truths are coming, but she can't stop looking. It'll hurt when she's done, but only for a bit. Then it's over and done with. But until she finds her old man, she's just gonna go on hurting. Talk about the promise. What, the, the, the stage play? You made a promise, huh? Bobo is still censored. Oh, no. I, I can... You know what? I'm gonna get rid of that. Thank you, Knight. I'm looking at the space shuttle pinball machine, but the bidding on it's way too high. Still debating, though, because it still has four days left in the bidding. Ooh, shit. Space shuttle... I like Space Shuttle, but it's not my favorite pin. That said, if you could find a pin for a reasonable price, and you know what an unreasonable price for a pin is, God, they're so expensive, then I'd say go for it. Space Shuttle ain't bad. Let's see. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can't unban Bobo later, after the stream. I, I meant to do that. I just hadn't gotten around to it. I think I know who you made this promise to. Or not. Maybe I'm just messing with you. Someone I know. A stranger. Someone I know. It's someone I know, isn't it? Yes, as a matter of fact. The person trusted me. Trusted me with a secret. So what's the secret? Tell me your secrets! What's this big secret, Rosa? What are you hiding that can help this girl? I can't tell you, I promised. Yeah, you said that, and I know you mean well. But the person who told you this secret, they told you because they trusted you. I suppose. Then maybe you can trust me in the same way. If it's something to do with Mila, I can help her. And I need you to trust me with it. I'll keep your name out of it. Oh, Mr. Hyde, I don't know what to do. Tell me what you know. I'll make sure it doesn't come back to you. Don't. I could get around it to piss him off. Okay, sounds good. We got her. We, we, we actually beat the Rosa boss. It didn't seem that hard because I didn't get any wrong answers. If I got one wrong answer in those... It would have been over. The game would have ended. It would have given me a game over. I would have gone back to my room depressed and dejected and done. Like, it, it is It is probably the most depressing way to get a bad ending in a game. Like, it's so, I, I guess, related. You don't just die. No, dying is easy. Yes, I heard you before. Well, if it's really just so you can help Mila, I guess I can tell you. I like you, Mr. Hyde. And the last question was just a guess. Well, a stranger... See, the thing, Gigian... A stranger felt weird. It felt like it wasn't... Like, there are so many coincidences so far in the hotel that, I mean, there had to be at least one more, you know? There had to be. I like you, Mr. Hyde, and I do trust you, I guess. I like you too, Rosa. Call it a hunch. <laughs> Being rejected by a lady like her must make you feel like your life's over anyway. Oh, you know it. But you have to swear that you'll look for her father. 
You told her you would, so you have to promise. Yeah, I promise. I will. Well, you see, it's about the old brochure that Mila was carrying. I knew as soon as I saw it, I knew. I had seen it before. Where? In Mr. Smith's room. Mr. Smith's office. That's Dunning. That's the owner of the hotel. No, his personal quarters. He normally won't let anyone go in there. But he's such a lazy man, and he asked me to clean it once or twice. And anyway, that's how I saw the brochure. And once I saw that Mila had the same one, it all became clear as day. You want to fill me in? The poor girl must have been here a long time ago. What do you think that? Because Dunning told me so, that's why. See, he only became the owner of this place some five years ago. And that brochure is much older than that, which made me curious. I tried to go through the game and pick all the wrong answers for shits again, but it's so depressing. It really is. It, it's brutal, Avil. So I asked him about it a little while back. Like, not even the po Like, there are the moments where you get kicked out of the hotel. That's bad enough. It's the parts where he just gives up. Like, he just gives up. It's so... F oh, it's sad. So I asked him about it a little while back. Like, like you don't realize because, like, you see this stern look on his face, his devil may care attitude, but this guy really is as a character at the end of his rope. Like, he's, like, drinking all the time. You don't see that often, but it, that's his character. And uh, you don't realize that he really is just kind of hanging by a thread. Like, like searching for Bradley, his ex-partner, is, is really taking a toll on him. And it's so subtle. It's it's very show don't tell stuff. It's really good, really good stuff. So I asked him about it a while back, about where he got it, and he told me. He said he had stayed here once with his family a long time ago, and that's how he got the brochure. Wait, Dunning has a family? Well, I can't be sure of the details. He won't talk much about himself. But last year, I told him a bit about my husband. He's that guy that's so used to helping others at his expense, so he puts on a tough face to scare people off. Pretty much, Giggy, and that's a great way to put it. He is 100% that guy. And then he talked about his family. I mean, that's probably what made him want to be a cop in the first place. What did he tell you? He has a daughter. But I think she lives pretty far away. A daughter. So that picture... That's right. I pretended not to know anything when you'd brought it up. But I think the girl in that picture is his daughter. But something happened. It kept them apart for quite some time. So when I figured out that Mila was looking for someone, I instantly thought about Mr. Smith. That's why you told Mila that you knew her father. That's right. Oh, it just felt so perfect. But Mila just looked so sad, and then she left. I see. Mr. Hyde, you don't suppose that Dunning really is? No, he's not. Oh, dear. Mila's father is a gallery owner named Robert Evans. Oh, but I... I was so sure. Oh, heavens. I opened my big mouth and spoke without knowing. That poor girl. Don't beat yourself up about it. Is the audio popping for you? It's not popping for me. Let me, uh, let me see if saving it'll, or let me, let me save and quit and see if that'll fix it. Or is the audio in general popping? I'm not hearing any popping in the emulation either, Avil. It's not consistent. It may have popped up. Yeah, it may have popped up once or twice. Sometimes that'll happen. As long as it's not too consistent. I can try and reboot after, like, after I save here. How can I not? I mean, I... She... Well, now I'm just all kinds of confused. Why? About Dunning. I thought that's why she w uh, why he was upset when I took Mila in. And why he wouldn't get anywhere near her. What this really needs, guys... What this really needs is a PC remaster. I would love to see a remastered version of this game, like what they did with uh, the Phoenix Wright collection on PC. This is what this needs. So I guess there must be something between them. Just not what I thought. Maybe so. You know what Mr. Smith said to me? He said you take her to the police first thing in the morning. 
And when I asked him if that was really the best thing to do... Yeah, they would have to change the light, the uh, fucking breaker box puzzle, though, to something that can that can handle one mouse. But I really feel like, or even like have two like fucking keyboard buttons for you to push. That's the emulation they do that thing with the sun. Yeah, I've done my best to see. I'm not really hearing it. It could be because I'm used to it. He couldn't even look me in the eye. Mr. Hyde, I'm just like you. I just want to help this poor girl. I'll do whatever I can. I've done my best to try and minimize it, but it seems like it's just part of it. Sorry, guys. But you have to help her. I will. That's why I prefer real hardware. I usually do real hardware, just not with DS games. Or PlayStation game 1 games, but that's because my damn PS2 won't play the damn things. I don't know why. It just won't read them. It'll read DVDs. It'll read, uh... It won't read PS2 CDs, and it won't read dual-layer DVDs for some reason. It'll just read plain single-layer DVDs, and that's it. I have no idea why it's like that, and we've cleaned it, too, like, very thoroughly. It just doesn't want to read them. No idea. But I need to know one more thing. Is there a painting of an angel in this hotel? Just make a sync collection that includes trace memory, last window, and again. Yeah, yeah, this last window, trace memory, and again, would be fantastic. D -d -d Skip glass rose. It wasn't great. It wasn't great. It was okay, but it was a nice little piece of game history. But that ending was just, ugh. An angel. Yeah, wings, halo, little clouds, an angel. No, not that I know of. She doesn't know about angel paintings. But we do have lots of apple paintings. Yeah, I noticed. Land sakes, those things are everywhere. Pictures of apples all over the hotel. Now why anyone would need that many apple paintings is beyond me. Rosa, I don't care about apples. I care about the angel. Well, we don't have one. At least I've never seen it. Just apples. Again with the stupid apples. Can't sneeze without hitting one of those things. There's even one in my room. A lot of apple paintings. Are we done here? Is that it? I want to hear what you have to say. I guess we're done here. Damn. Can I just leave now? Oh, what's here? Looks like there's something on this desk. Can I look at it? No. I can talk to the girl, though. Don't worry. I'll find your father. Feels like something's missing. Why isn't this chapter over yet? Something's up. Brown! Yeah, apple paintings. Gotta look at them. Oh, here we go. It's my pager. I've gotta call Ed. Guess we're going up. Yeah, we'll look at some apple paintings. There are a lot of them. I don't think I have to look for them yet, but there are a lot of them. There's a painting on the wall. It's still life. It's a painting of a cup, two apples, and a bottle of wine. Some kind of euphemism. I don't like it. Okay. Go west. There's another painting. Let's take a look at this apple. Oh, no. That's not an apple painting. Never mind. I got a painting in my room. Ooh. Do a little compare and contrast here. We got more apples on this one. Painting on the wall. Still life. Let's take a look. Those are some tasty looking apples. I must be getting hungry. There are five apples here. So there were two apples there. Five apples here. That could be important. That could be significant. Even one in my room. Yeah. Sure is. Guess I should give Ed a call. Let's give Ed a call and then we'll think about this. We'll think about apples. Apples and bottles. Red Crown, Rachel speaking. Rachel, go home, seriously. This gives me Danganronpa vibes. It's like, it's like a, it's like the opposite of Danganronpa. It's not, it, it's not wacky over the top anime stuff. And uh, 
the plot is very consistent and very well woven. So they're, they're like polar. They're, they're like two different ends. I was going to, sweetie, but I'm worried about you. I'm fine. You're the one who has to go home at midnight. Aren't you sweet? But I'll just make Ed give me a ride. Anyway, he's right here. Thanks, Rachel. Okay, Ed. Talk to me. Hide. What's the good word? Rude to disagree. <laughs> just messing with you. They're very different games, though. They're, they're very different tones, is what I should say. Tell me you got good news, Ed. Tell me about Gallery May and Robert Evans. I shook something loose. Looks like this gallery of yours closed down seven years ago. No kidding. Yeah, it was one of the older galleries in Santa Monica. Seems this... Seems this Evans fella inherited from his grandfather. He was 23 when he got it. And that was back in 1933. Sounds like he had some success. That's what I hear. Our types say Evans had a good eye for rare stuff. Real good at finding undiscovered works by famous painters. Make any money? Plenty. Sorry, just, just checking the thing. Plenty. When new art shows up from famous painters, folks pay attention. And then all of a sudden, nothing. Gallery shuts down seven years ago. Why? Got no clue. When it closes, Evans does a runner and disappears. And he's been gone ever since? Yeah, real missing persons type stuff. Oh, I know it. I... You said his daughter was in that hotel. Think she's been looking for him this whole time? I don't know. I don't think so. I rang up some old friends in LAPD and asked about your case. They say no one in the family ever pressed for a full search. That's interesting. I looked into the Evans family, by the way. Wife Mary died in a plane crash in 1960. They had one daughter. Name of Mila. Mila. I got a couple calls in to some other folks. I'll ring you if it pans out. I appreciate it. Don't worry, something pops up. I'll get you on the horn pronto. So Robert Evans went missing seven years ago. What the hell happened to him? And I want to know more about Dunning's daughter. Uh, wouldn't that be, uh... Wasn't that Iris's mom dying in the plane crash? I can't remember. All right. I'm getting close. Let me think about this for a bit. Oh, uh, we're, well, we're gonna get, we're gonna get the fucking recap anyway. This is gonna be a big one. Ed called a little after 11. I asked him to check two things for me. One was Gallery May, and the other was... Robert Evans. Yep. I asked Ed to collect info on Robert Evans and Gallery May. Okay, fair. I borrowed an old cassette deck from Louie's room. Then I used it to listen to Iris's tape. That's making a long story short, it seemed to be a recording of some shady transaction. The person who sent the tape to Iris was... That'd be Grace. That'd be Melissa's mom. The kid's mom. That's right, Grace sent Iris the tape. Seems that Iris is actually Grace's little sister. And she's come here to try and find her. From what Iris said, it sounds like Grace is connected to the angel painting. I asked Louie to check the guest log from two years back, see what was there. And then we went bowling. Go figure. While we were knocking pins, we found something odd in a hallway planter. The thing we found was an old key. A pencil. We found ourselves a paperclip. That's it. When the bowling ball broke the planter, we found an old key. The key's got no markings or anything on it. Got no idea what it's used for. Quite a lengthy game. Are you close? I am pretty close. I think I'm two chapters away after this. 
Chapters 9 and 10 are the last two. Rosa stumbled across me and Louie's little game, and was less than thrilled. But she stopped yelling long enough to tell us that Mila had vanished. You ever the heroes, Louie and I went to search for her. When I found Mila, she was on the roof. Looking at the moon. That's right, the kid was on the damn roof. Rosa said something about her father that upset her. I took Mila back to Rosa's room. Then the Wonder Maiden and I had a chat. Rosa told me that Dunning has a daughter. She thinks there's a connection between Mila and Dunning. But she doesn't have any real proof. When we were done, my pager went off and I called Ed. He had some info on Mila's old man, Robert Evans. Seems Evans took a powder after he closed down his art gallery. He went missing about... About six, uh... About seven years ago, wasn't it? Yeah. Will you finish today? I will finish today, Pan. Absolutely. He even made the LAPD missing persons list. Has Mila really been looking for him this whole time? Iris's tale, Rose's confession, Ed's new info. Things are starting to come together. But I still got questions. Questions about Mila's father, Dunning's daughter. That's a deep voice for a 14-year-old, my god! <laughs> In some picture of an angel. The strands of this mystery are starting to fray. I can see them getting rough around the edges. And Bradley... I think your story is one thread I need to pull. The one that'll make this whole damn thing unravel. Oh, we're getting him, guys. We're getting Bradley. I don't know how. I don't even think he's here. But we're getting Bradley. Damn, I haven't saved in a while. Oh, shit. Might have a theory about how ties things tie together. It has to do with these apple paintings. Somehow. 12 to 2 a.m. Holy shit, it's picking up. I haven't had a two-hour day yet, or at least not in a while. Let me guess. A painting of an apple, huh? Rosa said there were five apple paintings. I thought the phone was gonna ring again. The phone usually rings when the chapter starts. Painting on the wall, still life, yep. This one has five apples. There are five apple paintings. Painting of apples. Oh, hello. What do we have? What is it? What? Um. What am I looking at here? Am I looking for a signature? Okay, this got weird. What am I... Do I need to put some adhesive remover on it? What if I... Okay, game. You you got me in... There's a white one here. Is that... Is that it? Was that a white apple? No, I think it's just a little... I think it's just a little pentimento. Let's see. What do we got? I wonder what's the likelihood of some of the missing people being dead. Pretty high, I'd imagine. Probably pretty high. I can imagine a little bit of bittersweetness going on. Interesting that we have two characters tied to the painting in some way that are also tied to the 60 plane crash, right? Oh, everybody's connected in this game. Everybody is part of it. Hey, watch me awkwardly play. Welcome in. How you doing? I'm guessing you're missing an item. I'm thinking so. I'm thinking you're right. I wonder what it means. Maybe I have it. Maybe I have an item. Let me try. Let me try something. This is going to be terrible. I'm going to be like fucking up some paintings here, but let's try the, let's try the adhesive remover. See if that does anything. Not going to get anywhere using this right now. Okay, good. I didn't want to, I didn't want to fuck these paintings up while I'm staying here. I was willing to, but I didn't want to. Okay. Either that, or it's something 
that is specifically on these paintings that I need. Okay, here's one. Yeah, this one's the two apples. Painting on the wall. It's a still life. Painting of apples. Maybe it is the adhesive remover. Yeah, this one doesn't really have anything either. How's the gaming? The gaming is going good. The, the plot's actually starting to converge. Okay, let's try this. Let's look at it and then try the the adhesive. I'm not sure, but this, it seems right. The pencil. Use the pencil. Nope. I was going to draw mustaches on the apps. Okay, let's try the adhesive remover. Crazy as shit, but let's see what happens. Nope. I do have a key to something now. Do I have it on me? No, I think I have to go to... I don't think I have it on me. But I think I do have to go to Louie, you're right. Let's see, where is it? Louie might still be at the... Wait, you didn't find anything on the painting in your room? No, I did not. Yeah, Louie has the key. Let's, let's, let's go for the key. Let's see if the restaurant's open. Restaurant's still open. Let's see if the bar's open. And let's see if Louie's there. There's something you have to find on the painting? Okay, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, there are five... I, I, there are five paintings, and each one, I think, has different... Why are you going so slow? Get out of there. We don't need that. Yeah, there's something I have to find on each of the five paintings. I know that there's different apples on each one. Let's go to Louis first, though. I have a f I I've got a hunch. I'm following my nose here. Probably not the most accurate, but we'll see what's going on. I went to the wrong damn hallway. Yeah, this is dead. Louis in the other one. Yeah, we'll find it. We'll figure it out. We'll figure out what we're after. Otherwise, we'll just go straight to the apple paintings and uh, just poke around, see what we can find. Knock, knock, knock. Is there a party someone didn't tell me about? Yep, he ain't, do he ain't going. He ain't for it. Okay, let's go back to my room and really look. There may be something written on the on the painting. And if there is, then we're in good shape. Let's 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 see what's up. He did just look right at it. Oh, really? It's not. It's not on the screen. What the? Let's do this. Painting on the wall. Still life. Yep. Still is still life. Painting of some apples. Let's apple it up. Okay, what am I looking for? Is that a three? Maybe I just have to, like, scrub on this until something happens. How about them apples? Yeah, how about them apples? I'm just gonna, like, rub on these. I think you can actually see that. Yeah, you can see that. Let's give them a little rub. It looks like I need something, but I might not. It's so hard to say. Anything, uh... Apple rub. Yep, we're just rubbing apples. Just rubbing on some apples. Gotta get real thorough. Don't want to get the apples too excited, though. Wait a minute. What's that? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. See, that looks like a little thing. Am I looking for, like, a number? Maybe I'm looking for a number. Like something written on the canvas. Fixed camera angles would add a little extra amb ambiance, make it black and white. Um, I'm with you on the fixed camera angles. I love the color in this game. I like that all the, the only things that are black and white are the characters. I love that. I, I really like the colors. Don't take away the colors. Other than that, yeah, absolutely. That looks like a Y. That's a Y. Holy shit. 
There's a letter painted into the picture. Holy! Okay, there we go. A picture of five apples in the letter Y. Here we go. There are other apple paintings besides this one. We got it! Ladies and gentlemen, we got them! Yep, let's go. One of those moments where you were yelling at the screen. Y5, yep. Okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Just easy enough to miss. I'm with you. I'm with you. I knew it was something. I knew I was looking for some hidden thing. I just didn't know what. Nope, that's not one. And yeah, it's just easy enough to miss. So we're looking. There's a letter on each one of these. They're not necessarily on the apples. Or are they? I was hoping that was like a big X or something. This looks like something. It doesn't help that it's a bit blurry. It is a little on the blurry side. I mean, they're very, like, it, I mean, they're paintings. They, it was supposed to be hidden. Kind of reminds me of that one uh, artist who would always put his... Oh, there it is. That one artist who would always put his daughter's name in his uh, in his pieces, but they were always really hard to find. You had to really look for them to find them. And he'd, like, uh, hide them in really clever ways. I love pixel art. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're stuck in this zoom. Me too. There's another apple painting. Okay. It could be second letter E, fifth letter Y. That could be what they're getting at. Okay, so there were... Okay, so we're done with the second floor. There's one. This will be the third one. Ooh, baby. Let's go. Guessing each painting has a day. Yep, that's what that was my guess. And yeah, it's looking like it's sticking with that. Three apples? Yeah, because we had four, ap five apples, then we had two apples, then we're at three. It just makes sense that the other ones will have, like, you know, four and one. Okay, it could be anywhere, too. Gotta keep my eyes peeled. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. We're just combing it. I like how it's always the same, uh, it's always the same bottle. The only real difference, and even the apples, there's the end. We got it. That one was easy to find. Make sure of three apples in the letter N. I don't know why he's writing them like that. Yen. It's about the... We have to fly to Japan to find Bradley. Okay, so we got five, five apples with Y, two apples with E, three apples with N. See where let's see where it takes us. Just case in the joint. Let's see here. Wasn't there an apple here? I guess there wasn't an apple painting here. There is an apple painting in 217. We're gonna save that one for last though. We're gonna go into the hallways and look for any apple paintings there. And then we're going to 217 for that last one. Nothing here. Yeah, I really don't get it either. I'm sure it has something to do with something. I'm sure he's got something in mind. Oh, it could be in the restaurant, too. Yeah, let's go into the kitchen. Or the pantry. Which leads into the kitchen, which leads into the... Yeah. You know what I'm getting at. Okay, can't go in there. Can't go in here. This is where the game slows down. Bear with. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, no. Oh, shit. Calm down. Calm, calm down, Kyle. Damn. Open that up. There's a lot of pictures here, but I don't think any of them are what I need. Nope. Just, 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 just babes and booze. Let's see what we got. Mm. Nothing here either. No one tending the bar? Grab all the booze. Maybe that's like a character moment. Like he didn't immediately think, oh God, the booze is free. out of here. It's not here, then. Kitchen. No, it's not in the kitchen, either. Could it be at the end of the central hallway? I thought I got that one. Yeah, that's the three. We already got that one. We already got the ones in the upstairs hall. We already got the one in my room. Already got that one. Wait. I think that's four. Let's just go to 217. No, there's another one that we're missing. I, I'll, I'll figure it out. We are going to get this one, though. Or maybe I can't count. I probably just can't count. I'm okay with that. I'm okay. I, I've long come to terms with not being able to count. Game, come on. Painting on the floor. That's weird. Why is it there? There's our four apples. Now we just need to find the one apple. Where the hell could it be? I haven't seen that one. Okay. Well, there's our inn. That was easy. Picture of four apples and the letter N. It's Jenny. What do you bet? We never were told that why that painting wasn't hung right. Yeah, well, it was taken down for some reason. Yeah, who knows why it was on the ground? Could have been for no reason at all. Or like, just something arbitrary. Hmm. I don't think there will be one on the roof. Could there be one in one of the utility rooms? Or am I done? It gets revealed eventually. Ah, okay. So, so I'm done. I, mission accomplished. Probably lobby, yeah. I've already checked the lobby, but yeah, let's wander around, see what happens. Because he did have a little, um... He did have a little marker next to his head. He's got a question that he didn't before. Yo, hide! Here we go. I knew plot was going to happen. It, it, I'm, I have not seen a single apple painting. I saw the other ones. I never saw one with a single apple. Hey, you, Louie. Where you been, man? I've been all over this place. I've been trying to track you down. I finally found Mila down in Rose's room. Looks like somebody found her and let her here. Yeah? Or it looks like somebody found her letter there, huh? Man, you should have said something. Made me waste all my time like that. I was looking for her too, you know. Sorry. Nah, I get it. Just forgot all about old Louie again, huh? Now I see what it is. Look how dejected he looks. He looks like a broken man. Knock it off, Louie. I got some new info. No fucking way. It yeah, absolutely. How's it going, 12%? Welcome in. It's one of my favorite adventure games from one of my favorite adventure game developers. There was no way, no way I wasn't going to stream this at least once. And I figured now's the time. It's... It's October, or it's, it's past October, it's November. This is a prime November game, even though it takes place after Christmas. Well done. Hey, thank you for the follow. 12% is now following. Buckle up. Thank you for the follow. X 12%. I got some new info. About Mila? It's about her father. Seems her old man went missing seven years ago. Trip, man. That's a long time to be off the map. So what? So 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 what? Mila's Mila's been looking for her pops this whole time. Maybe something rough happened to her, but I don't know the full story. I have to poke around some more. 
Yeah, well, check this. I got me some info, too. It's about that old key. What is that key for? Brings me back to my younger years play. Yeah, hell yeah. I feel that. I really feel that. I played this about two years after it came out. I think it was like 2000. 2009. I think somewhere between 2009 and 10 is when I played this. Oh, and I also... I also did that B&E you wanted. Find out... Uh, find out about Melissa's ma. Looked up the guest book from two years back. Okay. Let's ask him about these, and then we'll go ask about the apple painting. So what's that key for? It's the key for the booze cellar. And are you thinking what Louie's thinking? Probably not. Guess I had to try, huh? Anyway, this is the one key old man Dunning never let me touch. Didn't even keep a copy with those other keys what he keeps in the office. But man, hiding it inside of plants. I never would have guessed. What a trip, man. Yeah, it's odd. What's the deal with Grace? So, what's... So, was Grace here two years ago? See, that's the thing, man. I don't know. I guess logs... Guest logs in the office only go back one year. I got no idea if he tossed the old ones or what. Gotcha. You know where the apple painting is? Just point me to the apple paintings. What? Those crappy things? Man, what do you want to know about those for? Just a hunch I need to check. Rosa said there were five paintings, but I can only find four. Apples, huh? You sure you ain't been hitting the bourbon again, Hyde? All right, let me think, let me think. I, you got the second floor hallway. And your room. You remember that one? Yeah, I saw those. There's also one in 217, one at the end of the central hallway. Oh, right, yeah. Let me see. Uh, no, man, sorry. Don't know about that last one. So, hey, Hyde. Already four hours in. Unfortunately, I missed it. You stream often? Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. I don't always stream adventure games, but they're always kind of part of it. I play a whole bunch of different genres. Um, boomer shooters, RPGs, action games, adventure games, visual novels. This would probably be my first visual novel. Which I didn't expect. I remember this having more puzzles in it, but damn, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I, I stream all the time, yeah. How about you? I'm wondering. Oh, man, do you stream? By any chance? I might throw you a follow. I haven't been... I, I mean, it's been a while since I've played Halo. So I'm just kind of creeping on you a bit, but... There you go. Might as well. Might as well throw you a shout-out, too. You're new to it? Hey, I was new to it a year ago. I know how that's... I still... That still feels like yesterday. It's crazy how time flies. If you're interested... And given twelve percent a bit of a, a bit of a head start, but it's something I'm definitely starting to get into. Got a new seat. Oh, nice. Yeah, you're good. You you're 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 gonna get into it. Oh, you're you're a little ahead of me with the new PC. Oh, it's no problem at all. No problem at all. It's uh like back when I that shout out thing. We had to like make our own shout outs. That's actually a pretty recent deal. Anyway, back to it. Glad, glad, glad you're here. You know, welcome in. Hope you enjoy streaming. It sounds like you're having a good time with it. Anyway, back back to the game. You gonna go scope out that booze cellar? Yeah, sure am. Just hurry it up before Dunn and finds out you have that key, dig? Listen, I gotta swing over to Seven Stars Close Up Shop. Come down to the cellar after one, dig? Louie! Ah, crap, man. What in the Sam Hill are you doing here? You're supposed to be minding the bar. I'm going, I'm going, Mr. Smith. I'm on my way. Then get to it. Oh, 
that I could trust you with watching my bar. Don't make me regret it. Yes, sir, I'm going. He's going. He's on his way. He's hauling ass. Look at him go. Louis runs down the hall. Damn kid. Got a whole lot of learning to do. I'm sorry you had to hear all that, Mr. Hyde. Don't worry about me. You worry about me. Well, you ain't you just a big sweetheart. But let me t but tell me something, Mr. Hyde. Why are you talking to Louie at this hour, anyhow? Just bored? That's so. Alright then. Excuse me. Dunning stomps off down the hall. Oh boy, and we have all the way till 2 a.m. on this chapter. I feel like uh, chapter 10 will be the short one, though. It's hard to say. Either way, we're going all out. Let's see here. Where would that be? Left hallway? It would be left hallway. I know where that cellar is. It's that one room in the pantry that we couldn't go in. Or at least the, uh, the kitchen. That would be the best place for a wine cellar. I'm weary of Dunning. Yeah, same here. He's... I mean, it's his own building, it's his house, but at the same time, he is acting pretty damn sus. He really is. Wait, do I not? Oh, right, I had to go after one. That's right, I forgot. What did he say about the f he, he said he had no idea where it was. My guess is the final apple painting is in the, uh... Is in the wine cellar, that's my guess. I could be wrong. But that seems to be where it's from. And apparently sitting and waiting isn't going to be a thing either. Let's look around. Loving the verbal playthrough with the dialogue. Legit going to grab some grub and continue on. Hey, nice. How much la- uh, Until it's done. Until it's over. That's the plan. And we're on the last two chapters. I think we're, like, we're in the middle of chapter 8 just about now. So it won't be much longer. I usually stream somewhere between... I try to go somewhere between eight, uh, 6 and 10 hours. Usually around 8. 7 or 8 or 9 hours in, I'll usually close up. So we got plenty of time on us. What are we at? Four and a half? Yeah, we're just getting started. Let's see. A grinder, I'm like, oh yeah. I just enjoy it. It just felt so short. Those first two... Here we go. Maybe I should ask Rosa about those apple paintings. Two hours, four hours. It just never felt like a, a... It just never felt long enough, personally. Especially late night streams. Oh, I've always been a night owl. It's, it's all because of... Uh, it's all because three years flipping between night shift and evening shift at a hotel. I would work weekends overnight and then a couple of weekdays or three weekdays. Um, like, I think it was like 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. And that that'll turn your sleep schedule into an insanely flexible monstrosity. That's probably the opposite of healthy. But it means I can do late night streams and still like work during the day i'm used to that if that makes sense it was it was a weird time I'm glad that's past me now i'm always up late at work graveyard for over 10 years ah see you get it you get the graveyard graveyard's nothing to sneer at either i got i got max respect for people who work graveyard yes there's a lot more downtime but holy shit at a cost it is at a price well, Mr. Hyde, what can I do for you? You got a minute? Of course. Here we go. Talk to Rosa. Can't talk to Mila, she can't talk. Have you learned anything about Mila's father, huh? Well, have you? Rosa, it's been about 20 minutes. I'm good, but not that good. Oh, oh, yes, I suppose not. Well, I guess you'll just have to put on your sleuthing cap. But I may have one thing. Mila's father is a guy named Robert Evans. Robert Evans. Robert Evans. Oh my goodness. Oh my stars. Easy, Rosa. I take it you've heard of him? 
No, I'm just excited. Oh. <laughs> Good old Rosa. So your father's name's Robert Evans, is it Mia? Mila? Bro, my situation is 2 to 11 p.m. Yeah, see that... But I'm up every night until like 7 anyway. Right here. And I just sleep in until it's time to go to work. Yep, not quite great, but sleep schedule definitely is. Late night fam. Oh yeah, that's what it's all about. I was expecting a lot more Australians, and you'll see me raiding a few Australians from time to time. That's what I love about, you know, I figured if I was going to go late night, I'd definitely be able to raid somebody. <laughs> There's always somebody online. It's kind of insane when you think about it. Hey, Spencer, welcome in. Always good to find another late nighter. Oh, yeah. Yep. I'm, I'm pretty much, I'm here pretty much for keeps. I don't really see myself stopping anytime soon. There's so many games, so many good games. Years worth, it's crazy. And I wonder where he could be. Never you fret, Mila, honey. Mr. Hyde is gonna find him for you. Right, Mr. Hyde? Yeah, sure. You know where the apple painting is? I need to find an apple painting. Where are those apple paintings you were talking about? You said there were five, right? That's right. Are there really five? For a fact, the hotel isn't that big, you know. And I've counted them many times. Those paintings have been here as long as I have. Now, I guess you saw how each painting has a different number of apples. Well, I was sure that had some kind of meaning, but darned if I know it. I tried asking Mr. Smith about it once, but that man is just useless. Yeah, Dunning's useless. Who knows, he told me. I bet he knows the old coot. I don't know about that, but I did learn something else. Truly? Ooh, tell Rosa. Come on now. There's a hidden letter in each painting. Letters? Goodness me. I think those letters mean something. That's why I need to know where all the paintings are. I see. Well, there are three on the second floor and two on the first floor, right? Wait, there are two on the first floor? Of course. There's the one in the hallway and then... Oh, but you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know about the one in the special room. It's in the special room. You have a special room? Okay, I'm curious. What's the special room? It's gotta be the suite. It's at the back of the lobby. It's the only room like it in the entire hotel. And that's where the fifth painting is. That's right. It says room 111 on the door. The 111 room. I've been wondering about it. The room Dunning tried to sell us. Yep. Can you get me into room 111? So you can see the apple painting? Is that it? Well, I suppose so. All right, but only for Mila. Oh, and because I'm a little bit curious. Thank you. I'm gonna have to sneak the key away from Mr. Smith. It is hilarious how much happens, and it's still, and it's, and it's all in this one night. Like, this one day, and it's like he's practically living there. That's crazy. Once I do that, I'll go into room 111 and wait for you. Then you can just slip in later, okay? Good. Got it. Mila's counting on you to figure all this out, so don't mess it up. For mercy's sake, don't let Dunning know about any of this. Sneak around. We got, we got Rosa on our side. We got Rosa on our side. I never would have seen it coming. Rosa sneaks off down the hall. Okay. I love how she sneaked out of her own room. Now what? Should I ask Mila about her old man? Mila. All right. All right. Don't look at me like that. I'll just wait until I know what's with those paintings. You coming along for the ride? Oh, she's coming with us. Here we go. There's two of us now. Yeah, it's all one night. Well, it, it bleeds into the next morning. Like, it's like 1 a.m., right? Or it's, it's getting close to 1 a.m. But other than that, no, it's all one evening. 111, 111, 111. Get, get your brain straight. Here we go. Hide. Huh? What are you doing, Mr. Hide? Where do you think you're taking Mila? Oh, no. Don't you know what time it is? 
I left my watch at home. There's something shifty about you, mister, and I don't like it. No, sir. Pulling a young gal like Mila around a hotel in the middle of the night. I don't need creeps like... How would I have possibly known? Hit the road, you creep. How could I possibly... Good, great. Yes, it is a game ender right here. This fucking game. This game sometimes. Yeah, you gotta sneak around. I have to go upstairs and then back down, probably. I love that, like, I didn't have to take Mila with me. This is the least shitty game I have ever picked up. It's real good. <laughs> okay, cool. At least it checkpointed us here. Thank goodness. Oh, let's go upstairs. Holy shit. Let's go upstairs. Let's go down this way. Let's save. At least it, at least when it decided to be a dick to us, it gave us a checkpoint just as a nice little nice little try again moment. Good because I hadn't I've literally haven't saved in 40 minutes. Go on in. Go on down. Maybe this is it. Is this really it? It is. It is. It was just being cheeky. Cheeky game. Get on in there. You just had to give it the old roundabout. No signs or anything. It was just fucking with you. So you managed to avoid Mr. Smith, did you? Yeah, thanks for the warning. I'm sneaky when I need to be. I don't doubt it. The apple painting is in the back. Go on now. I'm on it. Now I'm just gonna wait here with Mila, if that's alright by you. Yep, sure thing, Rosa. Let's see, it's in the back. That ain't it. That's way too pretty to be it. Whoa! <laughs> Rosa! Well, it's scaring the hell out of you. Excuse me, princess. Get on in there. No need to knock. There it is. There's the... Oh, man, the suite really is nice. I wouldn't pay like 300 for it. Not in 70s money. But it's still nice. What do you know? It's a still life painting. All right. One apple. We found it, babe. We found it, boys and girls. This is, this is it. Here we go. Here we go. There it is. J. Instantly found it. Picture of an apple and the letter J. It's Jenny. That's the word. The word is Jenny. I don't know who Jenny is. That's all the hidden letters. I wonder what they mean. Jenny. Jenny. Is that all I have to do? Yeah. J E N N Y. Jenny. If I arrange them in order of the number of apples in each painting, it spells Jenny. Or if you just like look at the only word those those letters could make. Uh, names aren't really words though. Weirdly enough, they're not like only biblical names are in the dictionary. When it, like like take a look. If you don't have a biblical name, it's not in the dictionary for the. Unless you have, like, one of those, like... Unless your name is, like, Moonbeam or something. Wait, I've seen that name somewhere before. It was on the birthday card I found at Dunning's office. Autocorrect hates names, yeah. Yeah, it goes by dictionary, so there's a lot of names that it just doesn't have. You have a, you have a great night, Luke. Thanks for coming in. Go check out... Go check out Luke Force. He's a hell of a good streamer. One of one of my one of the best one of the best new streamers out there. Well, semi new. He's been around for a while, but man, he's awesome. Go check him out. He's uh he's planning on playing Ikaruga really soon because he played a very similar newer game and he wanted to play the old. Oh, he's great. He's great. Good. 
good broadcast presence, like great visual style. He uh, he edits video. He's awesome. He's awesome. Go check him out. Ah, what? What now? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Mila. Oh, Mila. Oh, shit. I didn't expect her to be on the ground like that. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, no. What do we do? What do we do? Keep her head elevated. She's not breathing. Oh, shit. She had a heart attack. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Rosa's scream is more like, Arr! Fucking, I don't know, smack her around. You gotta put your face next to her. Wait a minute. What am I fighting for? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I think I gotta, I gotta put my face to, oh, is it one of these? Watch this shit. You can't get any air from all the way back there. I had to close the DS. That's what I was doing. That's why it went gray. You okay? Uh, yes. What the? She can she can speak again. She had an apple caught in her throat the whole time. Mila. Uh. Uh. Don't. Don't what? God, you're awful. I am awful. I'm, I, I am the worst streamer on Twitch. Thanks for coming in, guys. Take. Don't take. Don't take what? Jenny. Holy crap, she's talking. Uh. Mila. Dear, your voice. I. I. Oh, what a blessing. This is a true miracle. Mila, you can speak again. Your voice is returned. Mila. I, I... What is it, Mila? Spit it out, Mila! Jeez, you okay? What's wrong? I... Remember. Oh, shit. Digital's on. Hey, Riker, welcome in. Oh, boy. We don't gaslighting? No, I'm not ga- That's not even gaslighting. Thank you for the digital. <laughs> I remember. I... I remember. What do you remember? Mila! It all went dark. Just like that one time. I have to make some crab rangoons. Ooh, baby. Well, we're about to... We're about to blast... We're, gonna, we're about to blast poor Mila with a shotgun. It all went dark. Just like... Shotgun! Just like that one time. Mila, sweetie. Dear, how did you lose your voice? It's okay, you can tell Rosa. I... Mila? Hey, take it easy. Just tell me what happened. I am vi I've got several questions. I'm glad Mila could finally talk. Yeah, let's talk about what yeah, let's 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 do this in order. What do you remember? I was playing with her in this room. This room. You've been here before. Yes. Are you sure? Please, dear, answer Mr. Hyde. Who were you playing with in here? Jenny. I was with Jenny. I was waiting for Papa. Okay. This is great. This is fantastic. Who the hell is Jenny? It's probably Dunning's kid. I saw that picture of her. Crab Rangoons. Ooh, baby. I wonder if showing your items will garner any responses. Uh, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. Who's Jenny? A girl? A friend I met here? My friend. Thanks, man. Papa said stay and wait with Jenny. So we played. But Jenny, she... Someone took her, didn't they? Who was it? A man. A strange man with a scary face. Strange man with a scary face. Let's, let's show her some stuff. Fuck. Hold up. I accidentally moved the damn... 
think we're good. Nope. Still need to move it a little bit. It's really, really sensitive. With how I have it set up, thank you. Let's move it one more, one more pixel, and I think we're, we'll be good. Perfect. Oh, I hate doing that. Okay, let's take a look. We've never been able to get Rangoons right. Imitation crab, real crab. Oh, they're they're tricky. They're tricky. Uh, let's show her. Uh, let's show her the uh, show her Bradley's lighter. Cause she knew Bradley apparently. Nope, she did not respond at all. Um, memo. Let's show her the memo. Oh, I think this is just how she responds to stuff. Damn it, <laughs> you guys! They're at war again. It happens. It happens. Pan loves loves me with the glasses off. Uh, Riker likes me with the glasses on. It it's madness. It's madness. The glasses go on whenever I go digital. Hey, Avil, thank you for the 250 paper clips for the uh, Make Me Play Earthworm Gym Challenge. Okay, where's your father? Where's dad? Fenris Wolf, thank you for the points. I think we're already past the halfway point. We have, no, we're past the quarter mark. We're at 30%. 60,883 paper clips have been raised. Out of 200,000. Jeez, we're only on day three. It's a 30-day thing, and I'm talking 30 stream days. Mila, where's your father? I don't know. The gallery was gone. Well done. Wasabi. Wasabi underscore 23 is now following. Buckle up. Buckle up. Welcome in, Wasabi 23. Starting to run low on points, it happens. Cyber Darling, as far as I'm concerned, removing digital takes the sades off, too. No, it doesn't. No, it does not. It's just not how it is. No, no, the shades stay on. You gotta take them off the hard way. You can do it. So we came here. Papa and me came here. How long have you been looking for him? A long time. It said, does it really? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Did it say that? No, it says shades go back on in digital mode, and digital mode will turn off when shades are off. No, the shades... <sighs> digital mode... When my shades go off, digital mode will turn off. But the shades don't go off when digital... You'll... You, you, it'll make sense. It makes sense. It's It's got... It's There are rules. I didn't write them. I wrote them. Ever since I, I woke up. A long time. Okay. Tell me about when you woke up. When did you wake up? don't know. I was asleep. She was asleep. She doesn't know. She was asleep, then she woke up. For a long time. She was in a coma? Then they told me I just woke up. No, no, no. Shades go off. But fine. No, I, I wrote the rules myself. Damn, I know what they say. Okay, you know what? That'll work. That'll work. That's a compromise. What do you mean like that time? <laughs> if the shades go on during that time. Yeah, for, I know how I wrote. I, I know how I write. Don't gaslight me, Pan. What do you mean like that time? Wait, why couldn't you speak? No, no, let's go. What do you mean like that time? We'll go with that. What did you mean when you said like that time? That time everything went dark. I'm gaslighting you and I love it. Yeah, I know. I know. No, no, no! I saw what you did there. It ain't happening. It ain't happening. Shades are staying on until you change it. It went dark? When I was waiting for Papa. Mila, when was this? <sighs> you know, that's... No, she, she did. She did redeem it. Mila, when was this? When I was nine. So, how old are you now? <laughs> okay, how old is she now? She was nine then. Mila, answer him. How old are you? Nineteen. Oh, Louie, you dodged a bullet. It's still a little weird, Louie, but you dodged a bullet. Nineteen. 
That's what they said. Someone had to tell you? Who, who said that? Oh my god. They, they do this. They do this, Apple. You'll... Yeah, they... It happens sometimes. <laughs> what happened, Mila? I don't know. It was because I was over there for a long time. What does that even mean, Mila? Over there? Where is... Where is over there? You said you were over there. Where is that? Robin's hospital. I woke up. I was in a bed. No one was there. So I tried to call for... For Papa. But I couldn't speak. And your mother, sweetie. Oh, it's a horror masterpiece. Yes, it's a it's horror. Ah! Okay, no, no. <laughs> That's my sister, Midnight Monopoly. Actually, big shout out to her. She also streams. She streams on the days I don't. And she is hilarious. She, uh... She played through, uh, I think the last game she played was Batman Arkham Asylum. I don't know what she's going to play next. Probably, uh, it's up to her, really. I'm not even, I have no idea. She may play Arkham City. She may play something completely different. Weirdly, she started playing Arkham Asylum like two days before Kevin Conroy passed away. And she gave up on it because it was messing with her stream. Well, we thought it was, but it turned out it wasn't. And so she just picked it right back up. She was like, nope, I'm doing it. And I don't blame her. And your mother, sweetie, where was she during all this time? Mom wasn't there. She was in a crash, a plane crash. I waited for Papa for a long time. But Papa never came. So... So you came here. Can't she, he came. She, yep. She showed up here. Why couldn't you speak? That's the important question. I saved it for last. How'd you lose your voice? No more points, Riker. <laughs> I was... There are only 25 points. Will you two play a game together on stream? Freedom? That is a good question. I'm not sure yet. It'll, it'll depend on things. We got to set things up. Um, down the line, absolutely. In the immediate future, I'm not sure, but we should. We definitely should play some together. I'm cocking for my wife. Oh, cooking. Cooking for my wife. Cooking. So sorry. Mario Party, Mario Kart. Um, we've been talking about playing Zombies Ate My Neighbors at some point. Okay, I was scared. I was scared. Jenny was crying. Jenny said, help me. Jenny. I was so scared. Oh, Mila. You poor, poor girl. Yep, traumatized teenager. You must be tired. Let's get you back to Rose's room. It's okay. I'm going to take good care of you. Mr. Hyde, I'm going to see to it that this little girl gets the rest she needs. You have to ask, you'll have to ask her about your paintings later. It's so dark. There we go. Wait, one more. There we go. Why not? Nothing else has gone according to plan tonight. You guys. Talking to your wife and watching Cyber at the same time. Man, got priorities in light. Jesus, man. Cooking! Cooking! You already know it. <laughs> Why not? Nothing else has gone according to plan tonight. Mila and Rosa leave. Things have been going exactly to plan tonight. Everything's been going the way I wanted it. All right, should I leave or is fucking Dunning gonna bust me again? Mr. Hyde, I'm sorry. I couldn't sleep and I overheard. Oh, you. Hey, Doc, how's the night treating you? I've, uh, I felt better. But I think the worst is over. At least I hope. Yeah, me too. Did something happen? You seem tired. I am tired, but I'll live. Cocking! In that case, can I trouble you for a moment? I need to ask you something. He needs to ask him something. I'm not loaning you money. <laughs> You just came 
You just came out of room 111, right? Yeah. What of it? Well, um... Were you with her? With who? The woman. The young woman in white. She just came out of that room with the maid. You mean Mila? Mila. That's it. That was her name. What's your story? You knew about Mila? You know something? Spill it. Yes, I just... I just remembered something when I heard her name. Her name is Mila Evans. He knows Mila. What the hell? How do you know Mila? How do you know her? She was a patient at the hospital where I worked. Interesting. Yes. Robin's Memorial in Santa Monica. But I never expected to see her here, not at all. Alright, so why was she in the hospital? What was she doing in the hospital? It's an odd case. She was brought to us unconscious with no visible injuries. She spent almost the next 10 years in a coma. 10 years? That's a long time to be in the dark. Sure is. We didn't see any sign of hope, but then half a year ago she just came around. The attending physician was astonished. He called her recovery a miracle, not that I take stock in such things. But unfortunately, he had trouble contacting her family. Well, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Did you reach her family? Did anyone try to contact Mila's family? Of course. The attending physician attempted to, but... He was unable to locate anyone. Couldn't find a soul, huh? Apparently. Her father used to come in once a month and check on her progress. He visits the, like, his visits were like clockwork. He came once a month for ten years, without fail, but... But for some reason, he never appeared after she woke up. There you go, you can have it for yourself for a while. I need to walk Benny, but I expect you to share cyber with me when I'm back. <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys. But for some reason, he never appeared after she woke up. Sounds like he picked a bad time to hang it up. Yes, perhaps. We tried several times to contact him, but... He never returned our calls. Oh, and the bills... The bills had all been paid in advance. No one ever came to see her besides her father. You may have no idea what has happened. You ever meet her old man? No, I just... I heard about it from the nurses and such. If only we could have digital with shades off. It looks weird. Look at that. I don't have eyes. I do not have eyeballs, Riker. It, it, look at that. It's not right. It, it ain't right. Actually, it's already not right. Let me, let me fix that. Even now, it's like, well... It actually looks kind of badass. Nah. It just, it just suits the, the shade so well. Right. Oh, and Mr. Hyde. No, you can have digital now, and I have it without filters later. Ha <laughs> ha. I just remembered something else, if you could spare a moment. Go ahead. Do you remember the first time we met this evening? When I thought I had heard your name before? I just remembered why. I don't know how I missed it, but... Well, anyway... Right before Mila woke up, she had a new visitor. Keep talking, Doc. Fair, I'm gonna play more Ragnarok. You have fun with Ragnarok. Ragnarok Online? Oh, God of War Ragnarok. I had a fucking, like... My my brain went, like, 20... Like, 15 years past. Just in, instantly. I, I just heard Ragnarok. I, I immediately thought Ragnarok Online. I, I, I just immediately saw all, all those merchants lying in the streets of the main town. His name, the name of that visitor was Kyle Hyde. Oh, you're kidding me. Huh? Oh, Avil, it was, a uh, Ragnarok Online was a, uh, it was a, it was a very popular online game back in the day. It was free, it was one of those free-to-play, um, online RPGs. 
It was it was very anime styled, and there were a lot of stuff. Kisses, y'all. We'll be back to annoy you in a bit. Oh, I can't wait. Can't wait. Have fun, Pan. Based off of Malga that you used to... Yes, it was. All those damage numbers were insane. Yeah, they really were. They were crazy. It got crazy. I... I love that one private server that got you at least to max level really fast so you could just focus on playing the game and not really so much on grinding. Oh, that was the time. Oh. It wasn't sarcasm. It wasn't. It was sincere, I promise. When we couldn't reach Mia's father, we thought... I mean, the hospital. They tried to notify this Hive fellow, but to no avail. So, Bradley was trying to contact her as me. Mr. Hyde, did you visit Mila before she woke up? It wasn't me. I see. Well, please keep an eye on her. And try to keep her from overdoing it. I can't imagine she has fully recovered her strength yet. Excuse me. Hey, Fenris Wolf, welcome in. Shout out to the Fenris Wolf. How have you been lately? I get it. I have a no spoilers tag and had to time out someone for trying to spoil her. Oh. I'm sorry, I wanted to pop in, but work plus no spoilers for myself ruined it. Yikes. Yeah, like, like you're going to see heavy spoilers. And no, I always figure the no spoilers tag is just don't nobody in chat give give spoilers away. Kevin leaves the lobby. But anything that happens before my point in the game is fair game. That's that's how I've always seen. I don't know if that's how it's how it's seen, but that's how I see it. So Kevin knew about Mila. And Mila came out of a coma six months ago. And somebody named Kyle Hyde visited her. Could that have been you, Bradley? So is she Bradley's kid? Secretly? No, no, because the I don't know, Pager, huh? Oh, it's no problem. It's no problem. At all. Maybe Ed's figured out something else. Oh, we got a call from Ed, huh? 1240. It's almost one. All right, let's go. We're going to the... We're going back to my room. I can't believe Donning game over us right out the door. I should have known. I should have known. Still the second worst room in this building. Somehow, Princess Lily actually got the worst room in the building. I was amazed. I really thought, I mean, she could have taken the suite. She really could have. She's got the money. It's not like she's poor. <laughs> like, I'm amazed she didn't take 111. Probably because it was so outrageously expensive. Guess I should give Ed a ring. Oh, dude, she... Well, she wanted a room away from everybody, too. Why didn't she take room 111? I'd. What's the good word? What, no Rachel? Everybody's gotta go home sometime. Listen, I just heard a little chestnut about Evans. You sitting down? Ten years ago, Robert Evans bought himself a little place called Hotel Dusk. Gotta war Ragnarok. I've, I've made sure to keep myself from anything and everything in the game, besides the trailers that came out early for it. Ah, that makes sense. I, I used to do that a lot. Robert Evans bought this hotel? Yeah, seems Evans bought the thing in 1969. Nice. He owned it for three years, then sold it to some mope for a song. So he sold it seven years ago. You must be tired, Hyde. You're repeating everything. Anyway, he sold it to Dunning Smith. You probably met him by now. I don't know what you found here, Hyde, but that place has a troubled history. Tell me. Dusk used to be a real party joint, but in 1969, it just shut down. You follow me? Means Evan shut the place down the moment he bought it. Now, why the hell would a guy do a thing like that? Who buys a business just to shut her down? Uh, whoever took over for that one Bitcoin company that went down. Oh, God. Oh, man. Did you guys see that? Holy shit. 
guy was having nerd orgies and it and it cost like the company 20 billion dollars i don't know how that happens how expensive does a nerd orgy have to be and why'd he sell it to dunning smith my thinking is that evans played smith and dumped the place but i don't know a lot of questions here hide the watercolor oh isn't it great isn't it great even when the characters are in color it's that it's that real faded watercolor it looks so good All I saw were the official trailers and the unboxing of the Jotun edition. Nice. I kept everything buried so it's all fresh. Very nice, Riker. Well done. Haven't been able to do that for a game since Black Ops 2. If I actually had a disposable income, I'd have loved getting that version. Oh, baby. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I'll stick with digital. You might not like where this night of sleuthing ends up. I'd get ready for a bad surprise. Thanks, Ed. What? Who's that? You got visitors at this hour? You're busier than I thought. Looks like it. Well, I'll leave you to it. Watch your back. Yeah, I'm saving. I'm saving. That's creeping me out. It's creeping me out. Creepy, creepy knock. You keep using the word. I don't think it means what you think it means. I don't think it means what you think it means. No, I'm creeped out. I'm creeped out. Creepy, creepy people knocking in the night. It was like a weird knock, too. Oh, boy. Let's see where it takes us. Yeah. Oh, thank God. It's just Rosa. Oh, Rosa. Now what? No, oh, Mr. Hyde. It's just terrible. Rosa, pull yourself together. What's going on? It's Mila. What about Mila? She hasn't come back. He came and took her and she hasn't come back. Mr. Smith came and took her away. Mr. Smith? Why did Dunning take the girl? Yes, I was trying to take Mila back to my room, you know. And then Mr. Smith just came out of nowhere. He told me to take Mila to the police first thing in the morning. But then I, I told him, oh, what a fool thing I did. I told him she could speak and that we knew why she had come here. Then he said there was no need to call the police at all. And then he said that he was going to have a little chat, and he took her away. Holy shit. Wait, he took her? Yes. Oh, what is going on? Where are they? Oh, my God. I was more frustrated trying to get my hands on the Jotun edition than on the PS5. I can imagine. Ragnarok already has an... Oh, shit. Already an update. Well, that makes sense. They, they, they move pretty quick with those updates. That was one I wanted, but couldn't bring myself to pay the scalpers. Oof. Ugh. I can imagine it's tough. I figured they went back to his room. But no one answers when I knock, and... What should I do, Mr. Hyde? Go back to your room and sit still. I'll go find him. All right, if you say so. Rosa turns and scurries off down the hall. Dunning and Mila are having a chat, huh? I guess I should try his room first. Yeah, that's fucking weird. That's fucking weird, Dunning. What the hell is he doing? I mean, doesn't uh, this guy knows that legally he could have just kicked my ass out at any time if he felt suspicious. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he just didn't feel suspicious. No, it's the right hallway. Get in there, get in there. Oh. No, no, no. Dunning's room is next to the office. There you go. Yo, hide. Huh? Oh, damn it. Louie. I just got done talking to Mama Sass, my man. Heard the boss man came and took your new friend away, yeah? That's cold, man. I was about to check his room. Better you than me, my brother, but I got your back if you need it. Otherwise, I'll swing around the hotel and see what I can find. Wait, Louie. What about the wine cellar? No, man, I ain't been there yet. Check it out. I'll swing by once I take a buzz through Dunning's room. Whatever you say, officer. I love how they're all banded together. Yeah, all this took place, like, it is... 
Like, less than 12 hours ago I checked in. It's so wild. All right, where is this bastard? If I had a guess, it's behind that door right there. Nobody here. Let's see what he left behind. I've been in here once before. Didn't find much. I love the American flag table. Really brings it out. Nobody answers when I knock. Knew it. Do it. Let's see what's inside. Dunning's bedroom, huh? There's a brochure on the desk. Another one. Oh, it's the old brochure. There's a hotel brochure on top of the desk. This brochure. This is the same brochure Mila was carrying. The one from ten years ago. Why would Dunning have one of these, too? Probably because he owns the hotel, Kyle. Maybe he has older brochures that were left behind. What's this? Something's written here. It's a sketch of a wine cellar. Some kind of symbol on Yeah, that's a circle. That's a circle. Kyle is getting tired. That is a circle, Kyle. Some kind of symbol. Look at this ancient hieroglyphics. I got the old brochure that was on the desk. Nice. Appeal of Osterzone. The date on the paper is 1972, seven years ago. The article reads, Osterzone's works, while smaller pieces, feature a distinctive expression. Light and shadow are used in a way beyond that of any other contemporary artist. Overflowing with a sensibility that is subtle yet bold, these canvases charm easily. They can also capture the purest essence of a thing in a single fleeting moment. Most notably, the work Angel Opening a Door is a masterpiece. It so opens ambiguities in the viewer's powers of imagination that even a layman can look. Nice 50 cent words, pal. I wonder if Summer wrote this. Now why would Dunning keep a newspaper article about Osterzone? That's it. That is interesting. He knows about it. He knows about it. He knows about the painting. There are a lot of newspaper clippings on the wall in front of the desk. There's some books stacked up on the desk. Nothing. Nothing important. I think we got everything here. Let's keep looking, though. I don't think it's over yet. Dunning's bed. Bet it's not as lumpy as the one in my room. Yeah, 215 is a terrible room. There's a shelf next to the bed. Nothing. Maybe that is all. Maybe that's it. Wait. Is that a window or a painting? That, that's a window. It's like got papers and shit all over it. Let's take a look at the bathroom. Just in case. Just in case. Let's see how clean the mirror is. Now there's a handsome devil. In the mirror? Kill it! Tub's clean enough to eat, to eat off of. That's gross height. Okay, tub's clean enough to eat off of. I, I could not read for a second. That's the cleanest toilet I've ever seen. Rosa must scrub in here, too. Okay, everything's clean. Let's go. I guess we're going to the cellar. Is that a hockey stick? I think it is. What's in here? There's got to be something here. I better give this place the shakedown while I have the chance. Okay, that's the exit door. I should have known that. I don't know why it was to the left. Let's take a closer look at this kid's picture. It's a picture. There's a little girl in this photo. Sure is. Anything else? Nothing behind it? Small shelf for knickknacks and crap. Yep. We got our knickknacks. We got our crap. Nothing weird about that. Let's see. Just looking around. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. That's a pretty big TV. Wish the one in my room was that big. Oh, we got some pictures. That's a photo of a couple of guys. Oh, we've already seen these. This is a picture of Dunning. Camera sure ain't kind to him. Damn it. Okay, this ain't nothing. It's, it's all in his room, isn't it? Let's go back in his room. Turn the knob. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 
Okay, wasn't anything in here. There's gotta be something else in, in this part. One of those giant wooden TVs. Yeah, back when big screens were really just big frames. It's a big bookshelf. Ah, here we go. There's something in the drawer. Happy birthday, Jennies. A lot of them. I've seen this card before. There was one just like it in the office. Happy birthday, Jenny. The cards are all addressed to Jenny. What does this mean? It's a birthday card with a picture of a bear on it. Cute. Okay, there isn't anything else. What about this one? Nothing in this drawer. It won't even show the last one, will it? Nope. Small work desk. Okay. Magazines and newspaper clippings on the wall next to the desk. Nothing in the bookshelf. Here we go. It's a picture of Dunning. It's a young and a young girl. Okay, we already know about the girl, so that's not a big deal. What are these? It looks like some kind of wood carving. Okay. I remember seeing one of those old wooden surrounds with a built-in CRT. And the old cloth speaker grills on the curb, and to this day, I kick myself for not grabbing it. Oh, man, right? I've seen stuff. Oh. I am sure I've seen some good Sony TVs on the curb that I should have grabbed. Okay, we're done there. That was it. Where Dunning and Mila? Probably in the wine cellar. What could that symbol written on the old brochure mean? I need to figure this out, and fast. Okay. Back to the lobby. I want to have the exact same birthday card for the past ten years. He bought him in bulk. He bought him in bulk. I guess he was going by Kyle Hyde? I'm confused. Well, it'll- we'll figure it out. Even if it was busted, just gutting and throwing an updated tube set up on an even more modern TV. Oh yeah, it would that would be fucking rad. That would be so cool. It's all good. It's all good. There was it was probably beyond repair. Where am I going? Pantry. Then kitchen. Then the the wine cellar. It's all coming together. I feel like chapter 10 may be just like an epilogue is what it's starting to feel like. I feel like there's not gonna be a whole lot after this. Could Mila and Dunning be here? Oh boy! Oh! Okay! Cool! Once I heard about the apple paintings from Rosa, I decided to have a look. There were five in all. Two on the first floor, three on the second. I found one of the second floor paintings in the hallway. And I found another one in my room. The last one on the second floor was in room 217. The last second floor apple painting was in room 217. I found five apple paintings in all. You sure did. He can count to five. I could count on one hand how many apple paintings there were. Each painting had a different letter hidden on it. I had Rosa open room 111 so I could look at the final painting. Then I rearranged the letters that I found in each of the paintings. I had to mix them up so they matched the number of apples in the paintings. When I finished, they spelled out the name Helen. They spent out the name they spelled out the name Kevin. That's right. They spelled the name Jenny. You'd be surprised most people don't have the technical know-how. That's true. That's true. I find a lot of broken things are usually just dirty things that you have to clean extensively. Midnight found that out when she fixed my PS. She just, on a whim, was like, I'm going to clean the old PS4. And I was like, okay. And it was the old PS4 with PT on it. We actually, I actually stream PT. And it's all thanks to Midnight. But, uh, yeah, she just, on a whim, she saw a video and she was like, I want to deep clean this PS4, see if it still works. And I was like, yeah, sure, but I think it was the cooling paste that went out. But I had some extra cooling paste from my 
from our new uh, cooling fan, and it just worked out. It, it's it runs way better. It's real loud, but it's an old. It's like one of the old fat PS2s. Not quite the uh, or not PS2s, but PS4s. It's like one of those first run PS4s. So it sounds like a fucking helicopter taking off, but it stays cool. Once I solved the puzzle, I went back to Mila and Rosa. I found Mila on the floor. Her breathing had stopped, so I had to give her mouth to mouth. When she came to, Mila was able to start talking. I grilled her for a bit and learned a few things. Like that she had been to this dump before with her father. An old beta tape player. Oh, nice. Betamax. That's fucking aces. I deep cleaned it and it still works. It just can't communicate with modern TVs. Nah, I can imagine not. And there's probably an adapter that'll help it. There is probably a way to fix that. When they came here, Mila was 33 years old. Nine years old. She was nine when they came here. She's 19 now. That's right. Mila was nine years old when she came here with her old man. And she's still mentally nine because she was in a coma for ten, for ten years after that. She made friends with a girl named Jenny. Guess the shock of seeing Jenny get abducted put Mila in a coma. Mila went under when she was just nine years old. And she was in that coma for a long time. Kevin told me he knew her from his time at the hospital, where she stayed. Yep, I've got a few myself. I've got a, I've got a composite HDMI. And the name of that hospital was... Nile. No, it was Robbins. Red Crown sounds more like a... Red Crown sounds more like a hospital name. That's it. She went to Robbins Memorial Hospital in Santa Monica. She only woke out of that coma six months ago. When Mila regained her voice, some of these mysteries started making sense. Then Ed called and told me about the hotel's previous owner. Seems Robert Evans bought the place ten years back and then dumped it on Dunning. Then Rosa showed and told me that Dunning had taken off with Mila. Dunning wasn't in his room, but I tossed the place anyway. I found something in his desk drawer. It was birthday cards, and lots of them. RCA to HDMI adapter is pretty cheap. Vice versa, that's true, Nate. Maybe not Nile, but they sounded like ice cream brands. You're not wrong. Especially like Reddings. That's right, I found a whole bunch of birthday cards. They were all addressed to Jenny. When I saw them all together like that, I figured it out. Jenny is the name of Dunning's daughter, the one Rosa told me about. How did Dunning and Evans tie together? What kind of shady dealings were they up to? Evans and Mila, Dunning and Jenny? Two men and their daughters. And what about the Kyle Hyde that would pay Mila a visit? Is that you, Bradley? Outside in the LA night, the worst side of humanity has license to roam. And here, inside this hotel, am I gonna find something that I don't want to see? I guess it doesn't matter. I'm getting close to the truth, Bradley. And to you. What the? Louie! No! Not Louie! Hey. What happened? No! Oh! If Louie die, all oh, right, I feel you. Yeah, no, Louis. Louis actually gotten really, really cool. Like I like, he really grows on you throughout the course of the game. Chapter ten. Okay, so it led me to one a.m. and then that other hour I was unconscious, so I woke up. Two a.m. to undetermined. Two a.m. to the credits, baby. Let's go, Mister Hyde. Mister Hyde. Mr. Hyde, wake up! Oh, what am I gonna do? You can't be... Are you dead? Am I dead? Land sakes, Mr. Hyde, get up! 
Ow. You're alive. Must be. Being dead wouldn't hurt this bad. Thank goodness. I'm so glad you're not dead. No, Louie will be fine. Scor scorched Earth. Scorched Earth. Move over, Duke. Doom Guide. John Wick. John McLean. John Redcorn. When he's mad. Are you do are you gonna be alright? Well, are you? Yeah, I I think so. Bobby Hill with his mighty foot. All of them got. I want to get online. I need a computer. Uh, uh, Johnny Mnemonic in need of a computer. That kind of intensity. That energy. That's killing me. I hear you, brother. Got me a whole 40-second street traffic jam blaring away. You gonna make it, Louie? Yeah, man, I'm breathing. But I got a knot on my noggin the size of a baseball. You and me both. I'm glad that's all it is. To come in here and find the two of you on the floor, my goodness. I near to fainted clean away. Yeah, what was what the fuck was what the fuck was Dunning thinking? Like, what was his plan here? Just knock ever just bonk everybody who comes in. We got thumped good, Rosa. Some dirtbag hit us from behind, yeah, Hyde? That's my take on it. I walked in here and saw Louie on the floor. He lives! Yeah, he's alive. He made it. When I went to check on him, somebody dry gulched me. I never saw it coming. Who would do such a thing? Uh, probably the uh, most wide-set character in the game. Didn't see a face. You didn't have to. How about you, Louie? You see who sapped you? Nah, man, all I saw was stars in the floor. I was checking out the shelves of the cellar when I got whacked. Ugh, can't believe how much this hurts, man. I know how you feel. Us and our big, big cartoon head bumps. Dry gulched. Yeah, I've never heard that either. Let me, let me look that up. Apparently it's a thing. To... Getting dry gulch was getting killed or, or, or getting killed from an ambush. So it's not a it's an exaggeration, but he said it right. Woman, these men have a concussion, right? Yeah, I think this is a bit heavier than a goose egg. Getting knocked out from a blow to the head is never a good thing. It is not like movies. It will you will probably need to go to the doctor. That's enough whining from both of you. Pull yourselves together and act like men. Mr. Hyde, Mila hasn't come back yet. She's still gone? Yes, and I'm as worried as can be. I can't believe any of this. Just when the girl starts to talk, she up and vanishes. Whoa, hold up, Mama says. Mila started talking? When this happened? I ain't heard squat about that. I just haven't spoken to you about it yet, Louis de no no. Same old song and dance. Nobody tells Louie nothing. So when did Mila start talking? Did she say anything about me, huh? Focus, Louie. You were in room 111. Rosa opened it so I could eyeball an apple painting. Apple painting? The one that you've been ho the one that you've been looking for? That's it. There are five of them in this joint. And each one's got a different letter of the alphabet in it. String all five of them together and they spell out a name. Jenny. Jenny? I don't know no Jenny. Jenny, that's... But that's the name of the girl Mila was talking about. Wasn't Rosa in there with us? <laughs> Rosa, pay attention. Yeah, it is. Whoa, whoa, slow down. I just got cracked upside the head, remember? Did Mila start talking while you was looking at the painting? No, it was after. I came out of the room and she had keeled over. What? She like fainted? For a fact, poor thing lost consciousness and then stopped breathing. Oh man, trip. But Mr. Hyde gave her mouth to mouth and saved her life. Mouth to mouth? Hyde, man, talk to me, brother. You're an idiot, Louie. <laughs> Once Mila came around, she started talking, and that's all there is to that. I think room 11 triggered something. What's that? She remembered coming to the dusk ten years ago with her father. 
You think that's true? Yeah, I do. Sounds like she was playing in Run 11 with this Jenny kid. Then somebody up and snatches the kid right in front of her. Ah, uh, get out of here. It took Mila back- I took Mila back to my room and Mr. Smith showed up. He told me to take Mila to the police in the morning. Well, I told him that Mila could talk. And that we didn't need the police's help. Mr. Dunning's eyes got as wide as hotcakes and he said he had to talk to her. Wait, so he took Mila. Man, this is trippy. But I think I follow you so far. There's more. Kevin Woodward knows Mila. Melissa's pops? Woodward's a doctor down at Robbins Memorial Hospital. Mila was a patient there for a long time. You did not tell me any of this, Mr. Hyde. Is the poor girl sick? Not exactly. She was in a coma for 10 years. Oh my stars. Then six months ago, she wakes up. Woodward says it was a total surprise. And now my melon's really aching. You can't make up crap this weird. Apparently you can. This guy did. Whoever wrote this did. What a genius. I love this guy. Let me make sure I follow. Mila was here 10 years ago. Yeah, I dig that. But then she goes under for 10 years. That's crazy. Gets crazier. Woodward told me Mila's old man used to visit her once a month. Nice guy, right? But right before she opens her eyes and rejoins the world. Her old man vanishes. No one's heard from him. Oh, that poor man. It's possible he doesn't even know what she... He doesn't even know that she recovered. Possible. And that's why Mila's trying to find him. Yo, Hyde, you sure we ain't still knocked out? This is the freakiest story I ever heard. You better sit down then, Louie, because I ain't done. Right before Mila came around, she got a new visitor. Wasn't her old man, neither. It was somebody using the name Kyle Hyde. Alright, that's enough. You gotta be kidding me, right? Because if that's true, then you know who was at the hospital. I know. The whole thing blows my mind, man. Mr. Hyde, I'm awfully worried about Mila. We have to hurry and find where she is and where she and Mr. Smith have gotten to. Yeah, I know. But we also have to check out this wine cellar. Should be right here. This is where the map said, right? Let's give it a save. Just in case it makes me run through all that again. Cause it can. It might. It's possible. I don't know how these checkpoints work. We got lucky with that one. But only because they knew it was bullshit. They knew that was bullshit. got some wine bottles. We got some individual wine bottles. Let's try this. Alcohol is leaking out of a crack in the bottle. What a terrible waste. Alcohol is leaking out of a crack in the bottle. What a terrible waste. Okay. It's a case of whiskey. Oh, hello. There are whiskey bottles in this case. There are three bottles in here. <clears throat> Take a sip real fast. Because my esophagus is turning into a dry gulch. Man, holy shit. There's nothing in these boxes. It's a box. Name of a booze company written on it. Wasn't there, wasn't there that, that brand of scotch in Dunning's room? Let's look around some more. Let's do a little more looking. We, st we got all these bottles, too. Oh, here we go. There's a whiskey bottle on top of the shelf. This whiskey. It's the same stuff that was in the case on the back shelf. This bottle's only half full. Just maybe. I pick up a half full whiskey bottle. Do I have to pour the other half full whiskey bottle from Dunning's room into this? No, no, I'm not going to overthink it. I'm just going to put it in here. Why would it point out that it's half full? Okay, let's just look at it. Let's see what's up. I think I figured this out. Instantly. Maybe something in the back of my mind remembered. I don't know. I 
think I'll put this whiskey bottle in one of the open spaces in the case. Hmm. What's wrong? Something about that whiskey bottle seems odd to me. Like what? Oh, I do. It's just a whiskey bottle, not a thing odd about it. Trust me on this one. I know why whiskey. Spare me your expertise, Louie. If you if I say something's odd, it's odd. Why is there a half-full bottle of whiskey in the wine cellar? If you're going to open a bottle, why wouldn't you put it in the bar? Wait, Louie, have you been down here drinking on the sly? What? Come on, Mama Sass, give me a break. Wait, it has to be a total of being out that long, even just academically. How do you even catch up? Oh, what, nine years? Freedom, I know what you mean. I mean... I mean, she wasn't exactly in good shape when we found her either. She wasn't talking. I'm, I mean, I'm sure she's still mentally nine years old. It's it's actually really, really tragic. This key bottle I just put in the case is still there. Better grab it. I'm gonna have to fill this up, aren't I? I'm gonna need to find a funnel or something. Maybe. Maybe I can just pour it in. Maybe I'm just that good. Maybe I'm just that good at drinking. I don't know how good... We're gonna test... There may be a clue in the wine cellar. Okay, I'm not done yet. Okay, cool. I better check it out. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Let's check this one. Oh, hello. There's another whiskey bottle on top of the shelf. This whiskey. Same stuff that was in the case on the back shelf. We'll take it. I'm gonna have to put the other one back, aren't I? Or I'm supposed to keep... The oh, God. Okay. Let's try this. I don't... I, I'm not... I'm not thinking this is it. Yeah, there's no way I can put that back. Okay, so I'm gonna have to put this whiskey in here. And I'm supposed to take the full whiskey. And then I'm supposed to take this... Oh, God. What a... What a okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Kind of a pain, but let's go for it. Yeah, that did nothing. I feel like there's a, a weight, a, a pressure sensitive uh, switch that's on. And that's what's keeping it. Because this is a secret passage. We got that from the uh, strange circular symbol above the, uh, on the map. Whiskey bottle on top of the shelf. This whiskey. Same stuff that was in the case on the back shelf. This bottle's only half full. It's the same as that other bottle I found. Pick up a half full. Okay, so they're both half full. That's great. Now let's look for a funnel or something. There's a rolled up newspaper in this box. A stack of dirty wooden boxes. A box with a simple label. Okay, some, there's got to be a funnel in one of these. A pile of boxes. Maybe I can build a fort later. This box is full of tattered paper. Thrilling. This box is partly crushed, and the bottom is bulging out. It's a box of liqueur. Labels in some fancy language I can't read. Let's let's just try it. Let's just try it. I don't want to look at every single box on here. There's a box on the shelf. Hides observations. Yeah, he, he knows his liquor. I'll pour one more bottle of whiskey into a bottle in the case. Perfect. Didn't spill a drop. You can tell that this was going to be a puzzle, and it was probably based on tilting the DS, and you know they couldn't quite figure it out. So they just said, fuck it. Now I'll put it back in the case, and... Huh? What was that sound? That felt like it should have been a puzzle. It really, really did. Okay. Huh? Whoa! Thought so. Whoa. Oh my stars. What's going on? Crap, hide. There's stairs behind this shelf. Yeah, there sure is. Ooh, spooky. 
There was that one gentleman who was suspected of being a vegetable for years in his childhood, and one doctor finally figured out that he was cognizant. He just couldn't speak or move. Oh. Oh, he had locked-in syndrome. That sucks. Oh, freedom. If there is one huge fear I have, it's getting locked-in syndrome. Not being able to do anything. And it sounded like he had, uh... It sounded like he had total locked-in syndrome. Normally locked-in syndrome, you couldn't move anything but your eyes. And you could only move them up and down. And your eyelids, you could blink. But total locked-in... Yeah, he had a TED Talk, I can imagine. Oh, God, that's fascinating. Horrifying. Glad he's out of it. Yeah, this is why we got cooled, Louis. Somebody didn't want us finding this. Oh, man. Did you know this place had a basement? I had no idea. The only one who ever comes down here is Mr. Smith. Dunning, you bastard. Do you think that he... Yeah, I do. Go get him. So what next, Hyde? What do you think? I'm gonna follow the rabbit down the hole. Not by yourself, you ain't. I'm going too. No, you stay here with Rosa. No way, man. No damn way. I'm going with you. You'll do what I tell you to do. And I'm not telling you to wait here. Give me one good reason. I need backup. I don't know what's down there. If something happens, you're gonna have to come haul my ass out of the fire. And I'll see that he stays put, Mr. Hyde. If you're not back in an hour, I'll send Louie after you. For what's for what good that'll do. Yeah, alright, Hyde. Be careful, brother. We're going in. Probably should have saved. Whoops. Okay, we're going in. Martin Pistorius, that's fuck. He literally lived the nightmare. How many years was he, uh, since in his childhood? How many years was it? Until he woke up. Who knew there was a place like this under the hotel? Oh, that's some climactic music. Let's see here. I've only seen that one other time. That weird little glitch you just saw. And it was when I closed it last for a puzzle. Twelve years. Jesus. Crazy. There's a little door here. There's a little thing here. Look at that. Okay, he, he can't see it yet, so I'm trying- I'm doing the door I can't see. Just open it. I moved the bar out of the way. No need to knock. I'm not in a knocking mood. Oh, it happened when he was 12. Okay. Shelves, huh? Those look interesting. Well, at least he got his childhood. Oh, man, he missed his... He, he pretty much missed his teenage years. Have a great night heading out. Get, you get some sleep, Fenris. Thank you for coming in. As always, go check out Fenris Wolf if you haven't yet. Just hit that follow button. It's going to pop up. Let's see. Sorry, let me, uh, let me get my brain straight a little bit. All right, going back in. We got a computer? Is that like an old Tandy? Huh? Footsteps. What the? I heard someone bar the door. Damn, I think that thing's are airtight. The door's been closed from the outside. That fucker, he's trying to kill me. I better figure out a way out of this. Fast, or I'm a goner. Oh, fuck. There's got to be a way out. There's got to be a way out. There's a book on the shelf. It's called Life Trivia. I, I don't know why this is important. Household hints. This ain't trivia. It's some kind of random folk wisdom collection. How to sharpen cutlery, huh? It should be fascinating. 
It's common practice to use whetstones or crock sticks to sharpen blades. But did you know you can also use aluminum foil? You can. You can sharpen scissors that way. It's really cool. Instructions. Take the blade you wish to sharpen and use it to cut up some aluminum foil. You'll be shocked at how sharp the blade becomes. 101 uses for pencil lead. This is the dumbest book ever. Pencil lead is great and it's actually graphite mixed with clay, but it's still great. It can be used to lubricate and increase the conductivity of electrical contacts. Just grind the pencil lead into powder and sprinkle it on electrical contact points. Sounds simple enough. That's good to know, that's good to know, that's good to know. Oh, I gotta get out of here. There's some dust-covered books on the shelf. Guess no one reads around here. The title on the spine says, Osterzone, the Phantom Painter. This is all about the discovery of Osterzone's works. It was published in 1963, and it was written by... Robert Evans. Picked up a book on Osterzone. Hold it. There's something stuck in between the pages. Ew! It's a photo. That's the little girl I saw in the photo from Dunning's room. Oh yeah, it, it is fantastic. That must be Dunning and Jenning. Especially considering I'm slowly suffocating to death myself and need to exhale. I got a photo of Dunning. There's a date written on the back of the photo. May 18th, 1967. 518. Funny that he said 518. I think I got ahead of myself a little. Okay, okay, let's 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 not fuck around. We gotta we gotta get this done quick. There's a machine with a monitor and a keyboard on the table. There's a switch on the right side of the machine. What's this thing supposed to be? Might as well turn it on and hope it doesn't blow up. Huh? Nothing happened. That's odd. Okay, so it's it, it goes on, but it doesn't stay on. Could be something. Ah, here we go. This cable's attached to the machine on the table. I wonder if this is plugged in all the way. The machine on the table's plugged into the socket. It's plugged in, but... Doesn't look like it's making enough contact. That means it's not going to conduct electricity. Yep, I gotta use pencil lead somehow. It's paper with some weird ink on it. How can I read this? <sighs> Maybe it's one of the... <sighs> no? Is it one of these where I have to, like, close the... Yeah, right? No, oh, yeah, no, it's very convenient. Very convenient. Ah, here we go. There's something in the drawer. These scissors are dull. I couldn't cut hot butter with these things. Found a file. The scissors are dull. No! Stop, stop saying that. I need some foil. Try the other one. Crap. It's getting hard to breathe. No, don't say that. Something in the drawer. Come on, baby. There's a lockbox in the drawer. Five... What, what, what was it? 518? I think so. Or 517. There we go. It was 518. Nice. I'm getting fast. I gotta go fast. I'm gonna die. There's an old envelope inside the lockbox. The letter's addressed to Dunning Smith. Sender's name isn't anywhere on the envelope. This is your last job. Finish it and you're free. I won't ask anything further of you. However, our secret must never be revealed. Keep silent. And I promise that Jenny will one day be returned to you. So he's a stooge. Go back to Hotel Dusk. Be patient. September 9th, 1972, Robert Evans. Evans sent this letter to Dunning seven years ago. 
That's the same time Evans closed up his gallery and disappeared. Our secret must never be revealed. What do these letters at the end mean? I wonder if it's some kind of code. Got a letter from Evans. I think I'm fucking up. I think I'm fucking up. I think I'm fucking up, guys. I need to- I need to air! I need air! These people need the air! I need the air! Open the box! I got a hammer. Hey, look, a hammer. I love hammers. Great. Never turn down a hammer. Who knows when I'll need to thump somebody. Okay, okay, check the door. Check the door. There ain't no fuck. No, nope. there ain't no fixing that. Door won't open. Okay, don't fuck around too much. I need the... Wait, can I use the pencil on the... Let's do that. Let's let's use the pencil on the plug. Oh, God, it's getting harder to breathe. I am literally getting claustrophobia. Yeah, it's about how many things I click. Yeah, I, I'm getting that feeling. I am getting that feeling. Let's try using the pencils. Let's try using the pencil. Do I have my pencil? Pencil. Try using it on the plug. You need to wear using this right now. My problem is... I'm thinking you're right. I think it does depend on what I click on. He was unconscious for three years. Regain consciousness by 16. Fully conscious by 19. It wasn't around until age 25 that he was officially declared aware and responsible. Jesus. Something in the drawer. Wait a minute. Use the pencil on the file. Yeah, I can use this to sharpen my pencil, and... Oh, thank God. Maybe it's too late, though. It's hard to say. God, how much of this do you need? Oh, what? People just hating Barney and somebody getting killed over it? I, 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 I saw the trailer for it. It wasn't until it's age 29 that he was... If I remember correctly from the TED Talk, he said he experienced abuse from some of the medical... Oh, fuck. And was forced to watch reruns of Barney. Jesus Christ. How horrible. Party's over. I'm here to claim my civil rights. All right. All right. That's fair. That's fair. You know what? You earned it. You earned it. Welcome back. How was, uh, how was the walk? Got some graphite powder, but am I gonna die? This should improve the contacts on that plug. Yes! Graphite. Get it. First, pull the plug out of the socket and... Sprinkle some of this graphite powder on it. That should do it. Oh, thank goodness. Absolutely. I'm sure it's freezing. It's really cold here, too. Oh, God, right? It is, it is anxious. It is... It is very anxious. I get it. I get it. It's a substitution cipher. 1979, Freedom. What's this thing supposed to be? What's that number above the switch supposed to mean? I know what it is. I just enjoyed a wonderful internet outage. I'm onto you, Pan. And I'm telling you, Pan's magic. Alien, yeah, the year Alien released. Okay. 
Do I not have evidence? I don't. Shit. Shit. Oh, man. That was a waste of moves. And, uh, stuff. I am so... Yeah, I am very fucking... Gonna get anywhere using this right now. I just want to take a look at Evans's letter. That's it. <sighs> I'm getting dizzy. No! I'm almost there. I'm almost there. No, don't look at the table. Oh, you idiot. Oh, no shit. Yeah, it was a way different thing. How can I read this? Are you literally going to let this happen, Cyber? What? Yeah. Yeah, it's the rules. <laughs> Maybe I do blow on it. <laughs> nope. Okay. Shit. Do I, have to f do I have to flip it around? Nope. Wow, you can almost see it. You can almost see it. Almost see it, Avil. What are you talking about? What do you mean I- What are you almost seeing? There's like a yellow glow? Oh, I kinda can! No, I can see it. Yeah, oh, there is. It's like an 18 or something. It's an 18. I think it's an 18. But I still need to, like, I still need to, like, remember what it said. More graphite, maybe? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Okay, use the, uh... What can I use? Do I have any more, uh... Use the hammer on the... Yes, use the hammer on the thing. This is the final boss, I'm pretty sure. Bradley's lighter, maybe? No, don't burn the table. I'm not gonna get anywhere using this right now. Oh, fuck. Oh, man, I don't... I don't have any clue. Shit, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I heard it. Uh I'm not sure. I'm just not sure. Wait, oh no, I no Riker. No, I'm I I was late, so I'm giving this to her. I'm giving this to her, Riker. Um I was thinking I was just trying to I was just trying to think. I, I don't have very many moves in which to think. I'm running out of rooms. I'm, I'm running out of moves. What do you guys think? It's my turn. It is. Be nice. Um, pliers, crowbar. We had an agreement. Article on ostracism. Book on ostracism. Letter from Evans, maybe? Use it. Use it. Use the letter on the... Oh crap, I can't. Wait a minute. What black light? There's a black light? Okay. That's that's all I needed. I need to find a black light, huh? I mean I it said 18. But yeah, let's look around. I'm a little panicked. Boxes are so dirty they've changed colors. If I die. Oh no, I'm dead! Gotta get out. Ah! I didn't make it! Black light? What what black light? I think I'm gonna die in hotel dusk. Damn, I hate this place, damn. Uh, yep, I died. I just straight died. What black light, Avil? No, I didn't I didn't have a black light. I know it's an 18, but.
Pan, don't be mean. Don't don't be mean to the viewers, Pan. Well, hell, I'm locked in. I'm screwed. I might actually be screwed. Let's see. Let's see. I may have a black light and not not know it. Don't be mean, Pan. <laughs> No fighting in the chat. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just talking. I'm just talking shit. I don't know. Don't tell me I'm soft locked. I mean, I'm not. There's a. I can load at some point. Maybe it really didn't matter. Okay, well we know what to do now. Kind of. Let me let me look at these a little more. Oh, here we go. Footsteps. Yep. He barred the door. Oh, it looks like I'm not soft locked. Okay. So I am now. I'm locked in, but apparently I could get out before I win it. It doesn't matter. We'll see if we can't get it. Nothing ri interesting written here. Okay, so that was nothing. We know not to do that now. It looks like you could just guess it too. Oh, okay, cool. I mean, it was... It looks like an 18. It looks like an 18. Oh my god, you guys are... No fighting in the chat. That's all I'm saying. Okay, little girl... Man, you don't have a lot either. That sucks. Dave, written on the back of the photo. May 18. Yep, and that's 518. That's what we need. I'm guessing I don't have to worry about opening the door so much as solving all the puzzles. No fights. No fights. Don't make me... Don't make me... I don't know. Don't make me put you both in a corner. 101 users for... Yep. Okay, we gotta read all this. I've already read all this, so I'm not reading it again. 12, don't encourage them. They'll do it. They'll fight. Old man fight. Let's go. Old man fight. You did, you did nothing, Riker. <laughs> Missing the chance to use the word lubricate? Am I really? It's okay. It's alright. I'll, I'll have plenty of chance. I'll have plenty of chances to loop up. I promise. I'm gonna get anywhere using this right now. Oh, no. Oh, damn. I hate when the character... I hate when the character's dumber than I am. It wouldn't let me use the pencil on the... Gra it wouldn't let me get graphite without knowing it. I'm picking on both of you. I pick on everyone equally. Okay, cool. Dumbass. Oh, yep. Oh, starting to get hard to breathe. I hate it. it bothers me. I picked the wrong thing anyway. Go to a Dunning pencil. That's good. What about the... Do I have any aluminum? Okay, first thing I'm gonna do, as soon as I do that 518 thing, I gotta do this. Let's go extra hard. I think I'm used to this. You don't have to destroy the pencil, Kyle. Should be enough. I'm gonna take a, uh... This should improve the context on that plug. Cool, 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 cool. Improve the... Yep, fix that club. 
or the plug it's plugged in but it doesn't look like it's making enough contact that means it's not going to conduct electricity oh damn it don't look at it stupid you idiot I didn't mean to do that pencil shavings come on baby god you gotta be so careful with this bit I love how peaceful this music is. You could tell they were trying to let the, you could tell they were trying to ease the pressure a little. It's so weird. Yeah, I just never got it. I just it just never happened. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to read this carefully. Five eighteen. I'm going to take a screenshot of this is what I'm going to do. See if that'll work. Old envelope in the lockbox. Letters addressed to Dunning Smith. Sender's name is nowhere on the envelope. Okay, we got... We, okay, we got the words. We got the words. We got it. I just took a screenshot. What the fuck happened? Give me a second. Oh, God. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, Jesus. The whole thing just decided to just fucking maximize on me. Give me a second. Give me a second. Let me, let me, let me fix this. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that ain't good. Wait, I think I... Oh, I got it. Oh, thank goodness. All right, baby. Yeah, that should work. I think it's a little too hard, but... It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I don't know what happened there. I was just clicking too fast. Everything went crazy. I think I fixed it, though. Evan sent this letter Dunning 70. Yep. That's the same time Evans closed up his gallery and disappeared. I think I got it exactly. Nice. same time Evans closed up his gallery and disappeared. Oh, I didn't read it. It doesn't show the whole letter, but it does show that cipher down there. Our secret must never be revealed. What do these letters at the end mean? I wonder if it's some kind of code. It was, uh, whoever it was Robert Evans telling Dunning to buy the hotel dusk and to wait, basically. That it was all part of this mission. Okay, I got the picture, though. I got the screenshot, so now I just have to type it in. It was 18. And if it's not 18, it's 19. Now we're just got to type this in. Let's see. W-A-B-M. W-A-B-M-Z-H-W-Z-H-W. V M space Q A space L. No, I can just hit enter here. Enter L C V V Q V O a U O space A U Q B P Q B P Oster Zone is Dunning Smith. Oster Zone is Dunning Smith. What? Oster Zone is Dunning Smith. Well, holy crap. This thing's some sort of code breaker. And this is the secret. That was never to be revealed. Huh? Who's there? Yo, hide. You in here? Get- Open the damn door! Louie, it's me! I'm locked in. Yeah, I dig. I'm gonna open the door, man.
I mean, I could have brute forced it too, just gone up and down. But yeah, no, it was, uh... Who said, uh... Wait a minute, let's go back, let's go back. Yeah, no, thank you, Abel, and thank you... Who said that? Who, who told me that, uh... You could see the yellow on it, because that's when I saw the 18. It was really weird, I had to really focus. But, I got it. Holy shit, thank you guys. Thanks, chat. Yo, hide. You all right? Yeah, I think so. I was getting worried, so I came to check up on you. Good thing, too. Looks like you needed my help after all, yeah? Yeah. So, how'd you get locked in? The door was open when I came down here. Thanks, everybody. Well, let me see. Nah, never mind, never mind. It, it's no big deal. Thank you, thank you. I was poking around when somebody shut the door from the outside. Ah, oh, trip. So where'd the mystery door closer go, huh? And come through the hall, man. It's gotta be that secret door behind us. It's got- look, we're looking right at it. Right at it. It's still not wanting me to look at- There is a doorknob right there! I can see it, game. I can see that. I guess we're moving on. I'm saving first. Holy shit, that was brutal. Do I have the hammer? Tell me I got the hammer first. Items. Tell me I got the hammer. Oh no! I need the hammer. I need to go back in there. Oh god, if I fuck it, if it won't let me, then I'm screwed. I think I need that hammer. Wait, I think I can go back in. We're good. We're good. This game, this game is an ass. It doesn't soft lock you. There's a toolbox under the table. Yeah, because we'll have to go back and use the uh, scissors to sharpen something. We'll have to go back in here at some point. Never turn down a hammer. Who knows when I'll need to thump somebody. It's probably what you got thumped with. The background's wigging out on me. Yeah, it does that when it's, uh... Now both you and Louie are stuck. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Can I just use the... Nope, I guess not. I think we're good now. I think we're okay. Oh... Okay, talk to talk to talk to Rosa. Anybody pass you by? Did somebody come through here? No, why? Did something happen? Hmm. Okay. Nobody passed by. Maybe now we'll be able to see it. I'll have to break it down with a hammer. Damn, I tried clicking the uh, I tried clicking the door anyway. Let's see if we use the, uh, yeah, the background's kind of wigging out on that left side. It's because I closed the DS. Yeah, it looks terrible. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix that now. I'm gonna save. Is that the only secret door? That's a good question. Yeah, if he got whacked with a hammer, by all intents and purposes, they both should have been literally whacked. They both should have been killed. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and... I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and quit the game. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna reset just to make that look better. That way that should take care of that little problem. Otherwise, uh otherwise it's just gonna look weird and annoying, and I'm probably gonna have to read items. Now I want secret basement, right? Everybody should have a, a secret basement. I always love the concept of a home with a secret passage. Oh, absolutely. Well, you say that, but when you're, rooming, when you're moving into a new house, the creepiest thing you can find is the secret passage. If it's your own that you built yourself, that's its own thing. That would be what I'd want to do. Let's look around. There may be a secret somewhere.
They're still the scissors. Let's see if we can pick them up. They're dull, but they don't have to be. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, like, you never know what's in the secret room when you find it. It could be bodies. It could be bones. Skeletons could, could be awaiting. He doesn't want the scissors at all. Okay, we got the, we got the, what? What? Oh, this is, this is bad. This could be a glitch. Oh, no, I'm looking at the, am I? What are you talking about, Kyle? Kyle, what are you talking about? I'm not messing with that. I am not messing with that. I'm getting out of here. I hope we're not soft locked. Oh shit, here we go. Huh? What's that? You hear that? What? Hey, check it out. The bricks from the wall. Finally. Oh, thank goodness. Hey, Pooks. Yeah, I'm still going. You can find a mysterious battle. Kyle has the memory of a fish. <laughs> right? Yeah, some of them have fallen. But why are they... Okay, here we go. Hey, Rig. New favorite game. Oh, no. It's an old favorite game, really. Welcome in, Rig. And we're actually near the end, too. Just another brick in the wall. The stream is going fantastic, Pooks. Also, shout out to Pooks105. How you doing, my buddy? Hope you're having a blast. I'm enjoying it. I am enjoying it. Everybody seems to be. I can see where the bricks have fallen off the wall. I can see the wall through the gra gaps in the bricks. There's a secret passage. These bricks look like they've been put up recently. Maybe we can... Yeah, something's there. Let's, let's beat the crap out of it with a hammer. No, that's not it. What are you talking about? What? This isn't working. I need a tool with some heft. I have a tool with some heft. Oh, okay. I got to use the hammer to do it. Got it. Boom. How have you been, Rig? Have you, have you found a new favorite game lately? Just got done playing some prop and seek. Probably going to go into work for a while. Oh, nice. Absolutely. There we go. Here we go. Let's see if we can't like... Yeah, baby. There we go. There we go. There we go. Ah, oh, this is great. Knock him out. Knock him out. There we go. We found it. No, but I'm looking at random games right now for streams. Can, right? It is so hard to decide. I don't know what I'm going to play after this. It's called Hotel Dusk. I'm thinking maybe Dusk. I don't know. Just play this rig. Yeah, yeah. Avil will fucking... Avil will be all over you playing this from now on. There's a door back here. Although you are going to get spoiled. We're right at the end. <laughs> I saw the puzzles already. Let's knock. Nobody's in. I was polite. I did knock. We were just talking about secret rooms. Oh, I will. I will. Not not next, though. 12%. I might give it a break. I don't want to just do adventure games. I want to do some other things. I might play something short and then come right back to it. Riggs chat would absolutely despise this. You're not wrong, Adam. You are definitely not wrong. I, I actually took a risk playing this. Yo, what's that smell, man? Somebody's been painting in here? Yeah, Dunning. Yeah, Dunning. Huh? You're trying to tell me old man Dunning paints? Yeah, definitely mute the stream if you don't want spoilers, because we are in it right now. They hate everything I play, though. You're not wrong. You ain't wrong. You're not wrong, Rick. They do. And you play great games. They're just messing with you. They wouldn't be there if they, they would not be there if they didn't enjoy it. You're tripping, Hyde. Dunning's the one who painted all the apples, Louie. Nah, they're just there to bully you. Let's be honest. I think the fumes is getting to me. I thought you said Dunning painted apples. You heard right. Now keep listening. Dunning's got a daughter. He hasn't seen in years. Her name's Jenny. 
Jenny. That's the name of the girl who was kidnapped from room 111 10 years ago. Yeah, and it's the name that them apple painting le- It's the name what them apple painting letters spell out too. Yeah, but here's something I learned in the basement. Dunning knew Evans before he took over this hotel. Wait, Evans? That's Mila's pops, yeah? You sure about all this? Hard to believe Dunning and Mila's pops were pals. I was in another stream the other night. They were running through some names to raid. They mentioned you were playing this. I had to stop by. Good thing you risked it. Yeah, absolutely. See, it's always going to take a weird risk. I'm glad I risked it too. No, this has gone way better than I expected. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. It's a... I mean, it is a good game. There's a lot of soul in this game. I'm sure. They knew each other. It's a good adventure game. We'll, we'll put it that way. Is it a good... Is it a good dungeon crawler? Not really. But it's a great adventure game. Yeah. Even the puzzles. The puzzles are very, like, stone-cold logic. There are some good ones. They knew each other, and they shared a secret they'd die before revealing. That's a heavy secret, man. Man. Okay. That's a heavy secret, man. But you know it, yep. Pan, I know what you were trying to do. I'll, I'm turning it off anyway. But you know it, yeah? Come on, brother, let me hear it. I know the angel painting Bradley stole from... Ni you know the angel painting Bradley stole from Niles' warehouse? Dunning painted it. What? You're crazy. That don't make no damn sense. It is crazy cold, yeah. I'm wearing my winter socks, Av Avil. It's happening. Listen, Louie. How cold is it over on Retro Island? The proof is in this room. Hi, Pooks. Have a chilly day. Yeah. Enjoy enjoy the chill. It is hit. The proof is in this room. I'm sure of it. Help me find it. Rick has his oscillating fan on. I got one of those. It's not on now, though. Actually put my heater in my office. Oh, shit. Here we go. Oh, we got the paintings. We got the painting room. Now, I was expected to find bodies. Paintings is a little bit more pleasant. It's a huge seat of canvas. Looks old as fuck, too. One side of the canvas is covered in white. Titanium white. This painting is... Painting? You're calling this a painting? What is it, white cat in a snowstorm? Got him. Got him. Lewis got him. I tell you, man. I don't get this whole art thing. This paint is real thick. What's going on here? We need some paint thinner. There's yellow paint in the can. There's paint in the bottom of this bucket. Okay, we got green paint, yellow paint, and uh, purple, blue paint. Maybe purple. Blue paint and yellow. We don't need that yet, though, do we? We need some paint thinner. I want to see what's going on behind this canvas. I guess no one used it for a while. It's like layers of fear, yeah. At least you could take your time here and breathe. Ain't that the truth? Yeah, the uh, the slowly suffocating to death puzzle was wonderful. That was fantastic. It wasn't tense at all. Ooh, palette knife. We are going full Bob Ross here. Hey, look, it's uh, whatever these things are called. Palette knife, is that it? I picked up a palette knife. Nice, good job. Anything else? A spray bottle of turpentine. That's a good, that's some good shit. Better keep this out of my <laughs> Better keep this out of my eyes. At least he's got his priorities straight. Paint him like one of them French girls. I saw something in Riggs Discord. It was great. I don't know who, I, I, I don't remember who put it up, but it was, uh, somebody deep faked Arnold Schwarzenegger's face on, uh, on Rose, and it was her telling him, and it, it was her telling him that she she wanted to wanted him to draw her wearing the necklace. The thing is, the Arnold impression was fucking on point. It was it was conversational Arnold too. It wasn't just you know the, the, the it wasn't that. It was like it was crazy. It was hilarious. No, watch it. It is watch it to the it'll hurt, but watch it to the end. It's amazing. I'll see if I can't steal it and uh, throw it on mine, too. 
it's it is definitely worth it or just join rigs chat or er, rigs discord it should be up there like oh man let's see well we got we got a palette knife let's let's poke it in something let's poke it in some yellow or something not gonna get anywhere using this right now okay he's not into it he's not into it we can take our time let's take our time and breathe we can breathe breathing wasn't an option before let's see what's here i love that this game has dead ends like it does have like like yes this is fully rendered but you don't need any of this sketch of a woman on the back of this canvas charcoal drawing of a building on the back of this one. Oh god they each have something don't they blank more blanks okay this is the blank this is the blank box let's see go up go in go down I'm changing that to five minutes let's see let's see let's see it's a cardboard box filled with paint. And that goes for the digital analog, too. Let's see here. About half of the paint's been used. Yeah, but what am I supposed to do? I have the palette knife. I know I need to use the turpentine. But it's not letting me. Not yet, at least. We need to find something. We need. I, I need to look at this uh, white paint a little harder. I actually found the porno box art that was a spoof of the... The, oh, the penetrator. Yeah, that's a that's a real classic porno. I remember hearing about that. I always thought they missed an opportunity not calling it the sperminator, but you know. I think everybody did. I think that was like the meme was they gave it the wrong name. There's a date on the back of this painting. That's great. I'm glad you noticed. All kinds of cover colors. Yep. There's colors. There's paint. There's paint and cans. I know this. I gotta find a way to get the turpentine onto the canvas. Slowly, the game is driving Cyber insane. Oh yeah, no, it's fine. I'm already completely insane. I've already, I'm already gone. I've been gone for a good while. It's a cardboard box filled with paint. Yep, it's filled with paint. It's just full to the brim with like dry rubbery paint. An old bottle filled with paint. I didn't know paint came in bottle. How could she? I knew that. I, I am the son of an artist, though. Just grab the turpentine, Alpha. Just, just grab the turpentine. Use the turpent. Use the pallet life on the turpentine. Oh, I hate when I have a solution, but the character doesn't. It's like one of my pet peeves. I'll, I'll give it a pass. Like this game is fantastic. Drink the turpentine. Get it right. Just, just spray it right in your eyeballs. Rest in pieces. Oh, let's see, let's see. Don't get frustrated, Alpha. Don't get mad. It's a long piece of canvas. Sure is. A uh, palette knife on the. Let's see if we can scrape it. If you do Here goes nothing. Thing, thank goodness. And you do it right, and you don't fuck it up, it works. We got it, guys. It just works. We got it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yo, man, what you gonna do with that? He's got to try to do it like this, and then I got to get the turpentine. Or maybe he's just going for it, hell. It, it looks like the bookmark. It's the angel painting. We found the angel, guys. She's got a key. This would have been so much. Oh, I'm glad I didn't put pour any turpentine on this. Actually, this is uh, this is how you do it. All right, all right. I'll put this. I'll put the shades on. I'll put the shades on. Just give me a minute. Just give me a minute. Just get. Just let me. Just let me do this. Oh God, it's so precise. God, when's it gonna trigger? Just trigger game. It's, does it really want me to take off every bit? It does. It is going. It is going there. It has gone there. There we go. Woo! Thanks, Rick. 
That is actually a pretty painting. Oh yeah, for sure. One more minute, please. No, nah, no. Nah. You, you you got you got your minute. You got your minute. Damn, I'm good. Whoa. Could have thunk a painting was under there. That's an angel, ain't it? Sure is. An angel. You ever see this painting before, Louis? Nah, man. Didn't spend too much time in church as a kid, you dig? Wait a minute. No way. Yo, Hyde, is that, is that it? One and the same, Louis. This is the angel painting Bradley stole from Niall. I need a drink, man. Hell, I need three. But what? What's it doing here? It's like I said, this angel painting was created by Dunning. Yeah, but how do you expect me to believe that? Hey, Louie, you know the name of this painting? In an angel painting? That's what Danny always called it. No offense to Danny, but it's called Angel Opening a Door. Angel Opening a Door? Sure, why not? If I gotta buy that old man Dunning painting, painted it, I can believe anything. You're getting loopy on me, Louie. Now listen. Egg. Hey, Games with Johnny. Welcome in. Big shout out to Games with Johnny. Hey. Another egg. Throw on another egg. How you doing, my man? What you been up to? I'm finally at the end. I'm finally made it to the end of Hotel Dusk. And just in time, too. Wow. The rest of the world thinks this was painted by a guy named Osterzone. Osterzone was an artist born in the 19th century, or so the story goes. A couple dozen or so of his paintings were discovered 40 years after he died. And then all the artsy types went gaga over him. Angel opening a door is supposed to have been his masterpiece. So wait, this Osterzone cat really did do an angel painting? And then Dunning, like, copied it? This isn't a copy, Louis. This is the original. The original, but... I... That can't be right. Just chilling legs a ton better. Good deal. Yeah, I heard. You, you... I, I was there when you told the story about what happened. Back to the norm pretty soon. Yeah. Thankfully, they don't take too long to heal, but that is... That was... Oh... I'm so sorry you had to deal with that, Johnny. I'm glad you're... I'm, I'm glad you're... You're gonna be off the crutch soon. You said this painting's one of Oster Toes, uh, Oster, Ozzy, whatever. Still don't get it? Get what? Dunning is Oster's own. Ah, oh, trip. This is like finding out your girl's your sister or something. It's messed up. How is it that? It is not that fucked up, Louie. What the hell, man? That would be fucked. Three years back, my pal Danny got plugged over this painting. Hesitant to finish my couple games on stream, really? Because it's bad, or is it because it's just that good? Because they're bad? Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Sometimes you gotta drop one. If there's a game you're just not having zero fun with, it doesn't matter what it is, drop it. That's, that's what I say. Because people who love the game aren't gonna enjoy you bitching about it. People who hate the game will like it. But you're not gonna have any fun, so what's the point? Yeah, it's it's always better to drop it. I dropped a game that I probably shouldn't have, but I don't regret it. Like, just because, uh, like it wasn't gonna like it's it is a lot of people's favorite game. I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna put them through the pain I was going through. Thought he could sell it and get enough scratch for us to break out of the city. And here it is. Some secret vault under my damn bedroom a million miles from New York. This blows my mind. Why? Why? The hell is it doing here, man? Louie? Don't Louie me, man. Just tell me. You want to know how it got here? I think Bradley returned it to the man who painted it. What? Bradley returned it? What's that supposed to mean? I think Bradley knew the truth about Osterzone. I regret streaming Little Nightmares. What? Oh, damn, Evel. I didn't know. 
was okay with Little Nightmares, but I can understand it. I'm just the worst at stealth. It's a good game. I I hear you. I hear you. Abel. Like, it happens. Like, I cannot. I may not ever stream a real time sim, an RTS. And there are some RTSs I want to play, like the whole Commander Command and Conquer series, because I love corny FMV acting, and it is the king of corny FMV acting. But I know that I am just going to be absolute fucking shit at it. I've never been good at an RTS, ever. Nah, you're killing me, Hyde. It's like right up there with tower defenses. I just can't, my brain does not understand them. He knew Ostrazone was just a painter somebody made up. Wait, but you said... Look, Ostrazone's story is that he was a painter who died before his work was valued. Truth is, nobody ever heard of the guy at all. Not until somebody wrote a book about him. Thanks to the book, he went from nobody to somebody overnight. Yeah, real-time strategy. It's, a. Uh... You know StarCraft? Yeah, StarCraft, um... I think Warcraft 3 was an RTS. Dune. Dune is a very famous RTS. I'm trying to set up my old Mac computer. Ooh, baby! It's gonna be a massive experiment, because I found a way without cap- You found a way without capture cards, Super Ghetto. That's amazing. Yeah. Command and Conquer. And that sucks, too. It feels like there's, like, a wall between me and, like, just that juicy-ass, just, just hammy acting that I love. I love the taste of ham. His paintings started selling for a whole lot of dough, dough after that book. What kind of book was it? It's called Ostrazone, The Phantom Painter. It was published in 1963. You know who wrote it? Robert Evans. Robert Evans? That's Mila's Pops, ain't it? But that means... Okay, okay, I think I follow. So Mila's Pops is part of this whole angel painting thing. Yeah, this angel's one popular dame. Got herself a whole flock of admirers. And the thing I haven't figured out yet is why. Why did Evans and Dunning create Ostrazone in the first place? Yes. If you like RTSs, the rig is awesome, Adam. He is fantastic, Adam. He loves him. And you'll see, like, like that, that, like that hammy essay. He's played a lot of Command and Conquer. Why did Evans and Dunning create Ostrazone in the first place? And how did Bradley stumble onto it? I may start watching his VODs just to know what the hell to do. Honestly, I kind of want to learn to get, you can learn to get good at just about anything, at least passable at just about anything. StarCraft's not too hard, the expansion gets tough. That's what I hear. I hear StarCraft's a good, like, a good way to get your feet wet on it. But even that, just, it, it was just beyond it. I couldn't even get past the tutorial. I'm, uh, it wasn't good. It wasn't good, Rig. Sound is going to be the next trial. Ooh, Smart TV DVI cable. Found a chair my webcam cooks on, hooks on to. Just happens to be the right height to focus the screen. <laughs> That is super ghetto, but I respect the hell out of it. That works. Yeah, sound's gonna be the tricky part. More mysteries. You know, I used to like mysteries. Not anymore, man. You got it figured out? Not all of it, but I think I'm getting close. I've just gotta line everything up. Here's what I got so far. Evans' book on Ostrazone came out 16 years ago. Then Mila and her old man came here ten years ago. Yeah, that's when the hotel closed up for a bit. And the story about the girl going missing from the hotel ten years ago. Oh, oh, and that, that's when Mila went into a coma and got put in the hospital. It's when Mila's old man bought the hotel. A lot happened ten years back. Wait, 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 wait. Mila's pops used to own the Dusk. That's right. Robert Evans used to be the owner. But seven years ago, he suddenly closes up his art gallery and disappears. And then Dunning buys the hotel. Hold it, Woodward said Mila's pops always came to see her in the hospital. And he only stopped coming six months ago, yeah? That's what he said. We're going deep, and we're going hard. He said we're going deep, and we're going hard. 
This sounds a big oof for sure. Yeah, that's the tricky part. Might have to feed it all through the webcam. Ooh, damn. I mean, where, where there's a will, there's a way. About half of what I like about um streaming is actually the challenge of getting things to work and getting it to work right. And then and then sustaining it working right live. I don't know why I get off on that, but I do. Riker, that's cruel. Uh, don't be cruel. Come on, Riker. I I'll I'll fix the uh I'll fix that. Actually, you know what? I can fix that right now. I'm gonna make it a five minute cooldown. I'll just I'll just uh, that that'll fix everything. <laughs> That way everybody gets, yeah, because that's that's frustrating as hell. Let's see. Yeah, let's make this cool down. Yeah, it's, yeah, I'm going to make it five minutes. And then shades off and on. I'm going to bring that up to five, too. That way everybody's happy. It don't add up, man. When did Dovening reopen the dusk? Five years ago? Yeah, and Bradley killed Danny three years ago. And then that satisfaction at the end. If there's one, yeah, even if there's an end, yeah, and there is going to be some interference. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, yeah, no, just, it'll just, five minutes ain't bad. Five minutes flies by. Then you went and shot Bradley right after. Yeah. This is Hyde. Oh, we're back at the flashback. No, I'm not gonna delete. I'm not gonna delete the on part pan. I'm not doing that. Hyde, I've got bad news. There are a lot of people who like the shades. Hyde, I've got bad news. It's Bradley. He he's on the take. What the hell? Blam! Yep, shot him. He really, yeah, he's had the goatee this whole time. Yo, Hyde, can I ask you something? I think that was only a few months ago. No, it was three years ago. Sure. Why'd you shoot Bradley? I mean, you guys were partners. Friends, too, yeah? You're the kind of cat that hunts down a pal if you think he did you wrong? Just line him up and put him down? That's cold, brother. I don't know. How don't you know? I heard what he did. Heard he went rogue. I tore up the city looking for him. Finally caught up to him at the docks. I was mad as hell, Louie. I could barely see. I pulled my piece and yelled at him. Asked him why he did it. So what'd he say? Nothing. Not a word. He just turned and he looked at me. There was a message there, but I couldn't read it. It was all too fast. Then he turned and I... I thought he was going to make a run for it. My gun was out and I, I pulled the trigger. Oh, hey, I'm sorry I asked, you know. But I get it, man. You didn't get to talk to him, never got to hear his side of things. That's why you're looking for him, trying to make your final piece, yeah? I'm a bare knuckle it. Hundreds of Mac games to show off. That's true. Yeah, that happy music, man. It's it's really it's really something. Enough about that. We need to focus on what's in front of us. Yeah, man, sure. When did Dunning reopen Dusk? Five years ago, right? Yeah. And Bradley killed Danny three years ago. And then Brandley, Bradley vanished with the angel painting. Which brings us to six months ago when he checked in here as Kyle Hyde. Right, that's when Meatless Pops vanished. And Bradley came to town. That's right. Man, none of this makes means squat. It's all a bunch of dates and numbers to me, man. Unless, unless you got this all figured out. Most of it. At least I think so. Come on, Louie, we have to find Dunning and Mila. We talk to them, I got a hunch this will all come together. Whatever you say, officer. Okay, are we done here? I think we're done here. I think we're out of here. I got the pallet knife. That's got to mean something. Oh, here we go. They're noticing. 
What is it, man? Check out the wall. Huh? There's a strange line running through it. What do you think it is? It's a door, Louie. The wall's a door. Aw, oh, man, this is like that cartoon with the dog and the dude that what's always hungry. Hey! Is someone in there? I can't believe they had a... I can't believe they had a fucking... I honestly didn't expect the, uh, the Doom Buggy reference. That's amazing. Dunning! How long is this? We're near the end. It's about 50... Let's see. About 20 hours? I'd say, give or take. It's pretty damn long. This took three streams, and they're all just about full length. Mila. Hey, good looking. Am I ever glad to see you safe and sound? You all right? There's Dunning. Got yourself quite a series of hideouts, Dunning. You make them all yourself? Yeah. We're we're real close to the end. This is the last chapter. Nope. Yeah? Then who did and why? None of your business. Time to come clean. You're gonna tell me everything you know. Start talking. Alright, I hear you. Just the two of us. I aim to talk at you alone. Louis, take me upstairs. Don't ask me twice. Come on, Mila. Rose is waiting in the wine cellar. Let's go see her. No. Hey, you can talk, and you told me no. Just like all the girls in my life. Stop playing the fool, Louis. Get her out of here. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Let's go, Mila. No. I'm staying here. Hey, Queen Tofu, how you doing? Shepard. Shepard. You're, you're here for the st a thrilling climax of Hotel Dusk. I need to hear what she says. Oh, come on, Mila. No, I need to hear it. I'm okay, hungover, how are you? Oh, no. Get yourself something. I don't know. Go go to one of those folk hangover cures. Go follow Queen Tofu. It might cure it. Fine, you can both say. I mean, it wouldn't hurt. Just click that heart button up there. I love this game. And I'm glad I played it again. I forgot everything about it when I played it like 12 years ago. It's nice coming back to it. Fine, you can both stay. You're telling me I gotta talk in front of the girl? And the no-no? Ain't happening. No, sir, it ain't necessary, and it ain't gonna happen. It might not be necessary for you, but it is for them. What are you talking about? Mila's the daughter of your former partner. Mila came here to find him, find her father. No! <laughs> it turns off when you take the shades off. Man. <laughs> and the info rattling around in your head is the only lead she's got. Grease spoon dinner breakfast is my go-to hang- Oh yeah, something greasy. Uh, I, for me, it's a hamburger. It's just a nice hamburger, you know? Like a like a big greasy cheeseburger from like Whataburger or something. I've never heard of this game. It was a DS game from 2007 produced by one of my favorite adventure game developers called Sing. And they've done a lot of stuff. They they were real hit or real miss, and this was one of their real hits. Very good art direction, really good writing for the most part. For the most part. I want to go to Weatherspoons. They have a big fry up. Oh, baby. Oh, that sounds like my kind of thing. I'm going to jump a cliff. <laughs> anyway, where's my papa? Where is he? And Louie here. You hit me, didn't you? You lousy, no good, tight fisted, back breaking old coot. Was you trying to kill me? Hell, you could have just fired me. I'd have walked away. Of course, I wasn't trying to kill you. Don't I'm be gonna daft. Have to rain down in a godly fucking firestorm on you. And Duke is tired of your nonsense, too, Dunning. Louis drifted out to the West Coast three years back. You know why he left the city? 
because his childhood friend Danny was murdered. Murdered? Let me lay it out for you. Danny was killed trying to steal a painting. It was in a warehouse run by a crime syndicate called Nile. A painting of an angel. What? Think you're surprised? I'm the one what just found the thing in the damn basement. What do you say? You gonna share your story with us? Why'd you bring Mila to the basement? Oh shit. It's cuz... Cuz I wanted her to see the place. Why? Well... This is the last place Evans and me ever saw each other. What do you mean? You talked to him. You killed him here. Ah, there's that exclamation point. You talked to him here. The last place you spoke? What did you chat about? Now look, that ain't... About Oster's own. No. We, uh... We talked about Jenny. Found your secret room. I know what's in there. I found Angel opening a door. You found... You found it, did you? Yeah. Why is it here? Persistent, ain't you? It's because that man left it here. I think I know who left it here. Yeah, it was, it was Bradley. Final boss. It was the other Kyle Hyde, wasn't it? Hey! Anyway, Sing ended up going defunct. It ended up going, going, going dry. Not enough people bought their games. And there was a sequel to this game, specifically, that's apparently really good. It's apparently fantastic. Who told you that? You did, just now. Ugh. So you know the guy or something? Yeah. The guy who stayed here six months ago was my partner, my friend. He's the ghost I've been chasing for three years. Partner? Didn't know that door-to-door -door salesman had partners. Yo, Mr. Smith, let me introduce, uh, Officer Kyle Hyde. Till three years ago, he was a detective with NYPD. Ah, crap. Yeah, he hates cops. My partner's name is Brian Bradley. Bradley was his last name? That, that is the fucking, that, that's the twist right here. Three years ago, he was investigating a crime syndicate called Nile. But he decided to steal your angel painting and skip town. It hasn't been seen since. Nile, huh? Well, I'll be damned. It definitely didn't stick as well as was. I think that might have been the localization. I feel like if they got the same... I think if they got the same translation team for this that they got for Last Window, you probably it probably would have stuck with you longer. Because like I said, I remember starting it and it just not feeling the same. Like it had this different vibe to it. And it was all because the localization team. But I don't know who did this, but holy shit. It's good. It is good. Probably the best, like... The best, um... You know, Japanese to English phrasing translation I've ever seen. It's fantastic. Nile, huh? Well, I'll be damned. Guess that's what he told me. Guess what he told me was true after all. Found an old letter in the cellar lockbox. I see. You read it, did you? Yeah, and then I used your little code machine and... Real smart guy, ain't you, Hyde? So smart you can't keep your nose out of my business. Well, let me guess. No need, I'll tell you. I know the secret you and Evans were hiding. Is that Sylvester Stallone? Kind of. He's like a- he looks like a combination of Stallone and Robert De Niro. Oh. Please, where's my papa? I told you everything about the night Jenny got taken away. Everything. So you have to tell me where he is. You have to. You know where Evans is, don't you? I remember when Papa and I came here ten years ago. We ate dinner, and then he said he had some business to take care of. I think that's what made it... Like, the fact that he's this fucking painter... Like, you wouldn't expect this grizzled old bastard to be, like, just this guy who just... Just, just... You know, with his little brush and his little palette knife. It was, it was good. It was smart. 
It was smartly done. Smart character design. He told me he was going to meet a friend. And that I should play with Jenny until he got back. What time is it for me? 4 a.m. It's okay, though. I sleep at 7. So we played, and I waited for him. Sort of reminds you of Joe Pesci. I could see it. But he never came back. We were tired and sleepy, and we... We both fell asleep. He's like a swole Joe Pesci. He's got that Pesci nose. You're right. No, I usually... No, my sleep schedule's weird, guys. Me being up at 4 a.m. is like late evening. It's not... It's not nighttime for me yet, really. I am enjoying this game, though. But no, this is about par for the course, Tofu. You'll... You, you, like, you'll see what I mean. The door opened and there was a scary man. He grabbed Jenny and tried to take her. Jenny started screaming, screaming and crying. She was crying so hard. I thought she was gonna die. So I yelled at the man. I ran to him and told him to stop and... Then I was flying. No! He hit her. I don't remember anything else. I'm so sorry, Mila. Nah, Jenny. You know what happened then, Mr. Smith? Mila was in a coma. Spent the next ten years laying in some hospital bed. Then six months ago, she wakes up and starts looking for her pops. Damn. Are you mad at me? Are you mad that I couldn't stop those men? The ones who took Jenny? She's just... She's just, she's just looping. She, she's on a loop. Is that why you won't tell me where my papa is? No, girl, that ain't it. I just... I don't know where Evans is. That's why I'm here. It's all I can do. Just sitting and waiting to hear from Evans. Waiting for my Jenny to come home. Yeah, Queen, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. It was all rotoscoped, but all the women in the game have anime faces. Uh, also, there's a little bit of anime in Kyle Hyde's face. Not him. This guy is a huge exception. Oh, I want to save. I want to save. Because I'll have to do all that dialogue again if I fuck up. I don't want to do that yet. I don't want to do that. Not, not this close to the end. I just have to do a lot of skipping. Okay, here we go. Yeah, save the game. Save the game. Save the game. Let's see here. You got a minute? Oh! Can I talk to her too? No. Sure can't. Where the hell's Dunning? Oh, there he is. Okay. Putting the shades back on, Queen. What did you and Evans discuss? Don't you think we're soon enough? You and Evans talked about Jenny after that night, right? Fill me in. I need to add some more of those. I may start adding those pretty, pretty heavily. I asked him why Jenny was taken. He said, said it was because I wouldn't paint no more. Said if I just pick up the brush, Jenny'd be returned. Kidnapping's a rough business. I bet I know who organized it. It was Niall. Likely as not. Leastwise, that's what Evan said. So he was working for Niall, but not because he wanted to. Told me these Niall fellas knew the truth about Osterzone. Said that also I'm noticing how Yakuza like the Nile organization is, and that's just because, you know, I, I love this is what I love about Japanese visions of America and, and video game like those games that take place in the US but were clearly made by a Japanese team. You'll see bits and pieces of Japanese culture leaking in. And it's so I don't know, it's it's kind of a cool contrast. I always liked it. Said they wanted me to do more painting. But I told Evans to go screw himself. I told him no. And that's why they took my Jenny away. Why'd you stop painting? Why'd you tell uh, Evans you weren't going to paint anymore? Because I was tired. More popular Osterzone got the lousier I felt. Well, they're real, like, like, just, just no one, just, just from what I've learned about the, like, you know, just reading up on true crime, they were very big on, 
the Yakuza were really big on kidnapping somebody like daughters or, or, or sisters and just to make them continue working on a project so they could profit off it. That, that, that was kind of a thing. In fact, there was this uh, big rumor that Sega did that at one point, back when the Yakuza had ties with video games. This is wild shit. It's wild shit. Evan's plan was moving ahead without a hitch, but... To really make it stick, I had to bury my own work. Bury who I was. People loved my paint, and collectors wanted them. But all the praise, all the glory, Osterzone got it, not me. You are Osterzone. Couldn't take it no more. Ah, he wanted credit. Real credit. What did Bradley tell you? night he stayed here, your pal invited me to have a drink with him. Well, one turned, in, one turned into a whole bunch. And soon, I wasn't feeling no pain. That's when Bradley stops chatting about this and that and asks if I knew Evans. Some stranger asking you about Evans, I bet I know what you told him. I told him the truth. I bet you told him the truth. Oh, hell no. No, you were drunk, though. I told him I ain't never heard of any Robert Evans. Shit. I might have fucked up. That might have been the fuck up. Let's see. That might be the game over right there. He was drunk. You always tell the truth when you're drunk. You don't lie. Is Evans going to contact you? Hell, I don't know. Three years after I lost my Jenny, I hit rock bottom. I was sad and pissed off. Told him I knew Jenny and ain't never coming home. Took a knife to the paintings I was working on and slashed them to ribbons. I was even thinking about breaking my hand so I wouldn't paint no more. Hell, Evan saw how crazy I was. He talked me back from the edge, said he'd take care of everything. Promised me he'd get Jenny back. Said I should just sit tight and wait here. And that he'd contact me as soon as everything was square. We'll see if we made it. We'll see if we made it. Then he turned and walked off the face of the earth. Would a guy like that mention his own daughter? Let me take a guess. He didn't say a thing. Evans never told you what happened to her, did he? Sure didn't. That night, ten years ago, we had a couple of drinks and talked about what was what. When we went to get the girls, Mila was on the floor and... Jenny was gone. Evans grabbed Mila and raced her to the hospital, and I... I thundered around like a madman looking for my little girl. Next morning, Evans came back from the hospital. When I asked Evans about Mila, he told me it was nothing, and she was fine. Why'd he keep Mila a secret? No, oh, don't face pop. No, don't do that. Oh, thank God. I thought there was a man bun. It was a hat. I feel a little less humiliated now. Pineapple on pizza or no? I'm not against it. I'm not against it. It's not my favorite pizza, but I can eat it. Why didn't Evans tell you about Mila? I don't know. I ain't got a clue. Mr. Hyde, I can't. Oh no, it's over! Thought I could tell you everything, but... Oh, I should have known. It is the final boss. No, don't do this! Sorry, I don't think it's gonna work out. Something just ain't right. I got nothing else to say. Oh, come on. It's even... It even looks hacky. I went back to room 215. Damn it. I was so damn close. No, I'm out of time. I'll never find Bradley now. Ah, oh, damn it. I spent the rest of the night sitting in my room listening to the world slip away. <laughs> oh, for sure. That was bad. Pineapple in a burger? I've never tried that. I have never, I have never tried that. Oh, fuck, no. Nope, I'm resetting. I'm reset, reset, because I saved way earlier than that. I knew to save. I knew to save! Just don't go to a place that won't put wet, soggy... Oh, just don't go to a place that won't put wet, soggy, canned pineapple. Thank you, Freedom. Good to know. Never had it, but I think halomi on and pineapple would go great in a burger. Yeah, I mean, I don't see it being a bad thing for a burger. 
No, you know what to have for to Oh, Cyber, by the way, what's up, Ben? Don't tell me I've been muted all this time. Okay, what did you and Evans discuss? We gotta do all this again. And there's no skip button, so we can't, like, skip through it. Turn out the explosion. Just turned off my safety switch, so that's why the whole wall stopped working. Oh, that's good. It just flipped that. Yeah, that's usually what it normally does. Sorry you had to deal with that, though. Yeah, that was Nile. Pineapple on burgers can be really good. That makes sense. No, like, if pineapple and pizza can work, and it can. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, like I said, it's not my favorite pizza in the world, but it's good. It's decent. Okay. That's why they took my Jenny away. Yep, we got it. Okay, I'm gonna save the, the one I got wrong for last. That way we could just smoothly go on. Cause I was tired. More popular Oscars on God than Lousy or I felt. fucking explode. That's great. It's 5 a.m. I seriously fucked up that sentence. No, you're good. You're good. Wait, were you saying just don't don't put soggy? Oh, so you said it right, but you said it backwards. But it was a double negative, so you accidentally said it right. Is what I'm is what I'm getting at. Which one? Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna do this one. I don't even remember. Is is Evans gonna contact you? No, well, I don't know. Three years after I lost Jenny, I I hit rock bottom. Yep, he told him he knew Jenny would never come in home. Started slashing his own paintings to ribbons. Was even thinking about breaking his hand so he couldn't paint. A 2 a.m. explosion wasn't what I wanted per se, but at least I know where the panel is. One year after moving here, hey, you know. My good, good. It, I'm glad you found some good and all that. <laughs> Thank you for the shades off, Queen. Said he'd take care of everything. Promised he'd get my Jenny back. Yeah. Said I should just sit tight and wait here. Mm-hmm. Then he contacted me as soon as everything was square. Then he turned and walked off, face of the earth. But a guy like that mentioned his own daughter. Let me take a guess. He didn't tell you anything, did he? My first experience with a Hawaiian pizza, the entire crust was soaked in pineapple juice. Never went back to that part like, yeah, that's pretty fucked up. Soggy crust? Ew. Why? That's messed, that's messed up for you. I don't mind the pizza being a little drippy, but that crust has to be bone dry. So you can dip it into, you know, whatever you want. Garlic sauce, ranch. It can't already be pre-soaked. That would just kill the whole point. Yeah, I like soggy bread too, but I like making it soggy. I don't like it when it's pre-sogged. It, it just kills some of the magic. Evans never told you what happened to her, did he? Sure didn't. That night ten years ago, we had a couple of drinks. Talked about what was what. When we went to get the girls, Mila was on the floor and Jenny was gone. Evans grabbed Mila and raced her to the hospital and I... I thundered round like a madman looking for my little girl. Next morning, Evans came back from the hospital. And then asked, when I asked Evans about Mila, he told me it was not, she was fine. Yeah, don't pre-sog my bread. Let me sog the bread. Not pizza fresh out, exactly. Not fresh out of the box. You gotta, you gotta make the bread soggy. Why didn't Evans tell you about Mila? I don't know. Ain't got a clue. Here we go. Okay, this is where I fucked up. It's telling the truth. I fucked up. What did Bradley tell you? Night he stayed here, your pal invited me to have a drink with him. Well, one turned into a whole bunch, and soon I wasn't feeling no pain. Who lies when they're that drunk? That's when Bradley stops chatting about this and that and asks if I knew Evans. Some stranger asking you about Evans? I don't know what you told him. You lied. Oh, you lied. I've never had bread pudding. Bread pudding's amazing. Bread pudding's really good freedom. Now that is the okay. That is the one pre-sogged bread that I'm okay with. Evident bread pudding is fantastic and try it. It is it is good. I haven't had pizza in a year. You found the one exception, Freedom. I can't believe you you found the one exception. I haven't had pizza in a year. I'm crying for a margarita, right? <laughs> a margarita. 
Pineapple soaked crust. Yeah, that does sound good. You haven't had pizza for a year. You okay? Yeah, you okay, Pan? Damn. You're smart. You lied to him, right? Yep. Yeah, Riker gets it. Bread pudding is one of the best. It's probably my favorite pudding. I wouldn't even call it that. It's more of a casserole. I don't know what it, it is fucking tasty. It would kill me. I would be happy to die eating too much bread pudding. It's it's like French toast, but like soaked in delicious whatever and and basically packed into like this casserole shape. Here's here's what it looks like. Let me find a good yeah, here's here's a good picture. Just to make all you guys hungry this early in the morning, or wherever you are, evening, afternoon. This one has some stuff on it. Ever since I came, became a vegetarian, I stopped eating fast foods, restaurants altogether. Ah, I get you. I get you. Tita Misu. There are vegetarian pizzas. You can definitely find one of those. I can imagine. You should. No way was I going to tell some mystery man I knew Evans. So this Bradley fella got real quiet-like, stared at his glass for a bit. Then he looked up and he stared me square in the eye. Told me he was being chased by Niall. Said they was after him. Because he knew Evan's secret. Evan's secret? What was Evan's secret? This is what your pal told me, so you might want to take it with a grain of salt. He said Evans actually chose to work with Niall. Except they knew him as Norman. Norman? That's what he said. Said Evans was in deep with Niall. Said he chose to stay there. What about creme brulee? I've never had creme brulee. I saw a YouTube channel called Townsend's that did one. Looked good. Tita Mies. Townsend's is great. I ordered a tricorn for that. Ooh, nice. Yeah, there are a lot of there are a lot of ve vegan pizzas, a lot of vegetarian pizzas. I'm sure you could work out something. Getting a bit of a pizza, getting a bit of a Pizza Hut, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, right. I should probably add that I'm a student, exclusively taking care care of a dog sister, so all my funds go to him. Yeah, save save a little bit for yourself, man. Dang. Let's hear it, all of it. Oh, getting a bit of a pizza guy. <laughs> I mean, I can't say shit. I can't say nothing. All right, Mr. Hyde. I'm done trying to hide all of this. Finally. I'm going to tell you everything. Tell you how Evans and me got started. Why they took my Jenny. Why Evans disappeared seven years ago. And... I'm going to tell you about the other Kyle Hyde I met six months ago. Your pal, Bradley. I'll tell you everything he told me, everything I know. All right, you talk. I'll listen. You want me to get into this in front of Mila? She might not like it. Her call. Boneless or bone-in wings, either. As long as they're wings, I'll eat them. I'm very good at clearing out a bone. Uh, I'm very clear. I'm very good at demo boning a wing, though. Honestly. Like, there will be nothing but bone left. I don't eat the bone. That's fucking... Don't eat chicken bones. If, if anybody in chat eats chicken, don't do that. That's... It can't be good for you. That can't... That's not good for dogs. It can't be good for people. I mean, dog... Dogs can eat things that aren't good for people all the time, and that's not good for... Don't eat chicken bones. Bone in for me. Oh, yeah. I used to... I, I used to eat the bones when I ate meat. <laughs> Don't eat the bones. I'm glad you're not... A, I'm glad you're not eating meat anymore. Now I got food on the brain. Better get out of bed and get some greasy grub. Yeah. Clean, yeah. Clean up that... Uh, Thank you for the digital. I won't eat cartilage. Crunchy in it. Ew. No, I don't eat bone. Don't eat the bone. Don't eat the bone. Read my read my bone crunching lips. 
don't eat the bone. I want to hear it. I don't. I'm not into cartilage either. If it's about Papa, I want to hear it all. I'd be hard. I'm just like you. Just like me. When I told you about Jenny, you wanted to know everything, didn't you? What she said, how she... how she cried. You asked me over and over. Mila. I, I understand. I understand why you kept asking me to repeat things. I was talking about Jenny. You wanted to hear it all, no matter how terrible it was. You wanted to be close to her, and that was the only way. No, no, well, bones for dogs, well, chicken bones are a different thing, Freedom, from what, from what I know. From what I know, yes, you can give a dog any, most, most kinds of bones, but chicken bones splinter more than other bones, because they're hollow, they're bird bones, and they're just not good for dogs. Just in general. I, I know I was told I was taught from a little baby of never feed a dog chicken bones beef bones fine soup bones absolutely just no bird bones I know why they always cook meat on the bone because it's more flavorful it is it is uh, able you're not wrong but no chicken chicken of any kind I love chicken bone in tenders I love good chicken ten I'm getting hungry I'm gonna keep reading It does provide more of an umami. Yeah, you're not wrong. That's a savory, but kind of meaty taste. That's how I always took it. It was It's like meaty, yet kind of with a hint of salt. That's how you make great soup, stock, or gravy. Bone marrow, absolutely, freedom. That's how I feel, too. That's how Mila feels, too. I want to know everything about Papa. I don't care what it is. I just want to know. I think that settles it. What, what are you shaking your head for, Louis? Let this happen. Start talking. It all started with Evans and me. It was what you call reunited by tragedy. There was a plane crash in Las Vegas in 1960. Two of the women who died on that plane left behind little girls. One was Jenny's mom, my wife. The other was married to Evans. That's your mom, Mila. I was in the airport, just sitting there, yacht numb. And then I saw Evans. He and I had been at the same college studying art, hoping to be painters. And then five years later, we're new widowers in the Nevada desert. Took different paths after graduation, you see. Evans followed in his father's footsteps, took over the family art gallery. And me, thought I was pretty big news. Tried to make a living as a painter. But no one gave a rat's ass for my work. It barely had two quarters to rub together. But with our wives dying, it gave us a chance to talk about the old days. We shared a bunch of drinks, talked about everything under the sun. Then Evan said he thought I was a good artist. Out near knocked me out of my chair. Then we, he went on praising me, telling me how great I was. Of course, I swallowed it all. Grilled bone marrow. Yeah, I hear you. It does look like me, Jello. I'm not into that either, right? Riker. I tried to cook a grilled cheese last time. My sandwich maker exploded. Anyone willing to come make me food, please? <laughs> I'm more likely to die of a kitchen fire than of starvation, it seems. Nah. I will for one week of digital. Damn, Riker. I mean a week's worth of... I could cook a mean... I'll starve, thank you. Then he went on praising me, telling me how great it was. And of course, I swallowed it all. He told me something else, too. Said he'd given up on being a painter because he knew I was better than him. Then he looked me square in the eye. And he told me he'd see me famous or die trying. About a year later, Evans comes up with this crazy idea. 
Said he wanted to prove he had an eye for art. Told me. It was my chance to prove myself too. You're a great painter, he said. In history, you'll prove me right. Sounds silly now, but... He was so sure of himself. Got me all worked up, too. We just want to show the world what for, you know. A couple of damn fools. Well, we spent the next three years thinking up all the details. Between the two of us, we created Marcel Osterzone out of thin air. Actually, really smart. Dead painters get more recognition. Evans rounded up a bunch of old canvases and paint from some art museum. Then I painted up about a couple dozen pieces or so that we could say were his. My job was just to stay out of sight. Paint until my hand cramped. Evans hung around the gallery and made the art folks think he knew something. He also wrote up a book about how he discovered Osterzone. The one I found in the basement. Yep. It introduced the world to the mystery painter that died too young. In less time it takes to change a light bulb, his works took off. Collectors started buying up the stuff, paying a fortune for it, too. Evans and me were just happy as pigs in filth. Art world loved Oster's own, they loved his paintings. I just kept painting and painting as much as I could. And Evan sold every last one of them for more money than I'd ever imagined. But. There's always a but in there. At the end of every, at the end of every character, there's a but. About that time, Evans and me stopped seeing eye to eye. Evans liked our scam. He liked pulling the wool over people. He started looking for other ways to fleece people. Started getting good at it. But me... The more popular Osterzone's works got, the heavier my brushes started getting. I couldn't take Haydn in the shadow of a painter I created. It was too damn much. Made base beef stew with a little over a week ago in a pressure cooker. By God, the fat on those melted like cotton candy. Oh my God. Jeez, Freedom, that sounds delicious. After a while, I just lost my talent. Couldn't paint no more. That's what led to the worst day of my life. Evans invited me to the hotel, so I threw Jenny in the car and came on over. Evans brought Mila and our girls started playing together right away. Kids were cuter than anything. Evans and me left him in room 111, headed for the bar. We hadn't had a relaxed night in a while. We just shot the breeze, had a couple of drinks. Nothing out of the ordinary. Then Ed Evan said he wanted to show me something. So he brought me down here. We were standing right about here. Evans told me he brought the ho bought the hotel and built this room just for me. Wanted me to hide down there and just keep painting. You're a genius, he says to me. You'll be painting again before you even know it. You want to give Jenny the good life, don't you? All you gotta do is turn into Osterzone again and paint. You'll have enough scratch to give Jenny whatever she wants. Make her happy. No, that's not true. That won't make anyone happy. Why would Papa say that? Man didn't have a choice, girl. He had to say that to me. It was all he could do. What do you mean? Any fool could see Evans wasn't behind this hotel. Had to be somebody else. Seems that in all his buying and selling, Evans got mixed up with some heavy hitters. In one group, a crooks called Nile had their claws sunk into him, but good. All you had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. Evans didn't make all this for a mope like me. This place was a place for crooks to do all their dirty business. I didn't talk much at first. Just let Evans say his piece. Then I told him no. Told him that I wasn't gonna paint no more. So then... 
They took her, Mr. Hyde. Damn bastards took my baby girl. They took Jenny. Ah, damn it. Anyway, Evan sat me down, told me it's straight. Become Osterzone, he said. Just pain. Do that and Jenny will come back to you. The hell else could I do? I moved down here and started painting. Osterzone was back. But I didn't care about fame or money or nothing. I just wanted my girl back. That's fucked. That's fucked up. But she didn't come back. No, sir. So I kept painting for three years, thinking they'd keep their word. But one day I'd had enough. Told them all to go to hell. That's when Evan sent me that letter you saw. I can tell you the damn thing word for word. This is your last job. Finish it, and you're free. I won't ask nothing further. However, our secret must never be revealed. Keep silent, and I promise you Jenny will one day be returned to you. Go back to the dusk. Be patient. He sent me the deed to this hotel with his letter. Tried to track him down, but... Like I said earlier, I ain't no detective. The gallery was all closed up, and I didn't know where else to look. Papa, where did you go? I didn't have no idea how to start looking for him. So I just decided to stay there and wait her out. I made a promise to myself, you understand. I was going to wait here for my Jenny. And if I died waiting, so much the better. So five years back, I opened the dust back up again, but... Nobody wanted to stay here. People heard stories about the night Jenny was taken. Hell, it kept them away. So I made up that load of crap about the wish room and told a bunch of newspapers. Then I tried to run the place. Guess you can tell I ain't much of a people person. Did you hear from Evans? Nah, not a peep. But a couple of years back, I got a visit from a gal who used to work in his gallery. She just showed up one day, shaking and nervous as hell. I asked if I could help her, and out of the blue, she said she was uh, she knew I was Osterzone. I also said she knew Evans forced me to do all those paintings. Then she threatened me, said she'd reveal my secret unless I painted one for her. That's how she got the money. Thought she might know where Evans had gotten off to, so I did it. Gave her the painting, never heard from her again. Nothing from Evans, neither. That's interesting. Yeah. Oh, and then, six months ago, that other fella showed up. The one with your name. Got some news about Evans from him. Bradley. What did he tell you? Don't quite know what to make of it. I liked him well enough, so I had a drink. Then he turned to me and asked if I knew Evans. Of course. I didn't say a word. Just kept nursing my drink, but he kept on talking. Said Evans was in deep with Niall and calling himself Norman. Then he told me he knew all about Osterzone. This fella knew everything. He just kept on talking. Said he knew we'd created him. Then he knew I'd been painting. Didn't think I should say nothing, so I just sat and listened. After a bit, he quit talking and swirled his ice around. Figured he was done, made to leave, and he said something real quiet. Told me he made a deal with one of Niall's men. A man named Norman. What kind of deal? Said they had his sister. Said they were holding her hostage. That was the deal that Norman, Evans, wanted to make. He wanted your pal to tell him everything the cops knew in exchange for his sister. What? No, I refuse to... Hold on, Mr. Hyde, I ain't done yet. Your pal told me he made the deal. Said he betrayed his friends. And when he went to find his sister, she was already dead. Mila, oh no. He was, he's holding his sister's dead body, watching the steam rise when he hears a voice. You can't change anything. You sold out your people and you can't take it back. Your sister's dead. He 
And you don't have any family left. You got nothing left. Come and work for me. It's the only road open for a man like you. I tell you the sound of that voice. He's a wounded man, Mr. Hyde. So then your pal finished a story in his drink, but he never raised his eyes. And I asked him what he'd done next. He kept looking at his glass, but I could tell he was seeing something else. I accepted his offer, he told me. I knew it was the only way to avenge my sister. The only way to make Evans pay. Bradley. When he finally looked at me, his eyes were hard as any as I'd ever seen. You won't see Robert Evans again, was the last thing he said to me. Sorry, M Mila, your, your dad sucks. Next morning, he checked out, left me quite a going away present, though. The painting that had been hanging above the bed in 217 had been taken down. And hanging there was Angel opening door. That's why the painting was taken down. Because the Angel painting was on it. It was hanging there. And he took the painting downstairs and he never put the painting back. Okay, that makes sense. He left a photograph and a key on the bed. The photo was the same one you found. Evans always carried that photo with him. And this here is the key. What's it for? No clue. Key's a mystery I ain't solved. But once I saw the painting in the photo, I knew one thing. I knew everything he told me was true. It was a tough pill to swallow, you know? Evan's working for Niall. Never believed things could have got that messed up. I took Angel opening a door off the wall and carried her down to the basement. And then I covered a damn thing with a coat of white paint. I just wanted to forget everything I knew about Mr. Robert Evans. That's why I locked up 217. Didn't want to let nobody stay there anymore. And that's it. That's it, Mr. Hyde. Everything I know, every last bit. When you showed up claiming the same handle as that man, I got to thinking something bad was gonna happen. That's why I was so nervous. Something bad. <laughs> Go ahead and laugh. I'm nothing but a damn fool. Time we did hey, Dave! Yeah, yeah, man. I'll, uh, I'll try and sum it up. Dave Dingo! Welcome in. Go check out Dave Dingo if you haven't. Do it. He's been playing. Oh, man! Ring City last... Did you, did you do it? How was Ring City, Dave? Did you get in clutch? Um, what happened? Basically, Pan, what happened was, uh... Crime Syndicate started kidnapping people. Uh, kidnapped this guy's daughter. Dunning's daughter. In order to force him to work. Um, it, it, to keep painting. Because the Osterzone thing... This, this, this ghost... Uh, this basic... Basically a pen name that they came up with was making him bank. Well, the crime syndicate also happened to kill Kyle's partners. Uh, Ky uh, kidnapped Kyle's partner, Bradley, his sister, in order to get him to basically start helping him in fucking art heists and shit, which he did because he loved his sister. He didn't want her to die. Well, they killed her anyway. After he betrayed everybody, he finds her dead. And... Uh, Dunning's friend, who was working for Niall at the time, basically made him made him work for him. He he basically got him up after he was in that fit of depression, lost everything. That's what happened with Bradley. That's why Bradley stabbed everybody in the back. Because he was trying to save his sister, and then he found out he couldn't. And hell, he was just roped in by then. You know, he was in an extremely vulnerable state, got taken over. Well, by the time he comes over to Hotel Dusk, checking in as Kyle Hyde, he's ready for fucking blood. He is ready to take out Evans. And sure enough, that's what he told Dunning. It was, it was the thing that he told Dunning. He talked to him about it. It was bad. Took me forever to get to mid-ear, but I'm gonna get him tomorrow. 
the <laughs> yeah gail is uh gail's considered probably the hardest boss in in ring city yeah you'll get him. oh oh bad. no wait i'm thinking of mid-ear i'm thinking of mid-ear yeah it's just a lot of evil shit Honestly, after him, Madeir seems easy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you could. You'll get him. You'll get him. Trust me. Good going, man. You're making some serious progress. You're already in the ring city. Damn. Go check out Dave Dingo. He is awesome. Give him a follow. Correct me if I'm wrong, but. There's a little. Co yes, they would, Freedom. The only thing I can think of is one, the art community didn't care, or two, I'm not sure how accurate dating was in 1979. Hey, a lot of deaths. Hey, yeah, I mean, no pain, no gain, Dave. It's just how it is. I'm thinking dating, like, I think they went by the assumption that dating, the dating wasn't sophisticated. Well, like, wasn't particularly. Um, maybe a good, a good thing would do. But at the same time, they were, they were probably aging the canvases also. I think you could cheat it back then with fire smokers. So yeah, Rommel, yeah, something like that. Like if you notice the, the 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 canvases we were finding looked really old, and I think that was part of the forgery. They were like trying to basically pretend a historical figure who didn't exist existed. No, it's okay, Pan. It was like there are a lot of details to miss. Anyway, something bad, huh? Go ahead and laugh. Oh, also, I'm Cyber Trucker Alpha. Welcome in. I play old games. We're at the very end of uh, Hotel Dusk, Room 215, a DS classic. It is so good from back in 2017. Here's a little plot synopsis. Something bad. Huh. Go ahead and laugh. I'm nothing but a damn fool. This place and its secrets draws bad things like flies to honey. I'm still here, still doing what I can to protect that secret. Waiting's about all I can do anymore. And his daughter's still kidnapped. And she's still gone. He doesn't know where she is. And he's been waiting for like 10, for, for years. Oh, I think we're near the end. Hide. What's a good word? I got it, Ed. I finally got it. I told Ed everything that Dunning said. I told him about Evans, about Jenny and Mila, and Bradley. Ed didn't say a word the whole time, but I knew he was listening. So that's it, huh? Now I know. He had a reason for selling us out. He's alive, Ed. Bradley's alive. And he was here six months ago. It's funny. He left all these little clues all around the hotel. Almost like he knew I'd be coming. Actually, Hyde, I think he hit the nail on the head. I just got off the horn with the guy who wanted the red box and the magazine. He settled the bill, but he said he didn't care about getting the items back. And wait. That means... Those items were just... Listen, Hyde. Lie down, get some rest. You need to clear your head here. I'll call you tomorrow. If the customer I've been working for was actually Bradley, then the key Dunning gave me in the basement... I tried using the key to open the small red box. The key turned. The lock clicked. And the box... I opened the box and... I saw a letter written in a hand I knew well. This letter. I read the letter, my eyes pouring over each word. I think, you know, thinking about it, I, I, before I finished that thought, I forgot. I trailed off. But, Rommel, back then, you could cheat it, and that's probably why this game takes place in the 70s. That's probably why they did that, to, to, to basically fill that hole in. 
That painting seems to nagle us. Yeah, well, he did miss her. He missed her something awful. She was his angel. Makes sense. Hey, partner. I'm writing this in the hope that you'll find it and give it a read. Six months ago, I heard that you turned in your badge and left Manhattan. Bradley. I figured it was my chance, so I arranged for you to be here. You know why I did it, don't you, partner? Because I know you. Because I knew you'd solve all the riddles hidden in this dump of a hotel. I knew you'd discover what happened here, and what happened to me. You're a damned bulldog, Hyde. You, I knew you wouldn't let it go. I had to believe that. Three years ago, I betrayed you. I put your finger on that trigger, and I made you pull it. You know, Hyde, I can still hear your voice asking me why. You have any idea how angry you sounded? Of course, you always were the crazy one. But every time I hear it in my head, I see Mila. I see the way Evans killed my baby sister. And I remember the day six months ago when I took my revenge. I know you understand, Hyde. So I'm on the run now. Niall wants me dead. Cops want me dead. Some life, huh, partner? Stop looking for me, Kyle. My way is a dead-end street. Let me go. I'm a ghost now. Bradley. Bradley. I can see the surprise on his face when he hears her name for the first time. Mila. He stood by her bed and watched her sleep, thinking all the while of his, Mila. Then he took his bracelet off his wrist and slipped it onto hers. And then... Tell me something, Bradley. Did you watch and wait? When Evans came to see Mila. Did you kill him? I'm gonna say probably. I'm gonna say he probably killed him. I'd have killed him. 8 a.m. Wow, Don hits quick. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. It's such a good story. Jesus. Like, you went from, like, just thinking Bradley was the biggest, most corrupt asshole alive, and then boom, 180. What? Bradley's just a good guy who bad things have happened to. Morning, handsome. So what's the good word? <laughs> Isn't that what Ed always says? Yeah, that's it. Is he there? Not yet, sweetie. I'm here all by my lonesome. Give him a message for me. Tell him I'm gonna take some time off. Wait, time off? You? Yeah, I'm gonna hit the open road for a couple of weeks. See where it takes me. Kyle. Did you find Bradley? Is that it? No. No, nothing like that. I just... I need a vacation. Okay, hon. I'll let the big man know. Ed's gonna kill me, isn't he? Oh, probably. You know Ed. He'll huff and puff and slam doors and all that nonsense. He'll probably... Get me to tell, probably tell me to get you on the horn pronto. Sounds like Ed. Just make sure you come back, okay, Kyle? I'll be waiting for you. Thanks. Is it gonna, is it gonna go? Okay, there it goes. Wait. Okay, hi, time to hit the road. He's getting the suitcase! He's getting out. What? Who's there? There's a knock at the door. It's a gun! Oh, it's this little jerk. No, oh, it's you. Look, do you... Do you have a minute? What is it? I wanted to apologize, you know? You? Yeah. I caused you a bit of trouble, I know that, and I'm sorry. Don't worry, as long as you mean it, we're square. So what's the plan, Angel? You heading back to Beverly Hills? No, not yet. 
first I'm going to the police. Talking to the man, huh? You're turning yourself in? Something like that. Are you sure? It's gonna be one hell of a hassle. Yeah, I know. But I did this, and I need to take responsibility for it. Spoken like a man. Oh, wait, here, this is for you. What the hell's that? You wrote me a letter? No, not me. I ran into that guy Summer in front of his room. Said I was coming to see you, and he asked me to deliver this. The guy wouldn't shut up, either. Yeah, that's Summer. Anyway, maybe I'll see you around. Just, a, just the slightest of nods. Jeff wanders down the hall and out of sight. Well, let's see what Summer has to say. Hope it doesn't put me to sleep. Dear Mr. Hyde, I met Mrs. Parker and spoke at length with her about Alan. What a charming woman. At any rate, I made her a promise. A promise to find Alan. I am going to start over, Mr. Hyde. I shall pen a bestseller, and it will be mine and mine alone. And I have decided to model my protagonist after yourself. When my novel is finished, you will be the first person to whom I show it. Farewell, good sir. May the winds of fortune be always at your back. Oh, joy. Oh, shit. Oh, I guess I gotta check out. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Hide and so Oh, I hate Summer. I don't like him. He's such a jerk. They'd make a great odd couple. Huh? Good morning, Mr. Hyde. Are you leaving? Yeah. Thank you so much for your kindness of last night. I had a wonderful time. You're not a bad drinking buddy yourself. Will you be coming back this way again, Mr. Hyde? Maybe, who knows. You? Oh, most definitely. And next time, I'll stay in the wish room. My wish will be granted, Mr. Hyde. I'm sure of it. Oh, yeah, he does. He, they, they would, that would be a great back and forth. He does lay into him hard. Like, Summer is so full of shit. And Kite is so... And Hyde is so no bullshit. Yeah, they, they, would, they, they are like polar opposites. I hope so. Thank you. Well, I'd better get going. Got a lot of miles to make. Take care, dear. You too. Oh, here's the kid. I knew she was coming. Hey, kiddo. Hiya, mister. Nice morning, huh? You finally get some sleep? Uh-huh. When I woke up, my dad was sitting next to me. And he told me good morning right away. Sounds nice. Yeah, and today we're gonna drive to the beach. And then we're finally gonna go home. Is that so? Oh, and my dad told me a secret. You wanna tell me? He said that my mom loves me. And that's why she's gonna come home someday. Melissa. Daddy! Good morning. Morning. We're all checked out, sweetheart. Tell Mr. Hyde thank you for being so nice to you. Don't worry about it. I'm glad I had the chance to talk to you, Mr. Hyde. I really am. Let's go, Melissa. Okay. Bye, Mr. Hyde. Look at her waving. Oh shit, here's Louie. Yep, we gotta say goodbye to everybody. Top of the morning, Hyde. Top of the morning? Hey, Dodono, you're Italian, remember? To the bone, Paisano. What? What's the deal? Why are you carrying your suitcase? Don't tell me you're hitting the road already. Yeah, I am. What? Oh, come on, Hyde. You can't be serious. What now? Cat stuck in a tree somewheres? Grandma Patch need help crossing the road? You're hilarious, Louie, and I'm done helping people. I'm taking a vacation. 
Maybe get some sun, find a nice beach somewhere and relax. You relax? World's gone crazy. But yeah, that sounds good to me too. So, how's Mila? Ah, she's in Rose's room. Heard she didn't sleep too good last night. All this stuff, what she's learned since coming here, it's gotta be rough, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, but I bet she'd like to see you, man. Best to stop by before you leave, you dig? I might. Wouldn't she be in Rose's room? In, uh, yeah, she's in Rose's. That's what he just said. I need to listen. Going in. Let's say goodbye to Mila. Huh? That's Mila's voice. But Rosa... You can stay here as long as you want, Mila, honey. There's no need to feel guilty about anything. And for a fact, Louis is a bro. He's great. You're not alone anymore, sweetheart. Louis and I are here for you. Rosa's really warmed up, too. She was horrible at the start. Mr. Hyde. Well, no, he doesn't work here. He can't stay with you. He's not going to knock, is he? I better just go. Damn. Damn. Alright, time to check out, I guess. Hey, Louie. Man, Louie's probably still in deep shit. I just remembered. You checking out? Well, alrighty then. You paid for your room in advance, but I'll be damned if you didn't run up some charges. Dunning, is that a phone bill? <laughs> ah, forget it. This time it's on a house. Long distance calls. That's great. But next time you're here, you gotta promise to stay in my suite. It's a peach of a room. Anyway, you got your room key. Gotta get wish ready for the next guest, you know. A room that grants wishes, huh? Yep. Your tale some guest claims the room's magic. <laughs> you think that's funny? You like laughing at an old man's tales of the fantastic. No, Dunning, it's not that. I was just thinking that maybe there's some truth to it is all. But that scream, yeah, it's, 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 it, I mean, it's the classic, it's the classic fucking Five Nights scream. Maybe it granted a couple of my wishes, too. Hey, Kroll, welcome. Welcome in. Couple, huh? Yeah, can't get greedy, though. A guy like me's got a lot of wishes. Is that so? Well, thank you much. Year's almost over, ain't it? Happy New Year to you. You too, Dunning. Oh, man. Talk about bookends. We're going full circle here. You had to touch the doors to open them when it started. Huh? Wait. Mila. Oh, where are you going? Can I... Can I go with you? Mila. Yeah, sure, hop in. Nice station wagon, Kyle. Jeez. Now kish. Yeah, right. Well, that was it. Oh, it didn't even let the music keep going. Well, shit, guys. GG's. Damn. Long. I forgot how long this game was. Oh, man. 
It was a good one. It's not a hard game. Like, even when you fuck up, like, it, it just takes you back to the checkpoint, but still, man. Oh, wasn't it great? I love that game. I love this game like you wouldn't believe. Honest to goodness. Like, I, I'm, I'm glad I got to share with you guys. But now... Let me try something here. Let me, let me, let me do something real fast. I know you can't hear anything, but... Maybe you can't. That's gonna take some time. She's got the mind of a nine-year-old. Yeah, true. I don't think he's dating her or anything. I think she, he just knows she wants to find answers, too. Like, we don't know if, uh... We don't know if that one guy's dead. But we'll find out one of these days. Oh, Last Window's definitely on the list. Not right away, though. We're gonna play some a little with a little more action. I got... I, I, I need some time to think about it, though. It may even be another vote. I... No Kingdom Hearts, though. I loved how the dialogue was some kind of colloquialism or turn of phrase every other line. Oh, absolutely. It was your average... It was your basic hard-boiled detective novel, and it wasn't ashamed of it. It fucking jumped in on it. Both hands. Which was fantastic. We'll miss you terribly. Oh, nah. Very noir. It was a good noir story. Not a... I mean, there was death. There was definitely murder. But it wasn't, like, overly... I don't know. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. Definitely want... I definitely have a bloodlust, though, after that. I definitely want to... I, 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 after three streams, I want to I want to be able to shoot something next game or something, yo, stab him. You know, you, you got you got demons coming this after me. Just more chicks and fewer hats. More chicks, fewer hats. Uh, D Duke Roll has nailed it. Well, guys, I'm gonna let you guys go. I got some thanks to throw out. I got some people to raid. I don't know who I'm raiding. Everybody seems to be here. Let's see what we got. I want to thank Dave Dingo for the raid, Wasabi23, X12%, Bird, Buddha Warrior, and Time Dog, all for the follows. We're up to 427 follows because of you guys. Thank you so much. We're climbing up to that 500. I got to do some kind of 500 special. Reboot the Robot, thank you for the resub. Thank you, Saint4, for the seven viewers. Hello, Potion Saint. I'm going into battle. Going into battle. I want your strongest potions. You can't handle my strongest potions. Last Hive Lord for the huge raid and for the resub. And 11 months of support. Thank you so much, Time Lord. You're the best. Baby0809, thank you for the follow. Florida Batman for the 100 bit cheer and for the resub. Yoga for the dime time, baby. You guys. Every one of you, viewers like you. Thank you guys so much, man. You guys, you guys make this. Unlike actual PBS, which obviously has sponsorships. Social credit deducted. You guys are why I'm doing this. Yeah, it's, it's you guys did this. Thank you so much, guys. All of you. Now we got to find somebody who's online. You know what? Pass the Plunger is online. How long have they been on? Barely. They have barely been on. I'm gonna fuck. I'm gonna pass the uh, plunger on to them. Let's do it. Let's. Let me hit that raid button real fast. Yeah, you guys don't have to stay around. Just, just alert. It's only five. Oh God, what's wrong with my? What's wrong with my? Uh, jeez, what's going on? My now playing is still all fucked up. I want you guys to have a hell of a rest of your weekend. Sunday is upon us. Enjoy your Sunday. Kick Monday's ass. You know the drill. I don't want to see a scrap of Monday when I come back on Tuesday at 9 p.m. Central. I don't know what we're playing, but something tells me it's going to be good. And as always, thank you guys for coming in. Spencer, Freedom, Panopticon, Apple, Apple Slayer, Crudus. Welcome back. We're just closing up. Retro Island Gaming, thank you for coming in. Dave Dingo, thank you. Riker Torin, all you guys. 
as always, stay frosty. <laughs>